Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. If you want to search our website for your favourite brands, Simply go to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on Brands, and you'll find all your favourite items all in one place. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Do you ever have one of them days? <laughs> hey? Well... It's, do, do, you not, do you not think though, when one of those days is, again, is like challenging you and then you, you achieve it and you get through it and everything works, it's a nice feeling of achievement, isn't it? Right, we have got, you know who we've got, don't you? Look at this gorgeous lady. We've got Debbie Fisher. Hello. <laughs> Debbie Fisher. When am I going to get my hair lesson? Your hair lesson? Yeah, you always make hair lesson. I want hair curly. <laughs> Oh, how are you, darling? I'm all right. I'm very well, yes. Good. It's been a sombre week, but it's been a hasn't nice it? week, hasn't yeah. it? So, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah it has been a, uh... We've all been at sixes and sevens mm -hmm. a little bit, haven't Absolutely. we? Absolutely, We've yeah. all lost our ground. We've fallen a bit adrift, yeah. don't we? You know, but we all get through it together, don't we? Of course, of course. Yeah. And we're so happy that you join us. We so are, happy. indeed. Because, you know, in moments of extreme sort of anxiety and upset and trauma and all the bit, we do need to make sure we do take time for ourselves as well. It's so important, otherwise it can just eat you up, can't it? So uh, we have got, we have got the most amazing, amazing collections today for you, haven't we? How exciting is this? Very exciting. Yeah, really exciting. We love Halloween. I, I think uh, at the last few years, Halloween has become really big in the, uh, in UK. the UK. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've always thought, and, and actually it comes from the UK, but it's the Americans that celebrate it so yeah. much. Uh, and I think we've now took on that role. So we now do Halloween decorations. We send Halloween cards. We, do, we invite yeah. people over. Uh, we do so much with Halloween. So yeah. why not have a Halloween craft kit? Absolutely. Which we did, Zena. Mm -hmm. And it sold out, which was very disappointing. Sold out in 20 minutes, it I heard. Did. It absolutely flew and sold out everywhere. It wasn't like we could get more. Normally we could grab some more stock and we can't. So what Crafters Companion have done, they've got this amazing kit now uh, where each individual bit is a kit in itself, uh, but you can go for the lot and get even more for exactly. it. And it's amazing. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. It is going to be extremely, extremely successful. Before we start with all the lovely Halloween, if you wouldn't mind, we have got an awesome spotlight deal for you. Would you mind if we launched in with that? Yeah? Ooh, spotlight yeah. deal. Oh! Oh, it's one of them. Don't you love it as a presenter <laughs> when you fling to a sting? <laughs> 
you try that again? For your spotlight deal. There's no sting. Oh, hi. <laughs> and, do you know, <laughs> it's all right. Do you know what? My notes are in here as well. It's all going on today. Right then. So, she says her notes are in there. They're not there either. I don't know where they are. Oh, dear me. Right then. Then. <laughs> Laura, help me out here, please. It's all right. My notes aren't here. <laughs> what the spotlight deal is, because I haven't got my notes. Right, right front, thank you. Right in front. Oh, <laughs> it gets better. It gets, this is live television at its very best, isn't it? It is, it absolutely. Is. It's all fun. It's all I fun. do apologise, I've lost my notes. They're here somewhere. Right then, well, happy Halloween. Um, what I will say to you on this, oh, this one's done up as well. Oh, have my one, because my one's undone. Oh, can we swapsy, swapsy, luxy? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they came sealed like that. Yes. Well, yeah. so they don't fluff so about. they're pristine to you when oh, you get them. Okay. Um, so now then, um, Crafter's Companion do Halloween very well. All I will say is, if you'd never thought about sending a Halloween card or crafting or whatever, they're going to make it irresistible with this next deal. Okay. The detail, the shapes, the size, look at that. Isn't that cool? I mean, you've got three different complete sections in one go there, haven't you? Yeah, I think they've been very clever with this pad because very. they've created scenery for you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that is something that's invaluable when you have a paper pad, to be able to put whatever you want on the front of it, chop it up how you want to do it, create so many different possibilities. And that's the other side. It's the other side. That is the reverse of this sheet here. Look at look at that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> was it who did I see? Somebody put somebody put on Facebook a great big spider like that. Was it Anne Marie? Oh, yes, she did. She I'm did, sure. I saw it. Now look at these. You've got the most stunning colours. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what as well, I'll have to show you a photograph. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, I had I had I had I'll, I'll tell you about this spider I had under my pillow oh. a couple of years ago. It was it was petrifying. Um yeah, every so often it pops up as a memory for people and they still message me now and say that, please don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> um, but this this very much makes me think of sort of Nightmare on Elm Street and all that kind yes, of stuff, doesn't it? it's a little bit like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think there is something spectacular about it. Oh, like it. Yeah. Oh, Debbie was so chuffed with herself then. Oh. Now, honest joke, first of all, oh, oh look at that. That's so I love this because it's got that spooky <laughs> feel about it and then it's got a fun feel yeah. about it as well. So it's got a bit of everything for whatever your Halloween crafts is. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, what I will just tell you as I flick through my lovelies is 32, 32 and you've got eight. So 32 double sided sheets containing eight designs. So there's eight designs in there. Oh, oh look at that. Um, so my lovelies, we've got all of these different designs. Watch it now. How many? So if you've got thirty-two double sheets, you've got like those three borders mm -hmm. on the first sort of one and what? Look at that! Oh my goodness, that doesn't even have to be Halloween, does it? No, not at all. Goodness Very gracious, true. that's absolutely beautiful. Um, how many cards would you think you could possibly make? Sorry, I had a fight with a wall last night. I do apologise. Yeah, smash my hand into a wall as I was carrying something. But well, you've got different panels on here. Yeah. So I think including those, I mean, I think you can be looking at sort of 50 plus cards. With 50 plus sleeve. cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So let's say 50 plus cards, you could do them a pound each. Yeah. Let, okay, that's 50 pounds. You're probably going, oh, come on, Zine. Crafters Companion do better than that. How about 50p each? It's 25 pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 25 pounds for all of those beautiful designs on the front there. Look, it's fabulous. Fun. A bit sexy, a bit scary, a bit spooky. Right, I think you're going to need to, I'll tell you what, you need to keep, so we've had four already. That is a multiple ordering pad, isn't it? You just yeah, want it loads is. of them. Yeah, it is, absolutely it is. And uh, I should be getting this later if you leave any, look at that. Oh, look, I didn't show you that one, sorry. The old cauldron. The old cauldron. <laughs> old cauldron, have you got one of those? Uh, no, that's I'm, awkward, Debbie. Uh, <laughs> Are you, are you calling me a witch, Dina? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. £4.99. £4.99 is actually outrageous, but in a good way. Yes. Oh, can I just say, on behalf of all of us crafters, I can now call myself a crafter because I can't stop. 
Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you wonderful people. Ah, we just have the best team, and it's you do. Uh, yeah, and we have a brilliant paper pad designer, uh, and she's amazing at what she does. Brilliant. And, yeah, we're getting really renowned for our paper pads. Phenomenal. And we're going to have some great demos with you in a minute, aren't we? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are brilliant. So we'll give you the new the new bundle. Okay, my lovelies, the brand new bundle. You can keep checking that out. You may as well just chuck that in your basket as many times as you like and check it out because your poster packaging is done right then. Um, here we have, get off, thank you. Now then, my lovely girl, have you got these in front of you as well? Uh, no, I've got one in front of me, which we're going to uh, demo. Fantastic. Um, now, in these, then, my lovelies, you've got, in the one example here, you've got pumpkins galore craft kit. What does a craft kit mean, Debbie? It means you've got everything in one little pack yeah. that creates amazing things. Now, you've got some samples I have indeed. Can you pop those out? Um, but, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's have a look at the samples, yeah. and then I will show you a demo, hopefully, on each one. Brilliant. And show you what we can see on here, Zena. Look at yeah. this. You get the, all of that. that. You get all of that oh, in gosh. this one set. These are amazing. You get so much for your money, and you can create create literally from one of these packs so you get a stamp mm -hmm. you get a die yep you get a stencil. embossing folder and yeah and a stencil you do all four in each one and we're going to give a whole bundle price for a oh, look at this as well can i show you this because Halloween is about gift giving, I mean, yeah. trick or treat, you Absolutely. know. I mean, how amazing would it be to treat the little ones that knock on your door um, yeah. with a little box that you can decorate? I mean, it's so lovely. And this little cat is beautiful. Isn't I it? I mean, you can use that for so many different things. Can't Doesn't you just, just have yeah. to be Halloween. But, but again, look how fun these are. You are spectacular and you are in. Oh, should we show what I happens? I was just going to say that one, yes. Right, you ready for this, everybody? Dan, I need to pick this up. Are you ready? Right, because earlier on, I wish you'd been there. <laughs> Debbie was in the production room. And she, she opened it up and she saw it and she just went, oh, our design team absolutely outdone themselves. And then she opened it and she went, oh, and I went, what? <laughs> and then she did it to me and I went, oh, like that. Okay, watch this, watch this. This is genius. Right, you ready? Watch this, watch this, watch this. You open in the box, you open in the box, and then you went, oh, oh, oh. We were both like, oh, isn't that brilliant? Isn't that, I don't like it. Isn't it fabulous? It's brilliant. I mean, imagine giving them to your children, getting oh, your children to take them into school on Halloween yeah. with some little sweets inside. I mean, that would be uh, very funny to, uh, to have that. be fun. great, wouldn't it? Yeah, just so many quirky little bits in here. I think having sp spiders, having your pumpkins, having yeah. that cat, everything in there is just amazing. And then you've got those fun elements of the stamps. That little cute rabbit in the pumpkin is just adorable. Uh, look the little, at him. I, I mean, look, I mean, it's so, I know, so, so cute. Can I, I absolutely love these. Can I check as well? We have got a whole hour coming up later on with the most fantastic pens as well, haven't we? Yes, we Every have. Every kind yes, of pen that you absolutely, need. Absolutely, yes. Brilliant. Yes. If you're looking at these thinking, yeah, I definitely want to be doing some colouring because what a great thing to do during uh, half term as well around Halloween. Yes. Um, yeah, so these are all brand new to us today. They are, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Three kits in the collection, my lovelies. Okay, and in the collection, you've got everything from uh, witches and cauldrons and witches on broomsticks. That with their hat, you've got spiders' webs, you've got trees, you've got you name it, you've got it. You've got the grass, you've got verges, you've got cats, you've got bats, you've got owls, you've got cobwebs. Oh my days, you've got so it all. Much. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's Crafter's Companion. Now when we know it's Crafter's Companion, what do we know? We're getting absolute quality. Phenomenal designs, fabulous quality for their stamps, stencils, dies, all of that. That means each one of those is what, 9 99 each? Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, when you think about what you're getting in there, a set of dies, your embossing folder, your stencil and your stamps for 9 99 is incredible value. Can I just ask my lovely girl, yes. is that one of the packs? Yes. That's one of that's the packs? That's one, yes, one of the packs, yes. For 9 99 that's another pack? Yeah. Again, with the with the everything that you've got there, with your stamp, with your stencil, with your embossing, and with your dies. Yeah, I mean, just to have the die sets in these are amazing. Yeah. I mean, you've got some really cool ones. The witch one is just brilliant. Fabulous. Uh, I mean, yeah. you can have so much fun with that. That spooky house, another yeah. one. That's a great one to have. They brilliant. really have some amazing dies yeah. in here. Absolutely. And then I was just saying there as well, you got, oh, that witch is gorgeous, isn't it's she? It's great, isn't it? Look at her heels. <laughs> it's like if Mary Poppins was a witch, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> yes. fabulous. Brilliant idea. Now, you're going to get all of those for £29.97. 
I tell you what then, lovely girl. Debbie, would you please show these phenomenal deals? That, that, that pad is going really quickly. Yep. 20% yeah. of the stock is already gone. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you go for that on your own, it's fine. But actually, if you want to go for it with a kit, you've got then, I mean, yeah, you can exactly. really craft craft forever. Absolutely. So those 32 sheets in those eight different designs was what, 4 99 Brilliant. Double-sided. Well done. And okay. what a great kit when you look at the whole value it's of that amazing. with the paper pad. Yeah, well, there's so much. nothing consumable in there. No. At no, all. No. Not a single consumable. Yeah. That's why you might as well... Chuck as load of those in. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Quite, quite uh, right, let's show what you can do with them. So I'm going to be using this cute little one. I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see a thing. Well, I can. They're just getting worse and worse seeing us. So oh, you I and really me both. To, uh, to you put and me them both, on. darling. Oh, I can see exactly what it is now. Uh, we've got the Haunted House craft kit, this one. So you can see you get that beautiful Haunted House. Love that. Uh, but you get the little uh, mouse Dracula in here. Uh, and then you've got the um, little stamps. Set, you are spooktacular, which I absolutely oh, love. I love so great ones in here. And the stencil is just fabulous. I love the fact you've got your tree in here, you've got your cat, your grass. You can use this on lots of different ones, even like your grass hedges here you've got. So uh, think of all your crafting throughout the year that you can use these for. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of my uh, Nina cardstock. Now, we have got Nina on the shows later on. Um, is she coming in? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Nina Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Nina Simone. Oh, okay. I'm a yes, bit further back. <laughs> what, what, what does Nina mean? What's uh, it, what is it? So Nina is a specific cardstock that's been made especially for alcohol pens. Brilliant. Yeah. So which it, is amazing. Ah, so you, it's been designed so that they make those look even better than they would do usually. Yes. Right. Yeah, they're just, it's the most amazing cardstock. So we've got our all-purpose cardstock, uh, which we say can be used for everything. Um, but your Nina cardstock is, a, it's a bit like watercolour cardstock. So you're all-purpose, you can watercolour and you can use your alcohol pens on it. Okay. Um, but watercolour is obviously your best for that alcohol. Um, and Nina cardstock is just perfect for your alcohol markers. Brilliant. So absolutely We've got the stamp perfect. presses coming up as well, haven't we? Yes, we have. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to go in because we're going to stamp again because I like to just give mine a couple of stamps down just to make sure we've got that beautiful outline. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of colouring, just showing we've got the pens on the show, which are our tri-blend pens. Now, if anyone wants to see um, the differences that we have with our pens, we have got our classiques on later on, uh, which are fabulous. Oh, look at his little face. I know, isn't he just super cute? He's so amazing. let's start with his cloaks. I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring. I am using my icy um, ice grey shades. Uh, and we're going to start off with our lightest colour. Are Would these you... the tri-blends, Debbie? Yes, yeah. these are our tri-blends. I just want to give myself a piece of card just to colour onto. So our tri-blends are different in the respect that they are a three-pen blend. It means that I'm going from my lightest colour to then my mid-colour. So I'm using that lightest colour in the centre. So what that's going to do, it's going to give me some shading. And then I'm just going round with that darkest colour. And then I'm going to use my really dark colour just around the edges where I think that darkest colour will come down. So obviously round the top where his sort of um, neck is or his collar is, you're going to see that darkness. Uh, underneath you'll see the dark. So you put that dark wherever you think your light shade is or your light source is coming from. And then just on the ground, we'll pop that in. And then we're just going to go back in with, oh, I'm way round, our, our mid colour. And I'm just going to touch those edges. I've never seen anything like the tri blends, I have to say. They, they, they're just like you're painting with a pen, aren't you? Absolutely. And there's Incredible. nothing like it on the market. So, um, yeah, I love the fact that we do the uh, tri blends. And we're going to have classiques on later, and we'll show you sort of the differences with the classic. Where does classic sit, as in, in your range? So, so there are there are mid range. Right. So, uh, they're what I would class as these are our beginner. So, right. and we say beginner, all of them can be used by your expert craft, expert colourist. Yes. 
Um, but we say beginner because we take all the effort out of it for you. Right. We put those pens that blend together in one pen. Great. You don't have to think about it. Okay. With the classics, they're just a single colour blend. So they're one colour blend. Um, and we then put a colouring system into play and we will learn all about that later on oh, in the 5pm. Uh, there's a colour system in place which literally teaches you then that next stage of colouring. Okay, so, so you on that going colouring. from just three colour blends to maybe a five colour blend oh, and adding in darker nice. shades. So yes, it's going up. And then we do our illustrator, uh, which will then do even more. So it's full it, on professional it, then, aren't we? That's we're going it. Yeah, for absolutely. Yeah. And we do have that uh, colour uh, colour system um, in place. Now, all we're going to do now, I'm just going to do is, is I'm just doing, I don't want to do too much colouring because I want to get a lot out, but I want to show you how all the different colours blend together oh, with that three yeah. colour blend. Could you add in the thing that, that you mentioned last time you were on with me, Debbie, because this is this blew my mind. Because I was saying, when I was at home, uh, we did the full pa uh, pack of pens previously, 24 and 36, but we're breaking them down into sixes today as well. When I spoke to Debbie, and I said to Debbie, I would look at the tri-blend pen with the three sections and I'd think, oh, they're great, they're wonderful, they're clearly amazing quality, but they're not going to last me very long. Now, didn't you say something like you'd been demoing with these, all of you as a team, mm -hmm. for how long? It was a long time. And then oh, you said, yeah. For you years. Remember? For yeah, years. So, so since they've been out, really, that we've had our set in the um, studio. It's the same set. And it's the same set, yes. And only three times has have I run out of a colour. And you can replace the individual colour in the spectrum yes, pack can. if you want yeah, to, absolutely. right? Absolutely. So they've absolutely. all all the demonstrators from Crafters Companion same using the same set of the tricolour pens for years, and only three pens have run out. Yes. Yeah. In yeah, all yeah. that time, because that's the ones they've used the most. Yeah, phenomenal absolutely. set yeah. of pens uh, and I'm the same at home as well I've had so much in my stash um, that uh, I, yeah they, it's very rare they, the ink goes a long long way yeah. right so I have got a sort of partly coloured one here now when you colour him in <gasps> all I've done is oh. give him a little trim out Tippy. I know, it's fun, isn't it? That, Absolutely amazing. That looks like you've gone to Pixar or Disney, <laughs> or doesn't it? He's, the, he's just so cute, isn't wow. he? So literally, exactly what I've done there, you can see, just follow that round, do all that different um, uh, inking, and oh uh, yeah, word. and you'll get just fabulous results. Now, this, look at this. I mean, even the house, yeah. just having a couple of pieces it, like it this makes brilliant. such a difference and look amazing. Now, I'm going to bring in that stencil as well because we might as well use it we've got yeah. it in the kit um, and then what I've done is just took a piece of card from my pad now I love this oh, because you've got everything there that you need to build on but then you've got the extra pieces that you can put in so what I am going to do is we're going to use some of these elements so all I'm going to do is grab my I've got jet black here which is our water reactive dye you can use any of our ink pads and they'll all work the same oh, okay way. Um, and then what I'm going to bring in is I'm going to bring in one of our um, ink applicators. So I'm just going to use our circle one. Okay. I'm just going to use that. Just going to load my, uh, make sure we've got plenty of that black on there. And then just hold that in place. And all I'm going to do is just go down and dab. Uh, dab and twist. Dab and twist sounds like a new dance move. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Going to shake your moves in a minute, are you, Deb? <laughs> yeah. The reason I'm doing this, Dina, because if you was to go in hard with it, it could flick these pieces up and then it will smudge, on, smudge oh, underneath. Okay. So if you just dab and twist it, it doesn't move it and it means I don't have to stick this down. Some okay. people like to stick their stencils down, but I don't think you need to. And this way, I can then just move it to where I want yeah. it. So I'm going to pop it's that there. Then I've got these bats. So see that's <gasps> three. How cool is that? And then we've got our bats. So I'm going to go in again and we're just going to sort of dab onto that one. Just dabbing down because it's I've slightly gone over there, but it doesn't matter. Look at that in the background. Looks amazing. Ooh, yeah. And then we've got a little bat here. Let's have another one flying, flying low. We'll have a look low. The crows as well. Just so many different points there that we've got there. You what, sorry? You've got a crow on a tree, on the branch? Uh, yes, it's an owl. Oh, where's the crow? The crow's at the top, look. Can you see there, look, do you mind? Debbie, I'm sorry, I just shouldn't ruin this. Where am I looking? Oh, of course. do you mind? I know that's really, I'm so sorry. No, I let's do, do that, it. Should yeah. I just let's got all excited, in. Debbie. I was thinking, where's the crow? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Debbie. All I, just... I could, all I could see is an owl. <laughs> there we go, look, it's oh. on the branch. Should we, we might as well, should we put an owl on yeah. as well? 
sixpence, put an hour on. And this is the thing, isn't it? It's just about playing. Yeah. Now, if like me, you're being really super quick, use a little cotton bud or our ink daubers, but you can really build up your scenery there, which looks, that looks fabulous. Great. So let's pop that to the side. So we've got all our elements here. The other thing I have done is just made myself a card. So let me bring these pieces uh -huh. in. Now, I've used one of those strips. So in the paper pad, oh, we've yeah. got one. Then that's a whole page full of these, and I'm using one. So you can imagine how many strips that you've got of this uh, to put onto your card. So that's a really great one to have. Yeah. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. So nice I'm straight using... lines here to cut as well. Do you do that on the trimmer, do you? Yes, so yeah. I use my guillotine always okay. um, and genuinely I think in my opinion our trimmer is the best on the market. Most trimmers that I have tried have always been a very fraction out. Oh. So, and our trimmer is edge to edge, which means when you uh, die cut, yeah. uh, sorry, when you cut a piece of card, if you was to fold it in half, it would meet each side directly oh, okay. instead of just being a slightly bit out. So I've just uh, gutted my square bit of card, which I used to cut out my um, little haunted house. Mm -hmm. And then we're just using that underneath. So we can't see that. So be quite frugal with your, um, with your card stock. Um, and use the inside pieces if you're not going to see them. And then we can layer these ones up. So we're going to pop that Look on that. that looks inside. great, Debbie. I know, it's amazing. Yeah. It? And then this one we're going to use on our stepper below. So we're just, all we're doing all the time is adding interest. So we're adding um, sort of more to look at, more interest in your make, and just something that looks outstanding. I mean, these would look good just having them about on your windowsill. Wouldn't if you're they? Like yeah. on trick or treating. Yeah. Um, and they'd look fabulous. Now, the other thing I've done is mm -hmm. my stamp um not my stamp my embossing so on this one i've embossed and then with my gold pen i've just gone over the lines oh, of great. the embossed detail and then i've just ripped it round the edges just so this gives us a little bit of a, a difference oh, um, great. In, in the side here so we're going to pop this inside and then we're going to add our other section so we're going to add our house onto that so i want that so you can just see it and then we're going to add the house, but I want the house to pop as well. I want that to be even more spooky. So to make it spooky, I've used our, um, this is our luxury mirror card, the matte mirror. And all we're going to do is use our tape pen to go over the top and we're going to shadow that because what that means is then we get that real haunted oh, glow. Oh, oh yeah. It. I mean, it's really, really cool just like that just create a lot of depth to it doesn't it absolutely yeah. yeah it's all those little things that i think especially when we're beginning to sort of craft um makes it so that's almost like on the top of a hill that we've made our house there and then we're going to pop and it our looks like somebody's left the, the lights front. on doesn't it yeah absolutely and then our pat will go on the top there <laughs> and then i did have a little spider but i don't know what i've done with my spider but we can do that in another demo and then i've just tight um oh. stamped that out you are spooktacular which we're going to just place onto the front there and there we go that there's our spooktacular card beautiful <laughs> <laughs> absolutely phenomenal but it shows out of that one kit how yeah. everything can come together yeah. uh, and just create amazing parts to it absolutely um, i think if you didn't know that you needed this collection before that just that one demonstration from debbie now makes you desperately want it doesn't it now this is brand new today you are going to get the value now each one of those is each uh, craft kit so we've got the Wicked Witch Craft Kit, brand new today. We've got the Haunted House Craft Kit, brand new today. And we've got the Pumpkins Galore Craft Kit, brand new today. And in each one of those craft kits, as you can see there, you're getting a stencil, you're getting a stamp, you're getting an embossing folder, and you get... Is it classed as an embossing folder, isn't it, Debbie Love? Yes. Yes. And uh, what's the one I'm missing? Stamp, stencil, and... Oh, and the die. Okay, and the die. How could I miss the die? All brand new today, okay, my lovelies, all brand new. All three of them for under £30, a phenomenal value for money. So if you're thinking, actually in each of those packs, each of the metal dies with the quality of Crafters Companion is £2.50. Each of those dramatic stamps is £2.50. Each of the embossing folders are £2.50. 
and the stencil is two pound forty nine. If you That's put, amazing. if you think of it that way, you wouldn't be able to get those for uh -uh. the money. No, not separately. Two pounds forty nine each. Now, if you oh, look at that with a bunny, the, the the lovely pumpkin, the bunting, you've got everything you could possibly want. These are absolutely gorgeous. For, no, we we usually give you a percentage. This pad here. Now, bear in mind as well, when we talk about cards, we've got door ha handles here, we've got gift boxes. There's your door. This is absolutely sensational. We've got um, uh, boxes where the spider pops out. We've got these little gift boxes here. If I just pop that in front of you, as, where's that one? There it is. Look at these for your trick or treats. Look at that. <laughs> absolutely knockout. Now, the thing that we know you're going to need, and I know a lot of you are absolutely multi buying, is the brand new six by six inch paper pad as well. 32 double-sided sheets like the one that Debbie's just demoed with. Here's another one with the most spectacular um, scenery there. 32 sheets of eight designs, all double-sided look, all double-sided. And we take it, took it to four, not what I say we did, we were allowed to take it to 4 99 by the Incredible Crafters Companions. So many sections to work with as well. Beautiful double side. And some aren't actually Halloween related, are they? No, I think you can use them throughout lots of different crafting. Exactly. I mean, even your pumpkins, a lot of people like Thanksgiving for our American Oh, audience. yeah, that's a good point, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So have you seen there as well? You've got the house, but in different positions on those, haven't yes, you? Yes, yes. Yeah, you could make it even longer if you wanted to, couldn't you? Absolutely. Or position them together. I know, look at Dan, our director, coming up with all the great ideas. <laughs> Do you know what's lovely though? Working with this team as we have Debbie over the years, I have never actually heard, and it just shows how, how knocked out our design, our, our directors and producers and presenters and floor crew, I've never heard them want to get involved so much in shows and give ideas it's because it's contagious. Oh, absolutely. Isn't it? Couldn't agree lovely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely lovely. Okay, so the pad is four ninety nine. It's It's just Brilliant, brilliant. But again, you can make boxes and door hangs and cards. What we'll do is we will mosey on off a tiny short little comfort break for you, just to give you the call centre time to check all those orders out as well. Uh, when we come back, Lloyd, you're gonna have, my notes aren't with me. You're going to have to help me out here, darling. Sorry, I'm going... Oh, oh sorry, right, OK. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going to go and find these notes. Uh, after the break, my lovelies, more demos from my amazing Debbie. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Sorry about that, everybody, I'm okay. Sorted. Um, we've got a lovely treat for you now because the tri-blend pens, which if, you, if you've always loved um, colouring as a kid uh, and, and you haven't coloured since, you'll have no idea how pens have, have, have come on technology-wise. And the, and the tri-blends, everybody in this building keeps saying, tri-blend, I want the tri-blends. They are the most perfect Christmas gift. They're brilliant. And what Crafters Companion have done for you today, which is brilliant, is actually given you packs of six. In dip now, you do them in a specific spectrum of colours, don't you, Debbie? Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah. 
Yeah, these are very clever. So you go for what you think. You can either go for them all or if you want to cherry pick. Um, yeah, these just cover so many different types of things. So if you love your scenery and your sky, yeah. and your oceans and that yeah. sort of thing, these are great for that, aren't this they? This is all nature inspired, isn't uh, it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And just a great way to go for all those blues and greens if you like them. They're such pretty colours and you've got that three pen blend. So your light, your medium and is your Is that dark. how it works? Yes. Right, okay. So that's the idea. So I didn't even know a pen came in threes. I, I don't threes. think, I'm pretty sure that I, I have never known of a tri-blend pen on the market. Other I think yours. we are the first, yeah, that have done a wow. three pen blend system, which is shocking because we've always talked about a three pen blend yeah. for many years. Ever since alcohol colouring come out, we've always talked about one pen blending into the next, into the next. And in fact, in lots of things, even for watercolour, we talk about a three, a yeah. three colour blend. Yeah. Uh, ink pads, three colour blend. Our ink pads come in threes. It's that it was inevitable, system. really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so why have we not done a pen that comes <laughs> yeah, exactly. in threes? Exactly. So, yeah, well, thankfully, you have now. We have. We have yes. now. And they're all the team's favourite. Are yeah, they? They are, yes. The same here as well, absolutely. Um, now, am I right in thinking, is the, is, although there's three pens and there's three blended colours, yep. is the nib the same for yes. all three? Right. Yeah, so these ones are your bullet nibs, so they're a, they're a harder nib, these ones. So uh, it means when you're a beginner crafter, you get more control. Ah, Some that's people, good and then know. you can go. We do a uh, tri uh, tri colour brush, so we can. Uh, so, sorry, a tri blend brush, which is a brush nib. So if you oh. then love your alcohol colour, and you can then take it to the next level. That's so especially brilliant. if you love illustration or anything like that, they're great for that. But these are definitely the ones you want to start with as a beginner. Or if you go for one of the high end alcohol markers, try these because they are so good. Um, I just think you will love them. And I think that's the key. Try a tri blend. <laughs> <laughs> There's no two ways about it. What we're showing you there, look, is the actual uh, bullet nib, just to, just to show there, look. And then there's all your lovely colours. Look, your ice blue blend and your blue turquoise and you've got your true blue. Then when you're going into the greens and the jades and the green turquoise as well. And you can see the wonder. I mean, straight away, you're thinking about the ocean. You're thinking about the sky. You're thinking yep. about water and lakes Absolutely. and rivers. Yes. and yes. Yeah, you know, in the meadows and the grass, different seasons. Oh, it's so much wonderful. So. Yeah, beautiful set. Yeah. One. So there you go. Look, it says there, perfect grey. Gr is it? Hang on, great, great, great. Does that say gradation? Does that say gra a graduation of three colours? So I couldn't read it from there. So numbered from light to dark. Yeah, gradation. It is. Yes. Oh, is that a yeah. word? I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gradation. It's a gradient, isn't it, of goes, that Ooh. goes through, yes. Neither, neither. I would call it an ombre. <laughs> ombre, that, yeah, there you go, that's easier. And does it go, does it go light, medium, dark throughout yes. the pen? Yep. Right, okay. So yep. 14 99 they're all numbered for you to make it It tells easy. you on the pen, it says light, medium and dark. Oh, yeah. can you show us that when we do it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, brilliant, thank you. What colour, would you, what colour are we doing next? Uh, orange. Orange. <laughs> Burnt orange. Oh, well, I've oh. got the orange ones, yes. So we'll do yeah. the orange ones, yes. Now, obviously, for the Halloween collection, this is a must. Yes. Isn't it? Oh, absolutely, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. So here's your tri blends. Now, these colours are absolutely phenomenal. Three in one blendable alcohol markers. And you have got some ex exotic colours in exotic here. Exotic colours. So your purples, we always think with Halloween as well. Yep. So your greens go into them, your oranges. So this one would be perfect for your Halloween colours. It would, wouldn't it? So you've got your burnt orange, you've got your aqua blue, you've got your gold yellow, your pink violet, your alpine green, and that magenta blend is just that's my favourite colour. This one, is it? Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. a pinky girl? I'm definitely a pink girl. Are you? Yes, but um, there's certain pinks and magentas are beautiful colour. Isn't it? Really beautiful. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So it's lovely that you, although you're getting six um, pens, you're actually getting 18, really, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Because three. Oh, one. you are? Yeah, yeah 18 colours. Yep. 14, 99. The thing is, you will be spoiled by these. So you think about when you went from a black and white telly to, a, if you're old enough, to a colour telly. <laughs> if you went from, I don't know, let's say, wind, windable windows to electric windows, you know, you don't tend to go backwards, do you? No, very true. Yeah. Very the thing true. is, with the tri-blend, you will be spoiled from the off. Yes, that is very true. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So just be warned, and you may need a time allocation issue with this restriction because you will become addicted again to colouring. It's a guarantee. <laughs> so just give yourself some time. <laughs> okay, my lovelies. Um, right, so I think to go with this one, and I think we can end with the, the skin tone ones. Again, 
Now we're talking. Now I love this one. Because in here, you've got all your floral blends, yes. haven't you? If you really want to add that splash of colour. Yeah, really beautiful colours. Uh, I think just whatever one you go for, you're going to love. If not, go for all of them because then you get that mixture of all the colours. Uh, beautiful, vibrant colours, yeah. this one. Um, and it shows in the colouring of them as well. So the lay down of colour. If, no, if nobody has ever tried alcohol pens before, I would say treat yourself to a pack of these because you will definitely come back for more. 100%. There's no other colouring like it. It just the blendability, the way it just literally floods the paper yeah. Yeah. as soon as you put it yep. down and I don't mean it drowns it it literally goes on it's not like a felt tip pen they no. are absolutely incredible um, and actually artist quality I would oh, say 100% 100% absolutely and the lovely thing is if you are new to coloring and you buy these pens they make you look good okay so um, those are your colors there that we're just going to give you going to oh such a brummy thing gunu <laughs> honestly <laughs> I haven't sang him a gunu song yet have I Debbie no. Oh, you haven't <laughs> lived yet. <laughs> She's thinking, please don't. Uh, so your last pack, now this is wonderful. This is your portrait pens, and I think you can see why, because this is giving all your different beautiful skin tone and hair tone colours, isn't it? And if I turn that around just to show you, I mean, this is such a fantastic, uh, wonderful, wonderful array of colours. All your portrait blends. Colour-wise here, you've got coral blend, pale pink, fair skin, Gold brown, tan, and an earthy brown as well. So you try blend in your Spectrum Noir collection. They are the ultimate. They're absolutely, so if you want smooth, controllable blend with that beautiful shading and that finish, then you go to the, these incredible tri-blend pens. You will never look back. This, this one for me also is uh, great for hair and skin. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really good for those colouring. Can we, can we, can we, can, can we have another Halloween dinner? Oh please? yeah, absolutely. I've got my pumpkins at the ready. I've got my spiders at the ready. So look away if you don't like spiders. <laughs> um, I'm going to just die cut them this time. So we're going to use our dies. Uh, I'm going to pop my pumpkins onto my Nina cardstock and I've got my black dies. So we're just going to run these ones through to start with. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to make the dies into a beautiful pumpkins. So let's pop those ones through. So as they go through, they cut no problem at all. I should have actually brought out my Gemini Mini mini because it would have been really quick to pop them through. Okay. So all the dies in this collection, if you've got a mini, um, you can use them through there. Brilliant. So it, you could do really quick crafting and great for the kids. Um, this, these little spider dies will be absolutely fabulous for decorating tables. Yeah. Oh, um, that's a good idea. And also, if I show you this one, cutting it out, look, I've made myself a stencil. Nice. So you've also got your spider stencil as well there oh that's so, good you can yeah. dab, dab on with those inks absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely so not only so it's a sort of uh, yin and a yang that yeah. one so which debbie is good. yes somebody messaged in oh and they said this is great love it want the collection but i don't have a die cutting machine oh okay if only crafters companion did like the most brilliant die cutting machine <laughs> no we stopped that are, you, are we being allowed to do it again have we Oh, right, we did it. Crafters Companion did a deal, right? You buy the Gemini Ultimate Phenomenal die cutting machine that, that Debbie's just used, right? For $179.99. Phenomenal, phenomenal quality piece of kit. Um, now, the usual price of that alone should be over £250. It was reduced and given a special, I say reduced, but given a very, very special buy price of $179.99. Thing is, Crafters Companion want you to get working with die cutting because we're, again like with the tri tri blend once you start you won't go back so just to quickly mention they're also very kindly throwing in a 70 pounds goodie bag oh, it's worth over 70 pounds this goodie bag do we have the list of what it is laura my darling okay but it but in there there is embossing there's dyes there's all sorts stamps and everything but it's over 70 pounds worth of goodies okay along with the starter kit that you get with the Gemini die cutting machine. It's absolutely a must. So $179.99 and it is on split pay as well at 0% interest. Okay, sorry about that flower. It's absolutely fine. So I'm just colouring in. So I'm using my tri blends just to go over the top. Now, a really clever way of using these pens and to add your detail is to just curve your lines in. You know, oh. like pumpkins have in. 
yeah. so just to go down so I'm just doing it with my lightest color so I can get that where I'm going to put it and then we can then come in let's come in with that darker color oh. so they look funny at the moment but honestly don't worry about that because when you start blending then these together yeah so I'm just going to blend that's all one pen that Debbie. line yeah one pen oh. so you can see we've got our dark our mid shade and then our lightest so I'm just going to go over the top of those and then we're going to then fill that around and keep doing this. It's hard when to show. Um, I always think it's really hard. Oh, I was going to show you that as well. Look, it says oh, yeah. light. So we've got, if I turn my pens around, so it tells you, you've got your light, your medium and your dark oh, colour. Okay. So really easy system. And then I'm just going back in with that lightest colour, just touching on those ends. Oh, that looks good. Now, as that starts to evaporate, I'm going to bring in my finished one here. And you see, like oh. we've done. So you just bring in those light lines as you come down. I've added red into this one as well. Um, now, what I've done with this is I have just put a black piece of card at the back to yeah. fill those details in. But all these pieces are cut out. So you can see on this one, I just put here, keep all these little pieces. Because if you wanted to, you could always paper piece them back in if you, if you wanted to sort of use them. So we can actually oh, that's paper piece. Brilliant. You know I mean? So use all those bits that you can then uh, paper piece them all back in. So all those little pieces wow. are relevant. So once you've done that, and also I know we're short, getting short of time, so I'm going to bring my, I've already coloured in my little um, mm -hmm. rabbit one, so done that. And then I've coloured in this one as well. Now this one's very clever because you get all the faces to put onto your pumpkins oh, right, with these. Of you do. So you've actually got your stamp sets that go onto these that you can use, which are fabulous. So these kits are amazing. Now the other thing that you can do is I'm going to bring in in my uh, embossing folder. Now I've used a piece of acetate it's not something that people think to emboss okay. because actually it's not the best medium to to emboss um, because it's quite a thick medium and it looks a little bit crumpled but what I love about it is that's exactly what you want on a Halloween yeah. so I'm going to bring my boards in here now because it is acetate I am going to bring in another piece of card I had a piece of card I'm just going to use this piece here um, I'm going to put another piece of card just over the top just to give a little bit more pressure oh, I'm also okay. going to pop that at the top let me take out one of my shims. Um, uh, actually, I'll take out two shims. This is a 2D embossing folder. So I'm going to just pop that over the top. And then because I've got my Gemini, so the lady that didn't have a die cutting machine, the Gemini has a dual function in the res respect that it, you can pause it. Can you hear that creaking? Yeah, yeah, I can hear it, yeah. It's a brilliant noise, and I'm going to reverse that as well. So it gives it a double push down into oh, okay. the acetate. Um, and all that crinkling is good because it means it's really that embossing folder is finding its place in that acetate. Oh, so, so when it goes forward the one way and then you reverse it out, it still works both ways? Still works both ways, oh, yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, oh. Zena, so with the Gemini, if you um, don't have a very big craft room or you've got to put it near to the wall, um, you don't have to have it so it thumbs out the back. You can oh. just reverse it. Oh, that's back. good. Gives you a, double, a double cut yeah. in that way. But look at this. Let's have a look at this. You get the most oh. beautiful... Um, that's, yeah, it's very cool, <gasps> isn't it? Very, oh, very that is cool. Ace. Yeah. Just quickly, if you do, you're going to want the acetate now, aren't you? Let's face it. It's £3.99 for the acetate. It's brilliant, isn't it? I absolutely love that. And it's something that we forget to do. So we are going to bring in The our, team in the gallery are knocked out with that. They've never <laughs> seen anybody do that before. We need to do uh, an embossing, a, a sort of embossing show. Yeah. We have got, in fact, I'm sure that will come up because shouldn't be so, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible for giving secrets away. <laughs> but we do have new embossing folders coming oh, um, in nice. the future, which are amazing. Um, so I've just created myself a, a diorama a card now a diorama card has two pieces of card that are exactly the same size mm -hmm. you then score them at the same size it doesn't matter how you score them I just wanted my six by six in the center here you can see I've used one of my papers from the pad okay. um, and then I've used my nesting dies so you can use any nesting dies just to nest in inside there um, and then you just need to make sure that one folds one way and the other folds the opposite way so it creates that that fold and you can do that with any shape whatsoever so all we're going to do first of all is put our glue down the edges and glue that one into place so just 
taking those side pieces, making sure they work together. So that gives us our first part. Mm -hmm. I've then also mat and layered some of those beautiful, oh. and, and can you see how well, so I'm using three different sections oh, of the, the, car, the yeah. paper pads. Um, now these were leftover parts from one of my demos. Uh, this bit I've just gutted out the middle, but I used the frame for another sample that I Brilliant. made. So you can use them for so many different aspects. Everything this goes piece, together. Yeah, everything goes yeah. together, yeah. So never throw anything away. If you are new to crafting, have yourself a bit box. Um, because Ooh. you are, all these little pieces will come in handy when you oh, do I cards like, that. like a bit this. Box. Yeah, have a bit box. We always call it a paper bit box. Oh. Um, I have to be honest. I do get to the stage. I had four bit boxes at one <laughs> stage, and I had to start getting rid of some because um, we had. I was using so many different pads. Yeah. I was then forgetting to use from my bit box. Yeah. So um, and then this one's going to go on the inside. So we're just going to pop this one into this place. Fabulous, Debbie. And the reason I haven't attached this yet is because we want to put the acetate as a screen window so it looks like a window looking through just making sure I've sort of got that central I'm doing it by eye but it will be fine um, and then yes let's bring in this then so when we then place this on the inside we get Brilliant. that sort of crinkly window now what I would recommend is your red liner tape uh, because we've got a, a piece of acetate that we've stretched all the sort of medium, what I would say, let's do it this way because we want it on the front, is use something that's quite strong. Mm. And I would say your red liner tape is going to be what's uh, very strong and will hold everything into place. So I'm just putting it on the sides of this one. I mean, you could cut it down if you wanted to. So um, you could uh, cut it down to fit your window. But as it fits in the gap, I'm not going to worry too much. Does the, can I ask a question? Yeah. Does the Absolutely. red tape, sticky tape come in different gauges? Yes, it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, great question. And actually, probably a thicker one would be better. So this is a three millimetre. We do it in six and a 12 millimetre. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I guess the bigger ones are good for boxes as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. For construction, amazing. Yeah, yeah but uh, it's red liner tape. You can't beat red liner tape. No. It's just a very strong medium. What did you just sort of burnish that for then? Uh, so it just makes it easier because when you're sticking it to acetate, yeah. I want it, it's quite, when you, so you can see I'm struggling here to actually take that top layer oh, off okay. is a bit difficult. So burnishing it down allows you to take it off a little bit right. better. Good it can be a little bit tricky. Once you've got the um, the little, um, what would you call that? Um, the little end started, you yeah, can rip it off. Can't that's you? it, exactly. Um, I'm trying to think what you would uh, sort of call it. The carrier sheet, I would have thought of something like that off the... Oh, know, that bit, yeah. The actual peel bit. The little it. topper, isn't it? A, a little tip as well for your um, the top bits. It's quite static. Do you, I don't know if you've ever used red liner tape, Zena. No, but I've watched you and I've watched it stick to all your tops. Look, it sticks. It yeah. sticks everywhere. Uh, a little tip, I haven't got it to show you, but I'll try and remember next next time uh, have a bit of kitchen towel to the side of you and uh, it literally just takes it away from your hands oh. it's amazing it's absolutely amazing it's like when you pick up a feather in the garden isn't it and you can't throw it away it sticks to your fingers it's the same sort of thing isn't it yes yeah, yeah that's it yeah so it's very good oh, right so great. all i'm doing yeah it sounds really good doesn't it so i'm just making sure none of this is going to come apart then we're going to stick this side down mm -hmm. so now we've done that piece Oh, I am going to put our, well, let's put these on the inside. So before we stick that down, just so we can see them, I want to make sure as we pop that round, oh, that we can brilliant. then see it's our, it's, amazing, it's so effective. Isn't yeah. It? And then we're going to pop this on to the other side. Oh, this is brilliant. So just stick in that one down like so. So that gives us our window. Very clever, isn't Debbie, it? Do you know what what Dan just said in the gallery? Oh, if you put some of the, if you put some of the, you know, the like the little electric fairy lights in there. As oh well. yes, absolutely. Yeah. that's a brilliant idea. Love that. Now I've just got some of my alphabet words at home, so you'll have some in your stash. So I've just oh, literally cut boo onto there, and then we're just going to add our extra pieces. So he's going to sit oh. down here, little bunny pop that just at the side 
it's just nice that we can build this all up and then I'm going to put a pumpkin at the side there just to tie in with our pumpkins at the base and then all we've got left to do oh. is to use our little spiders. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you mind spiders, Zena? No, we're all right. Yeah, not me I, me I don't mind a daddy long legs. I'm all right with them. I don't always fancy picking up like a one that la you know walks on the floor. What about you? I'm okay, funny enough, with bigger spiders than, yeah. I, are, uh, than I am smaller spiders. Yeah. yeah, so let's just pop these. Um, and I'm all right until they move or want to come towards me and then I think, hang on a minute, that wasn't the deal. <laughs> <laughs> I've, you know, can I just say, I've got one in my lounge and I swear to goodness he knows when it's 10 to 8 at night. Because he walks around the lounge at 10 to 8 every night. <laughs> oh, can I be re can I do something now that I don't normally do but I'm going to have to? Can we all have a collective round of applause in the studio, please? Because that is just... You like my acetating bossing. We do. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Debbie. You're very welcome. Can you tell us much how she enjoyed that as well? You can just tell. Um, first thing first, if you would like, obviously, now you're sitting there thinking, oh, come on, I can't, I can't resist. You're going to get, in each one of these craft kits... Uh, you've got the haunted house, the pumpkins galore, and you've got the uh, pumpkins galore, the haunted house, and the wicked witches. In each of the craft kit as well, you are getting, don't forget, the stencil, the stamp, the die, and the embossing folder in each one. Now, in each one at 29.97, that's for all three, by the way, that means that the huge um, stamp is £2.50. The stencils are £2.50. The metal die is £2.50 and the, um, the basically the embossing folder is £2.49 giving it away quite frankly yeah no trick just treats and just quickly as well just quickly the, the pad the pad that is an absolute essential I'm going to do the flicky flicky double sided doubles now this is over 60% oh da, da, ba, 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 come back there's one that uh, Debbie's just used all double-sided, not all Halloween-related. There's your spider's web. Look, you've got a bit of fun. Very autumnal as well. Okay, you've got those ones are upside down because it's... Ba, 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 ba. You could do harvest festivals as well, couldn't you? You've got... It, just somebody, if somebody loves spiders, let's face it. My friend's got a tarantula. Yeah, called Doris. <laughs> there's your, I, know, I love the fact that she's called her tarantula Doris, but there you go. Uh, but there you go. And there's your borders. There's these incredible designs. Absolutely stunning. That whole pad, 32 sheets of eight designs, £4.99. We're going to squeeze in. Say we, the royal we, we'll all watch and Debbie will do it. <laughs> it's been squeezing under the demo. Let's just, yes, we're not yeah. going to get it finished, but I think it's great that we can show you uh, the other pack and the other cute stamps that are in here as well because yeah. they are absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, I love the fact, oh, that one should have inked that up a little bit more. So the good thing is I've got my stamping platform so I can go in and just give that another inking. Um, and then I'm just going to press down right in the cross in the centre make sure that's all gone down and there we go we can see our cute little cat there Aww. so let's pop that to the side and then just bring in that card that we were coloring onto so when you're using alcohol pens always uh, color onto something and it stops any bleed um, and then all we're going to do now let's give him uh, a little color let's use our purple we were saying about purple being very good yeah so using this inside in fact i'm going to go straight in with my mid color so we've got a bit of a darker purple going on. So That's in the um, Wicked Witch collection, isn't it, that one? Yes, that it is, yeah. yes. Yeah, a, another great one. These are fabulous for really uh, being creative for Halloween. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we've had a Halloween um, set like this so comprehensive with a bit of everything. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so amazing. So all I'm going to do, because our shading will be around those stars, mm. as you would sort of expect, we're just going to pop that all the way round and then go into our mid colour just to shade that in. So oh, let's do a bit more around that one and then go back in and then blend that in. So it's always about the blending. Your yeah. lightest colour of alcohol uh, is the one that's going to blend the most because it has the most amount of alcohol in it. Right. Um, doesn't mean you can get drunk on it. It's not that <laughs> You read my mind. Alcohol. 
<laughs> yeah so it's um yeah and it's just and and always if you're not if you don't think you like what you've done or it isn't how you want it leave it let it dry let it evaporate and then go back to it oh that's, that's a great the, yeah tip. it's Thank the best Jeffy. thing that you can do with alcohol coloring is uh, yeah don't keep trying to rework it mm. because you can only saturate a card so much yeah. and then you can't put any more color down right. and all that will happen um, and in fact I'll show you very quickly okay. as you're sort of coloring the more you color over you can see you get that solid color and now it's starting to go wet Oh yeah. Because all that's happening is I'm just now colouring one block colour and that will really then come through oh, the okay. opposite side. So it'll only take so much before it starts sort of bleeding out. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more around his cloak here and so blend. Character it in. in there, isn't there? It, it's such a character, isn't it? I think yeah. you can give names to all of these. Oh, yeah. It's so amazing. And let me bring in, so he's, this is the one that we was going to colour. All I've done with Aww. this kit, you've got the cauldron in this one. You've got the witch stencil in that one as well as the dye. Your happy Halloween, which is amazing. And that black cat in the corner there is just absolutely isn't super it? cute. Yeah. So that's your third uh, craft kit. And, uh, and don't forget, you can mix and match these. So if you're going for all three, you can use all the um, different embellishments from each one of the kits in whatever you're doing absolutely what a collection brilliant debbie thank you so thank much you. you're back with us in an hour's time i am after the break you got auntie pauline with christmas <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are going on the road, and our first stop is the Created event, taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show-only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Get your tickets now by logging on to createdevents.com forward slash shop, and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. We have some exciting news. Hobbymaker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobbymaker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobbymaker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Have you ever wanted to get started santangling? Well, if you'd like to, then join us at 3 o'clock on Sunday. We'll be going back to basics and telling you everything that you need to know so you can get started on your tangling journey. That's Sunday, this week at 3 o'clock. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the creative manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier papercraft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our papercraft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of papercraft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, water brush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. 
We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations, which we just know the audience love. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker when you purchase anything on hobby maker you have a 30-day money-back guarantee meaning that you can shop with confidence happy shopping with hobby maker It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Is it something like 102 days or something? It's nearly in double figures. It is nearly in double figures. I mean, look at this man. He's going to be on his way very, very soon, isn't he? Our lovely Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Saint Nick, or whoever you want to call him. In this magazine, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to introduce you to our guest in one moment, but we have this magazine is absolutely awesome. Inside here, it is Honky Dory's Christmas special magazine. It is awesome with the talented creative team from Honky Dory, including our award winning design sellout designer herself of her own collection, <laughs> Auntie Pauly. Oh. Hello, Auntie Pauly. <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh. Has anybody received their, their, their collections from, from Pauline? Have, have they already? I have, yes. Oh, have you had some lovely messages? Oh, yeah. Have you? I've not had anybody actually make anything yet, but they have sort of stamped and said great quality right. and that, which is wonderful. Oh, right. I'm waiting for the, all the pictures to come. Brilliant. So, can we just before we start, I'll get the magazine in, but share your makes. The second you've made a design from Pauline's brand new personal collection. Because they'll be it, they'll be in. For the in for the hundred pounds, pounds absolutely get your messages in all right okay um so we'll tell you how to do that in a moment but first this is going on we've got a whole hour of different magazines from honky dory yeah aren't we now i know a lot of you will have started your christmas makes already some of you might have even finished some of you might not even have had chance to get started so this magazine, am I right in thinking, Paul, you have got, it says here, 80 plus projects. Yes, definitely. That's a lot of inspiration in those well, pages. Well, it is, but, but the magazine initially, although it can be sold on its own, yeah. was produced to coincide with the um, launch of the Ultimate Collection. Oh, the, the, big, the big one. So that's why it's got a lot of inspiration ah. in there, because that collection was huge. It, uh, you, the word is humongous. Humongous, gigantic. gigantic. And uh, can I just, before we even talk about the projects, they give you card, printed card as well. Yep, yep. And if you look, I believe yeah. it's perforated. It, oh. So it doesn't interfere with the, your, you know, no staples to remove. Brilliant. No pages to try and put back in. So it just tears out. You don't yeah, damage yeah. your magazine no, effectively. Not at all. So you're getting all that printed paper as well as all the inspiration and it might be that you've got some of the collections of the of, of some of the Christmas collection that you're thinking do you know what mm. I've done what I usually do I'm happy with that but I fancy doing something a bit different yeah well if you bought the smaller collection the blockbuster not the ultimate you wouldn't have got the magazine and now that you've got the collection you uh -huh. might think ah do you know what I could do with a little bit of inspiration that's a great idea yeah Absolutely great idea, yeah, because it, it, it was the ultimate, wasn't it? Was it the ultimate? That, yeah. 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 So you'd be able to get the magazine now for a heavily, 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 heavily not that price. Heavily not that price. I'll give it a flick through in a minute. 19 99 if you divide that by 80, Laura. Laura's our producer. 
Where's your calculator? We're having one of them days today. We've all lost something today. <laughs> I lost my notes. I did get to purchase. Right, so at the moment, at the moment, every one of the projects, 24 pennies. Mm. 24 pennies. Uh, uh, he always says that. Oh, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, do you know what? Shit. Oh, 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 at that they're price, come, oh, they're, they're coming, coming in. Fast and furious they're coming from in. the gallery now. The director just said, at that price, you haven't seen the price. At the price there, you're robbing us. At this price, you're robbing us in a minute. I'll tell you, you're ready. We're at 24 pennies a project. You're already shocked. This is the shocker from Hunky Dory today. We're giving you these projects, 80 plus projects, for seven pence a project. So, should we find a project, Paulie? Yeah, go on. And just go sit. for it. Go for it. How about um, when you do the paper rolling? Fabulous. Nice. Fabulous. Great way now to use your scraps. The, yep, but the papers in the middle are ideal oh, for this. Yeah, they are. Because they're the right uh, weight. Yeah. And they'll roll easily. They're double sided, so if you can see anything from the inside, you know it's not going to be Lovely white. Idea. It's covered. Um, and it's so easy to do. And all you do is start with one, either the biggest or the smallest. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then just go a little bit longer or reverse shorter and glue them on. That's it. Double sided tape them on. Then a little one, a uh, little squarish uh, for the pot. Yep. Star on the top. Love it. And away you go. That inspiration has just cost you 7p. <laughs> you, could even, you could even do that for your Australian family, if you've got Australian family. Yeah. Do it upside, upside down, because <laughs> you can buy trees upside down. You can. I, I don't know, know why. I, can, I, think, I think the idea is to hang them from the ceiling. Is it? I think so. Mm. I'm not quite Pinky. into that. Mm. <laughs> I'm not still trying to that. get past red, green and gold for Christmas, <laughs> let alone anything... Weird. Yeah, like Wonder the black what? ones and things. Yeah, just bizarre. Uh, again, um, if you, I mean, there's so much inspiration. I could just keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, and again, you'll see. You might recognise some of the collections. You might have these collections. I know they were hugely popular. I mean, everybody waits the entire year oh, for this collection. I think that one, that that topper, yeah, and the backing card. I think out of all of the collections, that has to be my favourite. Yeah. It, 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 I, I had so much fun playing with that. Have you? It, oh, beautiful. And I think it's the colours yeah. that are in it, yeah. as well as the theme, like Bethlehem. It's, yeah. it's just beautiful. But the colours and the cutability. Yeah. It's a good word. It's it? a good word. The cutability. The cutability. Well, you are a cut above the rest, Pauline. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We can't help ourselves. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the cutability. We've got the craft knife on the show today as well, haven't we? We, well, we don't go far without the craft we knife, don't. do we? Look at this. Look at this for <laughs> 7p. A fur cone bauble. It's not just cards. No, and you can do that as a tree as well. So where you've got um, a smaller one at the top and then some shapes and a, a smaller one at the bottom. Yeah. If you start with a small one at the top and keep going... Layer one on top of the other, you've got a Christmas tree. Brilliant. Do you see so what I mean? it, it's great, it, honestly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. And if you if you're like me and you stand here next to the likes of Debbie Fisher, and you stand here next to the likes of Pauline, and they go, oh, you know, you just do this and you just put this there, and you just do this, and I'm sitting there thinking, ah, oh, what? I'm, it's in the magazine. It, but 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 some of us aren't blessed with your talent, Pauline. Well, that's not. what we have the magazines for. Because, but you, but you will be. Do you know? It, it's you, you say I, that. I, I had, I've started like you once upon a time. Only I started with a stamp. Did, is that? Yeah, is it? I started you? with a stamp and an ink. Started pack, with a stamp, and it didn't dry. That's how I started. Really? Went back, and they said. Well, you've got the wrong ink. You you need heat embossing powder and one of these, and it was a heat gun. Ah, uh, and End that was story. it. story. That was it. I was gone. I saw a demo this morning with, with, with an embossed folder, and then the heat gun went on it. Oh, that oh, was transfixed. Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. But this is, the, this is the lovely thing. I mean, as I say, it's not all star-related. Now, you look at those two um, papers that are perforated to come out. Free double-sided paper as well. Neither of those need to be Christmassy, do they? No, that's right. They're every day. That's right, yeah, yeah. Perforated, yep. Absolutely, doesn't ruin the binding of the magazine. I mean, if you just keep going through this magazine, there is, oh, do you want to make a snowflake? Do you want to make a snowflake? <laughs> Bobble. 
Look at this. Isn't that lovely to put in your yeah. window as well? It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. That That's like a bit of quilling. Isn't it? Yeah. That is lovely. This is £5.99. Now, in baskets, I've got Sandra, got Valerie, got Tracy, got Alison, Rachel, Sandra, Elizabeth, Liz, Crafters, Sarah, Valerie's just got it, Edward. Oh, I like the name Edward. It's a very... Oh, it's a um, lovely upstanding name. It's a regal name, name isn't, isn't it, Edward? Absolutely. Hello, Edward. Uh, we've, got, we've got so many of you, Babs and, and, and Julie, my neighbour. Oh, she's my neighbour, Julie. Hello, Julie, love. <laughs> well, not five ninety nine. There's ten plates and everything in there. We also have the latest magazine that was only launched last week, number 60, this one. So this only came out last week, didn't it? It did, yes. This is the gingerbread man. Oh, it's lovely. And I, I, can, I was sat with a nice cup of tea while I watched Natalie with the uh, gingerbread man. Oh, it is right. so lovely. She did, she did shrink plastic earrings. She did. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. She did, yeah. out of the dye that, uh, that you got at the time. Um, she she just what did she she put the 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 the, the shrink plastic pad and then she heated it didn't she yeah it was brilliant oh just remember when you're doing shrink plastic yeah um, color it before right right yeah and always remember that whatever you color it with it will go darker oh so don't start off too dark because it will go darker then it will look like a burnt but anything man. any dye you know you can you can do shrink plastic do all sorts see that blows your mind doesn't it. You just buy the shrink plastic. Make your own key rings. And always remember to do the hole first as well and do it bigger than you need. Because it will shrink. Because it will shrink. Good point. See? It's I fine. was trying to tell... Who was I trying to tell? Somebody... I think it was Dave Bradford. Oh, yeah. Because he tried to do a bit of shrink plastic on the show. And with shrink plastic, the reason it shrinks is because it is like that to start off with. And they stretch it. Oh, okay. Right, and so then you've got sheets. Oh. So when you heat it, it, it goes back, back again. It's almost it, like it's got a memory, it. hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now I would also like to point out that we launched recently the decoupage, didn't we? We did. Mm -hmm. See what's on the back here. Look. Um, that starts to tell you about what's coming up, doesn't it? Today. Today. Uh -huh. Four o'clock. And it's real. Proper, oh, it's old traditional, school. Yeah, old yeah. school. How decoupage it's proper. started. It's not die cut, but you've got a. You'll have a base layer, and you'll have sheets of decoupage, but it's all old school cutting out. And that's all. Oh, so the some people exactly. that, that don't like the the <laughs> die cut. Yep. They want traditional. Yeah, and it's all lovely. Um, with this magazine, I am going to just, just mention as well, if I may, because you might be thinking, oh, hang on. So the previous one was a magazine. We're, on the day when we launched this, I'm just going to put that in there because I want to show you. Everybody had a bit of a meltdown and a bit of a panic. I'll be, I'll be truthful. <laughs> because what, what we had here, everybody kept coming in the studio and I could see everybody sort of stood, stood over there going, oh, zinny has got it wrong again. Because actually, <laughs> if you look here, look, there's the Gingerbread Man uh, Moonstone collection of the die. You, there's, if I just pick up all of these, like, there's got these foiled, fabulous toppers with the sentiments, okay? All of these, I'm going to show you every single one, because you might be thinking, okay, so the price is going to go up. I mean, we're going to a wedding on Saturday. So a lovely friend of ours, Tom's getting married to his beautiful fiancée, Jen. Uh, this Saturday coming, how lovely would that be for their first Christmas card as fabulous. man and wife? Yeah? Fabulous. New family there, look as well. You know, there's all lovely sentiments, all beautifully foiled. And this is where Honky Dory are absolutely flipping great. Because you've got shapes, you've got frames within frames, haven't you? Mm, yeah. You've got borders, and, you've got and, sentiments. And, and usually there's always a choice of sentiments on there. As you say, borders, little toppers, accents on yeah. there. Tags um, And also, mix and match your, yeah. your toppers and your, um, <laughs> and your um, frames. Yeah. You know, there might be one on one that, that you like more than another. Yeah, you don't have to You're stick okay with the same thing, do, do you? Yeah. Look. The train. It's like my friend Richard. He's really into trains. He's yeah. got a steam train and all the bit. And I just think, and, you know, that's, that makes it personal, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it does. I mean, we all know gingerbread houses, but gingerbread train, that's... I know, I mean. And towns and yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, look at those. So you get the foiled fabulous toppers. Wonderful. And there's lots there. You might be thinking, okay, so just give me the full price. It's, we have. This is what confused us all on the day. And then, <laughs> and then you've got your double-sided printed paper. Yeah. 
answer. And again, amazing. All related to the gingerbread. Yeah. yeah. He's just fabulous. And I mean, how, how many of those could you cut out and put on a, 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 a banner? Well, oh, yeah. Oh, well, on the day, hmm. we had bunting of gingerbread men. Exactly. Yeah. With the yeah, with the dye, yeah. We did you right? Oh, I'm glad you reminded. And again, there, look, doesn't have to be Christmas. What's okay. lovely about these papers is if you've got a small gift, perhaps little jewellery or something. Oh, yeah, little pair earrings. You can use these to wrap them up. It's a nice idea. Yeah. 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 Latest edition launched. I do apologise. I said last week it was two weeks ago. Doesn't time fly? Okay. All of these beautiful printed cards. Again, phenomenal, phenomenal quality as we absolutely expect from Honky Dory. Um, we're not done with nine ninety nine. <laughs> no, this is the thing. On the day, we were all so, we were. All, I was so nervous that I got it wrong. I, I was. Um, the, the the printed card as well. See, so, so you cut you. Do you still class that as card stock or printed card? Is it the same? Card stock, print, it's printed card stock. Printed card stock, so it's, it's yeah. the same thing. Right, okay. Okay, you've got all of these designs. And again, it's the... It's the... It's the uh, imagination yeah, that, that it, your team it, are so like, good at. They don't just, like on that one, put a, a, a green pattern on. You've got borders on there. Yeah. And a lot of the times the borders can be cut out. Got they can make... Um, and... and, and with that one, you see, you could do a centre stepper card and those borders can be at each side yeah. of it. So there's lots and lots of ideas. And again, with that one, it can be used landscape or portrait. So there are lots of, um, lots of options. opportunities to, to make different shape cards. Yeah. But again, look at the, look at the, look at the beautiful effect there of yeah. the stars. Now, there's no reason why those stars can't be at the top or at the bottom. Absolutely. Or at the side. You know, if you want to go like that. Yeah, up, you know, totally yeah up to of you. course, yeah. yeah. Totally up to you, look. Now, our lovely Margot. Oh, look at that. Hello. Hi, Margot. Like, Hello, Margot. Love. Hello, George. There's a paper with that with the bundle that I'm going to put in a clip frame for our great grandson. Oh, that's great. Oh. See, again, another way of using it. Yeah. That's a lovely idea, Margot. Thank you for always messaging in. Do you know what? We don't take it for granted, Margot. You are kind. You make the show for us. So still, still, still going for, still, I mean, I'm still going, look. <laughs> oh, there's our love. And again, look at the detail here. It's like the, it's like mountain, it's like the Alps all yeah. sort of, you know, got baubles yeah. on them, isn't it? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
they they just don't add up don't to add something up. being they don't add up. being like that it's it's amazing it really yeah. is amazing so how, so well first of all i'll tell you what i'm thinking do you know what i think i think the magazine's about right 10p a project <laughs> 10p a project and then quite frankly the the foil toppers the printed card the double-sided paper and the die is free yeah because you can't you can't go anywhere and say to somebody I tell you what in here i just found it and i kept it right so for example could you teach me please pauline how to make either a fancy shape box or a wrap around box to gift to a friend or family member and i tell you what as brilliant as you are oh you've made your own your own collection fantastic um could you teach me how to do that for 10p no 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 oh, that's about no. quite polite pauline that <laughs> Seriously, I though, I couldn't provide you with the cardstock for no. 10p. Also, who would possibly spend the time to come up with that design, allow you to then resell that design because there's a full angel policy, write up all that, then pay to have it printed in a magazine, come up with all the ingredients, all the, all the, all the, all the knowledge in the tutorial, and then give it to you for you to resell for 10p. It's crazy. <laughs> it really is crazy. <laughs> brilliant there's templates in there <laughs> oh i will move on but just one just just really quickly before i move on laura we are going crackers everybody talks about making your own crackers and there's a template for you to follow there's your template to follow for 10 pence you'll <laughs> never buy a cracker again <laughs> just saying um one can you see why on the day we we're all like we've got to have this wrong. yeah we've got they've got it wrong we've got it wrong somebody's got it wrong it was so wrong, it was right. <laughs> it's lovely to be able to buy this. Um, so whether you've got the collection or not. Yeah. It, it's, you know, you, you might say, well, I didn't get the collection. Is the matter. magazine no good to matter. me? No, because you can use any of uh, the other of the Hunky Dory card stocks. Absolutely. With it. Because you do. Top you might have it. leftover from the ultimate yeah. from last year. You might. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Brilliant deal. Brilliant deal. Brilliant. Excuse me going out of shot, sorry. Now we've got another magazine. Mm. <laughs> never ending yeah. um so this is the this is what you call the box the box magazine so this is the box as we speak so it comes in that box it comes everything comes in that box so this one this this one is produced not in-house at hunky dory okay okay so the 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 with this one you do get some projects from our, our team, yeah, but you get outside people Ooh. in as well. So designers well, from it. all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So in this one, yeah. Well, if you thought the other one was giving, this one as well mm. is just crazy, absolutely crazy, um, because in the box, yeah, you'll get a collection, mm -hmm. you, which is toppers, backing card. We'll show you that. Double-sided papers. Mm -hmm. Not right. just that, though. But is not it? just that. No. So, how about a die? How about a stamp set? How about an embossing folder? Oh yes. I got it. I've yep. got it here. So. Twelve ninety-nine. I'm going to show you how this works because I'm going to Brilliant. show you a little, a, a lovely idea. Oh great! Uh, oh. With something else that we've got on okay. the show. So, Up. look at that. That is amazing. So. That could then be frosted up mm. for Christmas, yeah. but it doesn't scream Christmas tree. No, it doesn't actually. It's trees, it's, yeah. it's leaves, like could be vines. So it could be adaptable. It could okay. be like a winter thing, but if somebody likes to go yeah. with skiing. Yeah, absolutely. Like okay. So then we have oh, tree house. Uh, but not only the tree house, we have two different size flowers mm. and a little butterfly. Aww. And it's so lovely. So again, perhaps you want to cut that in white and then colour it. Yeah. Um, but it, or, or just do it in um, a hunky-dory, uh, again, a brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yep. then, you know, but it Beautiful. is really lovely. Not to get that there. as well for 12 months. And how about a set of Aww. fairies Aww. and... A, a, a sort of a gnome person, a, a woodcutter gnome, yeah. gnome person. I'm saying gnome person because he's got that. I mean, it could it could be Santa in disguise it as could a lumberjack. Be dressing up, yeah. 
say Santa, you know, with he's got his axe here, okay, and he's like, he's, he's like, he's showing <laughs> Mrs. Christmas how he's going to cut down his Christmas Absolutely. tree. Absolutely. Um, and you've got with lots of love and hugs um, and happy birthday to you, little snail, snail, butterfly, little frog, polar bear, polar bear with a hat on, mm -hmm. um, two fairies, and then you've got a little floral um, amazing. stamp there. And so all that, I mean, and none of those what, things what that, you that put are a, consumable. What price? I mean, it's just all that. Well, if you were to say, genuinely, right? If yeah, it was hunky dory. Are we? To, uh, sometimes I've seen things go down to like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I've yeah. seen daft prices. Well, our stamps, which are usually, um, let's say, a five size like mm. this, yeah, would be eight pound. Okay, so like, let's say seven ninety nine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, an embossing folder. I mean, you're talking five pound for that. Okay, so yeah. we're at thirteen pounds. And a die like that. Well, you again, you're talking at least five pound. Okay. So and I'm being, I'm being sort of very really, average yep. there. So let's eighteen pounds. And then your magazine. So eighteen pounds magazine. Even if we went five ninety nine, like the first one. Yeah, I mean. But that is on the yeah. really low. We're going. Side. I'm going silly here. Yeah. So it's a twenty-four pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, what? <laughs> what about then though the luxury Correction. toppers, the 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 printed card, the double-sided, and the inserts. Mm. I'm just. I'm just. I'm, yeah. So you're getting all of that as well. Okay. Over 40 pounds. Look, isn't it fabulous? He's ace. I'm a lumberjack. I absolutely on. love it. You have to sing that, don't you? <laughs> when you're crafting, when you're making a card with that, you've got to sing <laughs> I'm a lumberjack. You have. But then, look, we're adorable going into adorable fairy. Adorable In that fairy. lovely soft pink and green. Yeah. It and then it's definitely <laughs> a gnome on that one. <laughs> These are lovely collections, Pauline. They are. That's oh, awesome. they? All of these borders, all of these sentiments, all of it. So you're getting yeah. this, you're getting all... So these are, we're going to the consumable part of the deal here. Yeah. Okay, if I just move that out of the way just for one second and replace it with that. And, oh, do you know what? We, oh, there it is. Look at it, it's so lovely. Makes me want to go and live in a forest. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> He looks a little bit like he's had a few. He's been on the on the show. Uh, he shouldn't be walking around with a he with, a, with an axe he? like that if yeah. he has. Yeah, he looks a bit you know, sozzled. Um, uh, elf and safety. Uh, oh, Pauline, she's joined it. She's got it. She's got it. We're I like can't it. be outdone by Zena. <laughs> uh, but oh dear, <laughs> oh dear. Ah. There's a moose loose <laughs> about this hoose. <laughs> oh, look at him there. <laughs> I love him. I oh, think he is just He's brilliant. Glorious. What a dude. He's nice. <laughs> oh, and brown bear. I love a brown bear. Yeah, look at Jim. I've got bear. a soft spot for oh, a brown bear. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. here we go. Gnome Tastic with the um with the beautiful little toadstools there as well. Oh look. Oh look at that. Oh, she's lovely. So sweet, isn't it? You do realise this is still all under the twelve ninety nine daft price tag, isn't it? Brilliant. So there you go, fairies and bunting, and, and they're not—they're not childlike. No, they're not. Not at all. It, It's—they're very—they're proper real fairies. Done. Yeah. yeah. Um, still not done on the uh, twelve ninety nine. Uh, you get all of this for twelve ninety nine, and then we're into the fabulous. Love the tree. That double sided, of course. It's hunky dory. Oh, beautiful pastel blues. I see. There's. How, I don't know how you come up with all the different variations of the of the different pattern nation as well. I know. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Still going, by the way. Oh wow. It's an unusual one, isn't, isn't it? it? Mm -hmm. That's really fun. You'd be cutting those out as well, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm getting to getting to know you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Still going. Dear me. I mean, they go. do say to me, "Can you try and get through these things quickly?" Well, stop putting so much in them. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we have a look we at haven't finished? Oh, we haven't finished. I was right. saying, should we have a look at this embossing? Yes, please. Folder? Yes, please. Shall we? But these are inserts as well, aren't they, lovely? Or inserts or... They are inserts. Yep. So you're getting those as well, um, which is just wonderful. Um, so it, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Doesn't it just? This one. Doesn't is. it just for 12 99 Wow. 
So uh, Pauline's just pour, uh, getting the embossing folder ready for you, my lovely, to give you a little quick impromptu demo. But this was, this is a lovely uh, Honky Dory premium The Box magazine, volume 17. They don't come around very often. I know Honky Dory's other magazines, if we're, if hopefully are, and if we're lucky, are bi-monthly, but this is done not in-house, and therefore, because of all the different designers brought in from around the world, it doesn't happen very often. So it's a limited edition as well. Okay. Now, Zena, nice we've, yes. we've got another product on the show, and that is our Prism Ink Pads. Mm -hmm. Now, can I ask you... Yes, you can, darling. ...to get me a green? A green. Do you want a dark green, a light green, a I'm medium? I'm going to leave that up to you. You're going to leaf that up to me? Well, then, let's have rainforest green, then. <laughs> Is, is that this one? That's that one. <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to get into this. It's all nicely sealed up. I haven't got mine with me, and I want. Okay. I want to show you something which some of you may know, some of you may not. So these are the so shimmer pads. These are the shimmer pads, yeah. and this is rainforest green, which lovely. is quite lovely. lovely. Now, I've opened my embossing folder. Now, if you've not used an embossing folder before, you've got the picture on the front, which is a great help for knowing which way up it goes. Ah, okay. okay. So when you open it, you'll have one with a raised side, mm. which is the one with a picture on. Yeah. And then, oh, sorry, um, one with a... <laughs> Not the one with the picture on. This is the raised side. Okay. Can't feel it with my own hands. <laughs> um, and, and you can see that is going to push through the card to bring that picture forward. So raise it up. Raise it. Okay. But what we can do, we can use it to deboss with colour. So if I take oh. this, okay, and then on my picture, on the raised side... Okay, don't squish it down, Dan. <laughs> um, just, just do the, on the raised side, so that you're getting, because these are on a foam base. And if you squidge, all that is going to go in there. So it floods it, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard of deboss. Deboss is oh. the other side of emboss. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do... Oh, I'm excited to see. Gently, Bentley, just do all this. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we've got there. If you've got a little bit where it shouldn't be, mm. just give it a little wipe. Okay. Okay. I think I've got everything. Okay. So just a little bit up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we put our card. Yeah. Yeah. And we lower it down gently. Okay. And then we're just going to use the two plates. Mm -hmm. We don't need anything else. I pass that back to you. Yeah, thank you. So that's going through the die cutting machine, is it? Yeah. Or not? Yeah. Okay. So through our machine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gone off. There we go. Run. I've switched it off. Okay. That's not going through, Pauline. Little monkey. There you go. There I've you just go. left it to its own devices. <laughs> I could feel. I forgot. I actually have to do a little <laughs> bit of pushing. He was it sitting in. there going, "Push me in, push me in." <laughs> right, are you ready? Yeah. I can't wait. Be to funny see if it. it hasn't worked, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we take that off, <gasps> and there we have <gasps> the emboss side. Okay. But when we turn it over, no. we've got the deboss side in green. So the green has gone into. All the crevices, all the nooks and crannies. Can we get that? Shall I pick that up? Yeah, is if that... you turn that round, we'll get a, we'll get a bit of close up, Pauline. Oh, there that we go. Is wonderful. We've never seen anybody do that. Oh, I could do that for my dad for golf because it's like can. a bunker or a lake. With or the if trees. you don't like it, you see, then you've also already got the emboss side oh. on the other side. That I... oh. yeah. But it just gives that highlight. Mm -hmm. um, and what you can do yeah. is, I mean, you, you've still got ink on here that yeah. obviously needs to be cleaned off. Mm. But you could get a fine paintbrush and paint it in if you wanted it stronger. Yeah. Um, or, or go with a darker colour and, it, you know, it will pick up more. That's brilliant But it, it's, um, it's, it's something that's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, how do you clean that then? Baby wipe yeah. or water? Yeah, under the yeah. Tap, yeah. Under the All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you use any sort of like liquid, washing up liquid? 
Uh -uh. Do you need no. to? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not going to hurt. Don't waste it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll clean that up yeah. after. Um, now, my lovelies, the the, the prism in with the um, and they're all the uh, shimmer pads, aren't they? And you've we have had a shimmer ink bundle before. Now this isn't what we've had before. This is a variation. Goodness me, there's a whole rainbow and then some of colour, isn't it? You get 33 of the ink pads right here in 33 different colours. And when it says a word, a world of colour rather, they're not kidding. 33 prism shimmer ink pads here. Every colour under the sun, every colour above the sun. £1.66 each, that is. <laughs> <laughs> One, so, so they're already inched. You can't you have to buy do an ink pad for that. Yeah, well, you can today. Um, that, that ink pad you've just used, by the way, lovely. Um, which yeah. one was it? Was it that one there? Rainforest so, Green. Yeah, so that one there, look. Is that just ready to go? Do you have to do anything to it? No. No? Not at all. In fact, don't do anything to it. Oh. Don't, if you wanted to watercolour with it, yeah. squidge it onto a, um, a, an acrylic block or, or your um, mixed media mat. Oh, OK. But don't ever put a wet paintbrush in because you're diluting the colour oh, of, course, of the ink yeah. in there. Okay. Always squidge it out and pick the colour up after. Don't, don't put water in. No. Very good. But point. what's lovely about these is they are shimmer inks. They're not sparkly inks um, and they're not going to give you, you know, here I am, yeah. blast of, of sparkle yeah. on there. They are shimmer. Yeah. So when the, as they dry, you'll get this beautiful, soft, so shimmery subtle. finish. Very subtle. subtle. Like me and you, lovely. Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and you. <laughs> oh, I do. But can you see all these lovely, lovely colours here? I mean, they're absolutely glorious. And I have to say as well, some of the names that you've got. Oh, are yeah. lovely. You've got apricots, you've got blues, you've got browns. Blackberry, got... Um, blackcurrant jam. Blackcurrant jam. Um, yeah. And then we've got um, chilli. Red chilli. Oh, but a red chilli. Apricot what? sorbet. I've just thought, yeah. Carnelian, is that carne, carne, is that camellia? Camellia. Camellia. Camellia pink. Camellia yeah. pink. Oh, what lovely. Canary one. yellow. Red chilli. Yeah. That's your red chilli. That's your red chilli um, chilli. Cocoa, um, is it hot cocoa? Hot cocoa. cocoa. Oh, hot cocoa. There's a, there's a, it is cocoa. So rose, rose, rose coffee. Che well, cherry it, walnut, cherry, oh, it. cherry, cherry walnut, walnut is oh. wonderful. Is it? Mm. Smoked paprika. Then we go into the blues. I mean, you've got Blue Lagoon. Oh, Blue Lagoon. Mm. How long do that? That's a good question. Whether it had been a dry base. Uh, sorry, is it dry base? Right. How long does that take? When you just did that, then how long does it take to dry? A few minute. A few minutes. A minute. A minute. A minute. A minute to dry. Obviously, don't put your finger in to find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah. all things. What's this one? Apple, apple green, yeah. apple green. Of course, you've got every colour, every colour imaginable. They are lovely. And I've still oh, got well, my original it. sets. Right, so how oh. long have you had yours, Paulie? Um, oh, a good couple of years now, it is. And have you, a couple of years and you a use the same set every time you demo? Yeah, yeah. And they're still going? Yeah. I've not had to change any of them. So fifty-four ninety-nine on split pay. We've done it on a, on a two-way split pay. So you'll pay that one now. And then in a month's time, 30 days' time, we'll email you and we'll say, oh, I'm just going to take the next payment, and you're finished. You're done. And actually, with all those colours, it might be that you want to split out and share them with a friend. Oh, no. Oh, Pauline. No. Now, Pauline, I know you're I'm nicer sorry. than that. Pauline, I know you are. No. Pauline. No, no one comes <laughs> between me and my crap. <laughs> um, what is lovely, though, it, it does... It, I'm sorry, Dan. Dan's saying, can I have some? He can thinks, I have he thinks some? He's gonna... it's, like, it's like my, you know, the little round chocolate balls in a red oh, pack. Oh, the ones I don't that share melt. Them either. <laughs> yeah. Have you um, had your cookie, by the way? I haven't, no. Oh, no. I'm going to have after this With show. With a cup of tea. I'm going to have a, cup of, a cookie and a cup of tea. You can, yes, do, Dan, you can have lemon drizzle you cake. Did, you did promise that for this time. Mm, I know, oh. but I did yesterday buy some really good lemon curd to make a Ooh. lemon curd cake so oh yeah apparently her lemon drizzle is legendary <laughs> to be fair she has been coming up with her own collection 
And it took her 30 years. I'm only so we trying to bribe my way through the building <laughs> with my <laughs> lemon drizzle. That's what I'm doing. It's a brilliant collection. So as we've just said, Pauline's just said, obviously, those have, uh, she's had them for a couple of years uh, and she still hasn't got through them. So congratulations for everybody. Okay. Um, Shall we? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll tell you what. Let's, shall we? I'm going to show you these stamps. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave them all on here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to get my stamp press. We have got the stamp press coming up as well. And we're going to pop them in here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to get a piece of card. Mm-hmm. Let's get a little bit of card. Yeah. Let's, you think I could find some card, couldn't you? in here. Um, do, 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 do. Come on, Pauline, find a piece of card. Let's put this one in, look. It doesn't matter. And then what I'm going to do is ink up. Um, now, oh, sh shall I just, shall I ink it in a colour? Yeah, what do you want, what okay. do you want? Now, this will, sh oh, this is a good lesson for Go our Dan. Yeah. Right, okay. Now what I'm going to do is just hold these in place because remember, these are still on the backing um, paper. Mm -hmm. So our stamps are wonderful, but if you wanted a pristine outline, yeah. I wouldn't go with them. I would colour with them. Right. I would okay. do backgrounds with them. Yeah. I would paint with them. Yeah. You can do such a lot of things with them. But if you wanted a pristine background yeah they're not the ones to go good with, to know yeah right because what happens on these like photopolymer that will bead oh. okay because it's a dye base oh. so it will bead and that's what happens with dan's dan's our director he, by the he way. tried to do a lovely bee and it didn't go well I have to say, but I give him 10 out of 10. Is it a effort. bobbly bee? It was a bobbly it's bee. It's a bobbly bee. Okay. So this is where we step aside, but then we could colour with them. Yeah. So we'll go with something like Versafine or Versafine Claire. And what that means is as soon as you put the ink on, you can see how you're going to get um, the beautiful fine image. Yeah. Okay. Now I've heard about Versafine. Now I'm doing the, this back to front. What does the Claire bit mean? It's a new, it's a newer version of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. just a new version of it. So I'm doing this back to front because normally I would have the stamps individually. They'd be on there, but we're just doing a, a, a little demo okay. for you. Okay. Yeah, so great. I'm now going to lower my cardstock on there. I can just go over it with my hand, mm. but when you've got a stamp press. So you put that on there, and I'm just going to ease off gently, and then press down. Yep. And I want you to see how fine the detail of these stamps are. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Oh, lovely. So uh, shall I do it there? Yeah. There. And there we go. Missed a bit at the top because I got it a little bit high, but you've got Aww. a good outline there. And then. Use your ink pads to colour. So I on here now, I could um, press one of the colours. Yeah. Okay, like the green, the rainbow is green. Do you want it? Do you want it? Let's get it. Why not, eh? And then let's get a brush with some water in. Don't put it on the okay. ink pad though, Pauline. Don't put it on the ink pad. I'm learning. Right, so just squidge down on there. Damp brush, you don't want it too wet. Does that just got water in it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these are hunky-dory. They come in a set of three. Right, pick up some of the green. And then now, because... Oh, look, I've gone straight in over the line. Um, but you can then just watercolour... Lovely. ...with these. I haven't got the finest brush here. You do get a fine one, a medium... Oh, you get to ...and a large... Like that, yeah, it? large nib. Right. Um, so... You can see now how that little bit of ink yeah. is going to go such a long, long way. Oh, wow. Now, this one, you can repeat and do a border. So you could do a border all the way around your card yeah. with that. So it's very fine, very fine detail. Um, nice little stamps and then colour with your ink pads. Brilliant. They're lovely. Yeah. 
But look, when you look as well, you think in that magazine, got all of those. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten I've got to paint the frog, there. haven't I? Yeah, you have to be fair. Why, I've got that green. <laughs> Oh, absolutely lovely. Okay. If your brush is getting too wet, just take off the the, the excess yeah. and then go back in. Um, and again, if you go over lightly with colour, you can always go back in and add more for shading. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his little fur. There we go. And this isn't watercolour card. This is Ink Me, um, where you can add colour, but watercolour card is the best, and Hunky Dory do. Watercolour card. Brilliant. So there's my little it's green lovely. frog. Lovely. My son used to have a green tree frog when he was young. What, a real one? Yeah, and we used to have to feed it live crickets. <gasps> and he was always dropping the box and the crickets would be all over the house. And, and which was fine till you tried to go to sleep and they'd all be <laughs> making the noises. <laughs> yeah, the joys of boys. Yes. And um, their pets. Hello, <laughs> beautiful lady. Are you bringing us treats, Laura? Oh, Laura, we... Oh, Laura. Still in my basket. Oh. Still haven't ordered it. Oh, this is... This one. is... This the... is lovely, this one. Do you, do you know what, Pauline? What, darling? You. I'm going to give this to you because you do this the best. Let me get... Do you mind? No, of course Because not. I will just wax lyrical about this and I, I don't want to get too carried away with it being... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are a lovely set of stamps. They really are. Now, we did have this on, um, I did the early bird morning show. Absolutely, yep. Um, and we had this on and it was really popular. Mega. It was really popular. Um, and this one is a number, f uh, blah, 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 blah. 68. 58. 58. <laughs> right, okay. So let's have a look. So in it, um, you, you'll get such lovely um, ideas. Yeah. Uh, you'll get the, the, index which tells you all what's in it um you don't ever get uh, you'll get competitions but there's no adverts no um so a, a bit of crafty chat there what's going on and then mm -hmm. you'll get cool cats and delightful dogs which is the collection that you are going to get with it and here's natalie made oh. to my favorite cat lady she's made this so all the um what you get with it is always in the front right, okay. for you to have a look. Yep. First of all, great ideas, great cards, um, set of stamps. Get these stamps as and well. And they're there. So um, who are you today, Zena? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could be anybody you like if you want, Pauline. <laughs> Zena has got the stamps So these there. are the stamps. Dan. Sorry, darling. I know. It's OK. <laughs> there you go. Just I think he'd gone off to practice his stamping. Yeah, God bless him. Just for you. Ah, oh, home is where the pets are. You get all, <laughs> And I love the fact that you've done dogs, cats, bones, fish, everything in there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then at the back, you've got some templates of, the, of some of the styles of card that are in the magazine. Brilliant. That you might not know how to make. So we'll give you the, the templates there as well. We've got some ideas with crafting essentials, the tag punches that you didn't know about right they are yeah yeah and what's lovely is you don't have to have had all the numbers before nope. you can start the numbers at any time and also if you haven't got a particular set that you're looking at the style of yeah use one with the same shape yeah and you should be able to adapt and make good point the um the card style up yeah Okay. But again, it's the character that you're yeah. designed to. Yeah. I mean, look at, look, he, he's like, what's he done? What's it, what's, he knows he's in trouble. Oh, absolutely. Doesn't he, look? He's, he, he, he's <laughs> been in the kitchen and pinched something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look, it, it, he's got that knowing smile, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, eyes. Look where yeah. they are. And then if we just scan across to this one, look, he's really fed up because his mate won't give him any milk. No. He's like, oh. he's, yeah, he's dreaming of fish, fish isn't he? Yeah. and can't get the milk. But I love yeah. it that he's having a carton of milk with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> and look at these. That one. Oh, they're, they're, now, he's, he's been out, he's been peering through people's windows it, eh? to see if they've left any food out overnight. But look at the sentiments. I hope your day is a real treat. What have a... you seen another, the, the next one? This one here. 
Can we zoom in on that one, Callum? Just so you can all it's see it, look. Not, not fishies, it, it, not wishes, it's fishies. Yeah, look at that. Special fishies <laughs> to a really cool cat. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's just, honestly, this collection. No, it, did, it was very popular the other morning, wasn't it? It was. It, it was, I think, it was one of the best sellers. Absolutely. I'm surprised we've still got I'm some. amazed. Home we must is, have had a, a big amount. Well, oh, we did have a big amount, yeah. yeah. Home is where someone runs to greet you. Mm. Oh. And sorry it's been rough. rough. Yeah. So sorry. just quickly, I do apologise. You get the foil toppers. You get the background card. Shall I get the background? Do you want to get that one? Okay. We'll, sh we'll um, share the display. Right, You. those are the papers. Okay, thank you, darling. And this one, I cut those out from you the did. bottom of yeah. there. Um, they are just lovely. <laughs> so you've got... <laughs> All of your cats on there. Yeah. I love the, the stripy sweaters. Yeah. Look at Aww. this one. These glasses. I mean, <laughs> just perfect. Love that one. Brilliant. Them. They're all waiting in line for the yeah. milk. Brilliant. Oh, wow. Lovely pink yeah. um, foiled fishes. Yeah, love on them. There. Oh, that that's one the one coming to greet you, love. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're really I great. know um, some of my friends use um, like a, a doggy daycare. Yeah. Uh, imagine doing cards for them. Great idea. It'd be fabulous, wouldn't it? So you it? can sell. You've got an angel policy. Oh, so yeah. can sell. Make as much Brilliant. As sell as much as you can. Same with the cattery. Yeah. Yeah. The other day, as I say, very, 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 very popular. You just saw that black and the hot pink. There's all the fishies look. Beautiful pastel tones. I mean, you've just got so much variety in these in these magazines. Look at that. Oh, and da, da, ba, ba, ba. There you go. Love all that. different styles of dogs as well. Oh, hang on a second. Let's just let's just move the display. Let's display <laughs> one away, shall we, Pauline? There you go. Absolutely phenomenal. It so you get all of that as well. Yeah. For six pounds ninety nine. I surely, surely that's, that's worth six more ninety nine. That. Mm. that that would be. Um, I think when we do the office, they're about eight pound each. Absolutely. So you may never have seen this before because we only launched it the other day. There's over 100 uh, crafting projects, not just cards, over 100 crafting projects. The foil toppers, the printed card, the, the, the printed paper yeah. and the stamps. And look at when, they, I mean, they're just crying out to be coloured in. Oh, they are. Aren't they? So much so, yeah. yeah. So all your prism, you see it in colour with all your prism. Absolutely. Um, ink pads yeah. there. I'll I just say, I want his life here. He's just have. I mean, he's, yeah. he's been a bit. I mean, look, his legs are in the air. He's having a bit of a <laughs> bit of an exhibitionist, isn't he? <laughs> he he thinks he's better than everybody else. I just love that ginger tom. <laughs> yeah, you like a ginger tom, I don't do. you? You said that the I other day. Do. He's just really happy. He's. I'm not sure. He looks like he's just been to the toilet. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> or he's just. Or, just <laughs> or he's just about to. <laughs> or is it? Is it lowering? <laughs> that's all, I see. They're lowering the tone. <laughs> Can I just really tell you this really good? Six ninety nine. I mean, it's absolutely oh, brilliant. The other it's day, such a fun set. It is, isn't it? I was. I, I. I'm baking my own dog biscuits for the dog, right? And I found this cookie cutter. Oh, this is awful. I don't know whether I should say this live on air, but I'm going to because we've started. He's actually doing a poo. Oh, <laughs> and I've ordered it. <laughs> no, I so suddenly that... don't want the cookie <laughs> you've brought me in. <laughs> No, but do you, how funny would it be to buy in a doggy gift bag <laughs> or make a box with these, look, yeah. and then actually have the little dog going, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Brilliant deal. Just thought I'd share that with you. Sorry. Right. Uh, enjoy your lovely dark She's chocolate cookie. She's so good cookie. to us, isn't she? Sharing. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, now, quickly, um, adorable, scorable. We could do with some of that, couldn't yes, we? Yes, we Grab could. this. Excuse well, this is me. this this could be your, your mainstay. Yeah. This could be your base card if you wanted it to. Mm hmm we don't like to do that because we like to cut this in half and use it. Yeah. You know, but, but it is there for cardstock if you wanted it to. And you're getting, <coughs> I'm just, if I just do it because of the time, look at these colours. They are so vibrant. You've got neutrals. You've got that fabulous green that we've, with the navy blue look, purples, crisp. I mean, this is, en this is every it, occasion. It is. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not just one season specific. No, you've got spring, summer, autumn and winter. everything. All rolled into one. That there. one there. Oof. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, with those pink fishes we just had. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? Look, there's every single season in this. 
Adorable, scorable. And if, if anybody's watching saying, what does that mean, adorable, scorable? Great name. It, what does it it's mean? A, it's a cardstock, a 350 GSM cardstock with bendy ink technology that means that colour on the front is made with a bendable ink. Don't ask me how. I don't need to know. <laughs> um, or, or just that when you score it, that will fold with professional, pristine score lines with no cracking no creasing but you have to if the it's like it says on the tin you score it first because any cardstock of this weight will crack and crease badly but scoring it it will be perfect that's what it's meant to do because the ink will bend with the score can i just say that's a new technique i've come up with it's a it's a good one isn't it it's the one that the floor manager likes <laughs> Oh, she's done it again. <laughs> they just said it's like when they have to come and clear up. <laughs> they just said, could you manage to keep hold of any of them? Yeah. One. <laughs> nice bright yellow sunshine one. That's crying out to be a sunflower, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there's 40 sheets in eight colours. And it says Christmas colours. It could be anything, any season that can. I mean, it's just amazing. Special edition, 40 sheets in um, eight, eight different colours. Oh my goodness me, what a show, what an hour, what a it's deal. It's fabulous, isn't it? Cool. Is there anybody watching that has got every single one of Honky Dory's magazines? I bet there are. Even I, I haven't. Haven't you? No. Cause Why? I, I, well, do you know, because they're so... <laughs> they're in such demand that unless I'm doing the show, I don't oh, get they sell out. Because they sell out. Yep. So mine has to go on to whoever's doing the show. Yeah. So that there's enough to go round. Can I ask you a favour? After the show, just really quick, could you please, please, please remind me to get that checked out my yes. basket, please. Um, oh, Pauline. Oh, oh, this is the first one. This is, oh, oh. Just like, but goosebumps. Don't you And it's off. a stamped on fabric oh. like I did my pouch. Thank you so much. Oh, that is Who's that? wonderful. Who's that message that Tracy? I've got, you, you've got to send me that picture um, so that I can put it on Pauline Wheeler Designs Because that's page. the first person that's, that's the used first your collection. One, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I'm filling up. Oh, now. Tracy. Thank you. Thank Honestly, you that so means much. so much to her. That is so kind of you. You can go and have a cookie now. Oh, look at little fat. <laughs> What an ugly crying, I don't no, do you, ugly you crying. No, you couldn't do ugly crying if you tried. <laughs> thank you oh. so much, sweetheart. Right, well, thank you, Tracy. That's so kind of you, thank you. Now, after the break, we're going back over to Crafter's Companion and wait until you see this collection. It is utterly, utterly stunning. I mean, my goodness me, we are sand sandwiched in between brilliance here. So do please join us after the break while this one goes off to have a cookie. See you in a minute. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are going on the road, and our first stop is the Creators event, taking place at the Kent Showground in Maidstone on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Get your tickets now by logging on to creativeeventscom forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. We have some exciting news. Hobby Maker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobby Maker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobby Maker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year, which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. 
Have you ever wanted to get started suntangling? Well, if you'd like to, then join us at three o'clock on Sunday. We'll be going back to basics and telling you everything that you need to know so you can get started on your tangling journey. That's Sunday this week at three o'clock. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies and I'm the founder of Crafters Companion. Also, one of my hobbies that I do in my spare time is a little bit of investing in other businesses. So you might recognise me as one of the dragons on Dragon's Den. I started Crafters Companion back in my university bedroom when I was just turned 21 and we design and develop and bring to market products for the paper craft community. So everyone who's into card making, I'd like to think that we are at the cutting edge of all the latest trends, the fabulous designs are out there and we are researching the market, making the products that customers really want and need and then bringing them to market, not here in the UK but all over the world. So for me, Hobby Maker is so different to any other craft shopping channel I've ever worked with from anywhere in the world. The fact that you can do the falling price auctions, the fact that you can have the fixed price shipping for the day, the fact that all of your call centres are based here in the UK and you can offer an elevated customer experience is really all the things that really I know matter to our customers. So for you to be able to offer all of this and give me a platform as a manufacturer of amazing craft products to bring them to the UK market, I just feel like it's a match made in heaven. Good afternoon lovelies, what a lovely afternoon we're all having hopefully and it's just about to get better and better and better my lovelies because we've got our Debbie Fisher back. Yay! Hey. Hello! Hello! <laughs> what have you been doing for the last hour, anything nice? Uh, I've been resetting back up, repacking down and, um, and eating, I had a nice salad. Did you? Yeah. Oh, she's been ever so Do you know I walked in today and I said, Debbie you're disappearing. <laughs> I said, you, honestly, I've got to say, Debbie, I walked into the land and I said, you are literally disappearing before our eyes. You look fabulous, lady. Oh, thank you very you really much. Do. And thank she couldn't you. even be tempted with a cookie. She <laughs> went, no. no. Very good. You were really good. You look amazing. Oh, thank you, you very really much. Do, darling. Thank you. Um, right, we've got something very special this afternoon. Yes. These are called your, have I got it right, intralace. Intralace, yes. Intralace. Yes, it means they're really intricate lacy dyes. Oh, I like the name. Yeah. You combined intricate and lace. Yes. <laughs> hey. Um, and when we say these are intricate, could I just pick this? Let's, for example, show you this board. This is your framed with love. There's a lot to look at. Yeah. They are beautiful dyes. Aren't they? That got, does it make you want, I want a dress like that. Oh, yeah. Don't you? Absolutely. I wouldn't yeah. mind a man like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a fabulous car because, Isn't I mean, it? you think of engagements, weddings, proms. Oh, yeah. You know, any a dinner dance. Yeah, absolutely. A, a ball. Yes, totally. New Year's Eve party. Absolutely. Yeah. There's so many different things for these, which I absolutely love. You could even be having, you know what's launching? I don't even know if it's this weekend. or It might be this weekend, actually. Oh, it's the weekend after, is it? How about launching your very own Strictly Come Dancing open launch party and Ooh, do that as your invite? Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That'd be nice. We could have done that last year with Sarah being on Couldn't it. we? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Wasn't she brilliant? She was amazing. She had to have some nerve to do that because that is a big, big ask, yeah. that is. Yeah, she was wow. stunning. We yeah. Absolutely. So Did proud. she really enjoy it? Oh, she loved it. Did she? Yeah, she had the time of her life. She I absolutely bet she loved did. it. And she was so she good. Was amazing. Yeah, I don't think I could learn steps like that so quickly. She's, she just didn't take anything in a stride, can't she? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, right, my lovelies. Every single one of these designs, every single one of these designs is included in this opening bundle. Now, what Crafters Companion are doing for you in a moment is you can buy a, a set of two in the bundle if you want to. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're starting with all of them, OK? So you get the complete collection price. And let me just tell you there, the 79 96 for all four would be £19.99 each. And when you think about that much metal in your die, you, give, you, you have an, some understanding as to why that should be £20. That's already great value. The deal today is epic. 
So we go into the chapel. That can be that could be any kind of religious con connotation mm -hmm. or not or whatever it may be. Again, that is that is down to you. But however you see that, however that gets represented. Again, could be Christmas if you want to as well. Oh Abs yeah, that would make. Of course it, nice it would. Christmas yeah, of course it would. Absolutely. I love the tree work. I love the leaf work. The foliage is just utterly gorgeous. So you get the village chapel that is known as. But it's like, yeah, uh, uh, anyway, I'm just going to tell you something. I've engaged filter, so I'll be out myself. Um, now, oh, my personal favourite, the birdcage. Which one's your favourite? I love the birdcage. Do you? Yeah, I have. I really love the birdcage. I think the detail in this one is incredible. Isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's something, this is the ones that I keep for a really special card. Do, are they? Thing is as well that there. I don't. Think, I think I'm, I'm. I'm safe in saying in the in the short time I've been on this wonderful channel, that's the most metal I've seen. I oh, okay. Yeah, that's big a lot. Dies. Yeah, these are big dies. Uh, and also, if you're thinking they look complicated, they are just one die, one die, yes. one pass. So one go through, through, one pass through. Yeah, that's that's what you say, don't you? One yeah. pass through. One pass wonder. Uh, one pass wonder. Oh, sounds like most of the men in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joking. Sorry if you're watching any of you. <laughs> Get myself in trouble. Anyway, I'm sure they're not. Um, now, this one is called... To, oh, very appropriate. So, the one I love. <laughs> but again, that is for any occasion. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even when you think about sending it to your mum, your yeah. sister, those type of cards. Yeah, it's romantic just or platonic. It can absolutely. be any best yeah, friend. Yeah, best friend. Absolutely. I think yeah. it's a beautiful card. And then, of course, you've got your... I mean, even Easter. Make a lovely yeah. Easter card with the hearts on it. Uh, but, yeah, I think uh, with Valentine's... Valentine's, and I say definitely. just around the corner but actually this year is speeding around so quickly well, we're halfway through september we know it. yeah aren't absolutely. we pretty much what's the yeah. date today it is, 14th. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. pretty much mm -hmm. is it the 15th today yeah oh we are officially the halfway through halfway september. through i know it's just so scary um so i think it's good to plan ahead for those cards uh, but weddings engagements anniversaries all those sort of these are all really year round yeah Absolutely. All year round, and yes. they're absolutely sensitive. Are we going to see them in action? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so just let me just reiterate, we're already at £19.99 for these sensational, huge, huge, dramatic, fabulous... You won't get your breath at this. The beautiful birdcage, your village chapel. Um, you've got your... What's the other one called? Your framed with love and your... So chapel and wedding, framed with love, birdcage, and to the one I love. All of those dies have just been dramatically, heftily reduced to £47.97. What does that make that per die? Wow, 11. Right, let's just hold that there. Thank you. Look at the metal on that birdcage die alone. £11.99. Each? Yes, lovely. Wow. Yeah, and on split pay. So if you want to get the most awesome amount of detail in your die, okay, We've just taken them down to, as I said, eleven ninety nine each. But you can get all of the sets, all four, for twenty three pounds ninety eight on split pay today. Amazing. So you pay it once, you pay it again in thirty days time, and that can be on your credit card or your debit card. All you need to do is either check out yourselves online. You click on the little tick box underneath. If you want to put it on split pay, you don't have to. The prerogative is yours. You can pay it outright. But I always feel it's a lot less painful when you put it in, in instalments. And if it costs you now extra, why wouldn't you? Well, the money stays in your bank for longer than it does if, you, if you're if doing it elsewhere. Uh, right then, my lovelies, which one are you doing? At the fair camp. Oh, I thought you might. <laughs> okay, over to our lovely Debbie for a fabulous demo, if you don't mind. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, these dies do a few different things. Oh, now, okay. they're not just a die cut. Uh, now, the first thing I want to do is I want to die cut it into the front of my piece of card. Now, these dies are quite sizable. Um, so, they're five inches by about seven and a half inches. Oh. Um, so, I wouldn't be able to do a tent fold card like this if it wasn't for my A3 cardstock. So, I've actually trimmed my my multi-purpose uh, cardstock uh, down to, uh, I've done this one, 15, uh, 15 inches by uh, six inches uh, and folded it in half because okay. I want this to go from over the top. So you do need an A3 piece of card to create this card. Now, all I'm gonna do is I want to cut it into here, but I also want to leave a border. Now, when you're creating your card, for me, I've chosen my papers that I want to use. So this is one out of uh, one of our uh, paper pads. 
mm -hmm. uh, and I've chosen my cards for the inside and I want to put a strip of card down the edge so I keep it all tied up with the inside of my card and the outside. So what I do is create my border to start with because I know I want about an inch border and then I can put my die up to that oh, piece of card, okay? So we just want that right on the edge there. Um, I'm just going to get that straight and then we're going to put some tape down just to keep it into place. Now I would always recommend taping them down so your die doesn't slip. I mean obviously if it does it's just a piece of card and you can start again. Did you but just use like a low tack tape for that? Yeah, low tack tape. We yeah. do a three pack of low, low tack tape. Now I haven't got with me, we might have one in the cupboard. So Alex might be a little angel uh, and go and get my, uh, it's the purple rubber mat out of the bottom of our cupboard. Uh, just because I want you to see that we can also emboss these dies, which are quite incredible. Now, we've, not all dies do it, but a lot of our dies nowadays, they emboss. So well. I don't know if you've seen this before, Zena. Yeah, I think I have. So uh, dies have all this beautiful intricate lacy detail in them, but also they have hidden detail which you can then emboss into oh, it as well. Okay. And it's very subtle, but it's always worth doing. Okay. So we're just going to take that one out. Now um, I'm not going to worry about the embossing for now, but let me just clear all my workings. I'm going to leave this in my die because the other thing that these do, can you see if I lay this back down very carefully, can you see all this white detail yeah. that hasn't fallen out? We can now use our ink pads. So we're going to bring in our ink pads. Oh, oh Alice oh. is a little gem. He's just, so Thank we'll do you, that Alex. on the next demo. I'm just going to go straight into this one. Thank you, Alex. Um, I'm then going to bring in, so I've just got some parakeets and some fuchsia, and then I'm going to use our green topaz. So three just different inks. Uh, and all we're going to do is we're going to ink through all the detail. So where you've got some sort of um, a different space, I'm just using my ink daubers to go through here. And I'm just taking the section where I know that our flowers are. That's bright, isn't it? Nice and bright, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's a great question, actually, Laura. You know, when you know, obviously you've got all that metal of the dye and you're actually inking onto the dye, does that not cause the, 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 any, any interaction, any problem with the actual metal of the dye itself? No, none at all. Wow. It's all water-based. So it wipes oh, away, okay. you literally, it just wipes away and okay. uh, with no problem whatsoever. So all I'm looking for is any little white space that I can put that through and all my sort of patterns. So here I've got another flower at the top. So pop that one through. And I Wait love to see this. this. Yeah, it's just that real um, beautiful detail that you can you can add in to everything you do. I'm not worried about round here because um, this part is going to come away from our die. This isn't staying in. Because what these dies do do, they cut in, but they cut into your card, but they cut out on the edge. So they're almost like a hybrid die. They're almost like um, they're clever, creating that, that die cut. Yeah, absolutely. Now I do know that all all these bits are going to come out so I'm not going to worry about those and then I've just got uh, one down here so let's put that leaf in and then How all I'm going to do are gonna come out, Debbie? you what sorry How can you tell which ones are going to come out come out yeah you know like you just said oh, I'm not going to color those because I know they're going to come out Oh, just because I know, because okay. I, okay. I know my dye. Ah. Yes. I wouldn't worry. If you go over it, all those pieces just fall out. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you do do it. Oh, so, okay. uh, yeah. And then my last one I'm going to use, I'm going to use the blue so we can do our bed. So let's put oh. that nice proper colour. Yeah, on our, our bed. I think a lot of his feathers come out, but we'll go over it because I'm not completely sure. There we go. Oh, so oh, It's going to be the big reveal. <laughs> and when we take this one off, you can see, oh, we're stuck in our card here. Hang on. That wasn't a good reveal, was it? Because I couldn't get my sticky tape un undone. But then oh. we've turned that. So if I just bring in my card that's going to go underneath, you've got that real oh, that beautiful is... detail in there, beautiful. which is gorgeous. So please don't forget to stencil through them because you'll get such amazing detail with these dies. They're so beautiful. And then all I'm going to do is just trim down where that comes away. And we're going to trim across because this is going to edge that piece and trim down from the side. I was a bit worried when that bit came off. I thought like you'd ripped it. Ah, uh, yes, no. I think you to say something. I <laughs> <laughs> don't think you don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Always a plan, yes. Um, let's take those pieces away and then let's just quickly, very quickly, pop this into our card. 
so we'll stick that inside there. You can use whatever papers you've got in your stash. Just gonna do that one. And then on the outside, oh. this will just tie in onto that side, just like so. And then I've just got a sentiment which I've just stamped out. Oh, and the other thing I've done, so um, the, our uh, luxury mirror card comes mm. with glitter card, it comes with a matte mirror card, and it comes with a shiny mirror. Yeah. So I've just used the mirror card. If you use your die again, mm. just cut out this section here, so you're cutting the bird cage out. Yeah. What I've then done, the snippability of that is oh. really cool. So you can literally just snip out that piece, and then we can layer it on the top oh. of our die. And then that makes it look complete, takes it to a whole new dimension. So Lovely. let's just take, Brilliant. and then I've just got a little sentiment that we're going to put on. So all I'm going to do is use my, excuse this. Well, you I'll think that die, Debbie, is 11 99 And what, it, what you can do with it. And I mean, we, we talk about versatility with dies. Mm. With these dies, honestly, I don't think we've had dies that can beat them yeah. because they do so much. Uh, you can paper piece them as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful. So just bring in that in and you can see it's really easy to find your shape on there. Um, wow. So... And then, so we've got that beautiful birdcage. And then all I'm going to do is pop my little sentiment on the side there. Wow. Always believe in the impossible. And there we go. This is going to sound really dramatic. That could actually make made me have a little tear of happiness there. Ah, oh, it is, yeah. It really and it is, is that good. Um, oh, thank you so much. It, they're just gorgeous dyes, and it's not me. Anybody can do that. So even a beginner crafter, and it's what I love nowadays yeah. with crafting. I remember when I started crafting, um, there wasn't this sort of thing on no. the market. It literally was lick and stick, um, you know, that you'd <laughs> put onto things. Yeah. It would just pop out or, or cut out, and that was it, yeah. And now crafting come such a long Hasn't way it? we'd never dream that we could make this as a beginner crafter Brilliant. straight away just a die cut machine and a die and a piece of card uh, a few ink pads and then yeah. that's what you can make and uh, i've just put in front thank you so much i've just put in front of you as well the entire bundle i've, I've just put some of the designs uh, from the incredible design team at crafters companion uh, on your special day look beautiful you've got the bird cage there you've got to the one i love you've got the heart you've got the flowers You've got, and it's just, you've got the chapel, the village chapel, you've got weddings, you've got framed with love, you've got the bird cage, such variety. I mean, look at the subtlety of that one there. So bridal, so beautiful. Every one of these huge metal dies should be 19.99 each. Um, just 19.99 they should be. And we've just taken them, courtesy of the wonderful Crafters Companion, down, look at the metal, down to just 11.99 a die unbelievable deal and it's on split pay so that's to the, framed with love sorry so i'm just making sure i've got the right one so that's to the one i love that one's framed with love okay and then just so that you've seen you've just seen the bird cage with our lovely debbie and that's going to the chapel the village chapel you know, it might even be like in henning arden just around the corner they have lots of village uh, they did a church fight the other week so what a lovely way to introduce the church faith. Yeah. Um, now, we did say that we'd do a bundle with two of them. So if I grab that one. So if you go into the chapel. Go into the chapel and we're going to get married. <laughs> uh, so these, uh, these wonderful, ornate, there you go, ornate screen dies. Um, you've got the village chapel, which is that one there. You've got the to the one I love, which is just coming in, which is absolutely stunning. Again, if you're talking about stationery, you're talking about weddings, we go for the obvious. But to be honest, with the heart, it's birthdays, it's friendship, it's platonic, it's romantic, it's family. Oh, I do apologise. Have I picked up the wrong one? Oh, I see. At least I managed. I've got the chapel. Yep. At least I managed to be incredibly consistent. There is that. I pride myself on that. I'm, I'm like the Some Mothers Do Have Them, the Frank Spencer of Hobby Maker. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, do you know what, though? Couldn't you make that the most fabulous looking dress when you colour it in? Couldn't you? Oh, look at her hair. She's got lovely hair. She's got hair like you. She's got hair like you, Debbie. 
<laughs> so we've taken it down to £39.98, which is £19.99 a die. OK, there's your chapel. The metal is unbelievable. I mean, back in the day, that would have been over £100, you would think, wouldn't you, Debbie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of metal on there. A lot of metal for your money. A lot money. of metal for your money, love. <laughs> £24.99 makes them £12.50 and £12.49. Ding dong. Brilliant. OK, my lovelies. There you go. Would you like the other bundle as well? To so the one I love and the bird cage. Thank you for these incredible uh, designs. And what we, oh, we've got some of the lovely acetate on the show. Have we? I think, did I see acetate? Probably not. There you go. I love that look from Debbie. That look of... Well, I knew it was on the earlier show, so I wasn't sure if it was on this show. That was why. I do have that look, don't I? I love that look. That was the favourite look you've ever given me. It was a... It was a have we got the acetate on the show? <laughs> We will go back to another demo with Debbie as well. Uh, to the one I love and the beautiful birdcage that Debbie has just brilliantly demonstrated for us. Oh, I think every... I have to say, and excuse the pun, the birdcage is flying out the door. <laughs> but it generally is. So £12.50, £12.49. I mean, think look at that. It's, it's beautiful. Stunning. It really is stunning. Absolutely wonderful. So all of those for just a measly £12.49 and £12.50, respectively. Brilliant. Oh, you're on my mind and in my heart. <laughs> there is some nice sentiments about on the market, and that's the great thing with these dies, is you can use anything you've got in your stash, any papers, any yep. sentiments, uh, and they'll all work. They'll Absolutely. all work with these, which is amazing. Um, just to mention as well, my lovelies, uh, they are going online on hobbymaker.co.uk individually. You can get them in individually, but... Quite frankly, at the reduced price of eleven ninety nine, the bundle's the way to go. Even if you buy all four and just, you know, share each one. You might all want one each. Buy the bundle and then share them out. Yes, absolutely. You know, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Right, Debbie, can we hand over to you? Can, have you got another demo? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I've got another. I've got another couple. So oh, um, yeah, we're all yes, good. Please. We're gonna get as much in as possible. Yes, please. Uh, so we've shown uh, how to make it into a concept card. This time, I'm going to make it into just a topper. Uh, I'm going to cut it out twice. So we've got a. Uh, uh, um, this is our uh, Centura rappel. So nice. Oh, uh, love that. Yeah, our baby pink Centura yeah. rappel, which is absolutely beautiful. And then our white cardstock. So I'm literally going to put it to the edge of this card. Mm. Um, so don't ever think that you can't just use them. As toppers now whenever you hear us talk about uh, concept cards yes um, it's when we have a different design of card that we can use these on so this would you could use this in a diorama card you could use it on a stepper card I could if I wanted to um, actually I'm gonna make a box and I could cut this into the box lid okay. but I wanted to show how you can make an aperture box but then create a topper for your box as well it doesn't always have to be making a concept card because you can and cut them out right um, and it's just a case of knowing where your outside edge is going to be uh, and where you uh, start to I mean paper piecing straight away yeah. you could do that out of a different color or in the pink paper piece that piece mm. back in um, so I like that idea but um, you know being able to just do so many different things with them yeah so when we take this away although I've cut it to the end I'm just gonna try and find myself a bigger pair of scissors I've put oh there they are some more uh, I'm just going to cut that out there and then out of the top. Yeah, so you've actually got that beautiful topper. Let me just Brilliant. pop that there. I mean, that is so stunning. Now, to cut that out one pass without having to do anything else to this, uh, and I still didn't do it again, but up here there's a little butterfly. So if I just, can you see this? If I took the die here, this, oh, yeah. it's almost, well, it's a flower, but it looks a bit like a butterfly. Yeah. But that detail will emboss into your dies and all this way. In fact, let's do it rather than showing you, because Alex did bring me the embossing um, fold. Order. Yes, please. And this is where you can get all the extra detail. Okay. So with your in your Gemini, you get all the platforms that you need. You don't have to uh, worry about 
uh, something missing, your rubber shim is in there as well for okay. your embossing. It's why they called it the Gemini, because it's like a dual function. Um, so uh, it okay. embosses and die cuts. So I'm going to lay that on there. And then, so I've turned my die upside down, so my card is showing. I'm going to then place my rubber embossing mat. I'm just holding it in place because it's come out of the die. I don't want that to move. Do you have to buy that bit separately? No, nope. all that comes with the well. machine. Oh. Yep, all comes with the machine. Oh, and you'll be really shocked how many dies you can emboss. The other thing we say is in the past, we've had quite difficult dies that take a bit of cutting. Yeah. You might have to put them through two or three times. What we normally find with the Gemini is if you cut it and then emboss it, it helps that extra bit of cutting as well. Oh, okay. And it gives that extra bit of detail. So once we take that out, so even before I turn that over, I can see it's embossed all this detail in. So, and I also want to pick that detail up as well. So we can still bring in our ink pads. So let's bring in some um, sort of uh, um, uh, lighter colors. That's what I was thinking then. So let's bring these in. I'm gonna go in with that pink. So let's just do a few here this time because you've seen me do this and then we'll just bring in that blue again so I put a nice blue in the swirls just like so. Mm -hmm. So then when I take that one away, let's just give that a little tap to take that out. So you get all this beautiful detail in there, but all now your heart is embossed. You've got little dots around here. You've got that flower up here that's embossed. The detail in that is absolutely incredible. Um, I'll pass it to you so you can feel it, yes, see, because you'll be able to feel Thank the you. embossed detail. And then I do have another one here. Oh, but gosh, it's quite do you see what I mean? Actually, yes, it? very dramatic. So it's hard to see. It's one of those things. If you don't do it, you wouldn't notice. But when you do when do you it, do. you really notice. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's so beautiful, Isn't so it? it's really worth putting that embossed detail in. Oh, that there. is so pretty. Do you know what I'm thinking straight away with that? I'm straight straight away. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Mother's Day card. You know, there's so many usages for that. It's just utterly, utterly beautiful. Yeah, totally. Now, what I've done here is I've created a box. No, 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 that's fine. Um, I've created a box lid. So the box I've done is eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter. And all I've done is I wanted a really quite a big aperture out of the front of my box. So I've literally just measured and cut the aperture out. Then I've got some acetate. So if we have got any acetate on the show, then that's fabulous. Um, but if not, you will find it on the website. We did have it on the earlier show. Oh, we just put. Oh, on. there we go. You were right, Zena. It's on there. There you go. Thanks to Laura, our producer. She just put the uh, Crafters Companion heat resistant acetate on there for you, three ninety nine. Can I just ask, how much acetate does that get you? Pack of twelve. And Thank it's you, A4 lovely. sheets, I believe. So uh, yeah, which is very good. That's a lot for three ninety nine. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just popping that over the top. All I'm doing is making sure that the sides go up because we want that not to go over those folds okay. um, and then again I'm just using my scoring tool to go round just to make sure that that's burnished in really well mm -hmm. so now we've got our box oh lovely yeah and now we've got our two so I've done two here so you can see so that's our pink one so you don't have to now I love this about these dies you don't have to just cut out white card and stencil through if you cut it in that beautiful pink mm. pearlized cardstock that's going to look just as lovely yeah. but what I want to do is give that a bit of a shadow so we have that beautiful sort of pink shadow just oh, popping gosh. through yeah it's just so much that we can do yeah now this bit is going to go on the inside of my box I'm just going to use it to put our dots on mm -hmm. and all I'm going to do is go over all that detail I don't suppose we've got our tape pens in stock yet have we I know we, I keep saying I always feel really mean using them when I know we've been out of stock for so long <laughs> we keep being assured they're coming soon they're coming soon I promise and and yet we haven't seen them just yet so we'll have a little crossed, look they won't be much longer so all I'm going to do is slightly offset that so that beautiful pink shines through. And again, on the back, just use your um, scoring tool just to burnish down. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the dots and pop them on the inside or on top of the acetate. So. I love the noise that makes. <laughs> it's a good noise, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so pop that on. I'm just going to... Pop that in between there. 
So this is an easy way, especially when you want to do um, an actual, rather than cut it out, the box lid is using it as that topper. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop our sides in. So nice and easy. Just pop some tape onto your tabs. If you uh, have any of our boxer boards or uh, scoring tools, so our uh, score master or big score, um, there's lots of tutorials on how to make boxes. So it's really Brilliant. nice and simple. I, I love the fact you can make your own boxes. I know, it's cool, isn't it's it? Nice. So just popping them in just like so. And so that gives us our box. And then I'm just gonna bring the base in, which I've already put that extra piece of card in just in the bottom. Here's one I made earlier. Absolutely, pop the top on there and then I've just got my little ribbon which we're gonna pop in the corner. And there we go, a really beautiful gift box um, that doesn't really take a lot to do and just using them as toppers. That is beautiful. Goodness, I mean, how much would you expect to pay for? I mean, firstly, I've never seen a box like that in a shop ever. <laughs> how much would you expect to pay I for? I know, a box exactly. Like that? I mean, five pound plus. Um, easily. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But, I mean, that's been quite cheap. But I'm thinking, my, my, my friend got my friend got married a few years ago and I bought her the elasticated garter. Oh, know, like, yes. uh, yeah, the, yeah, like yeah. a lacy mm -hmm. garter. In a wedding shop, that was 30 quid for a piece of lace. I wished I'd known about Sewing Street then. Yeah. But I think you put that, that the garter or something as a gift. Present it in, in something. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so beautiful, nice. Beautiful. There's so when you think about what gift giving is, there's so many things that you can put in boxes like this, um, and those dyes are just lovely to decorate Brilliant. them with. And the packaging makes everything then elevated. Absolutely, of course, values, absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, we need to go to Christmas now. We do, we do, we do, we do. Now, if you thought those dyes were great, and you want to get the same kind of level, the same kind of detail, the same kind of amount of impressiveness. This is it, because the bundle deal, we've got elegant baubles. You're going to love this. I mean, just, just look at that. Look at that. They are so... That's the kind of baubles you'd see in a stately home, isn't it? Yeah, and you know in a stately home, it's like absolutely jam-packed with the most elaborate baubles you've ever seen. Uh, just bear in mind again, it's £19.99 for the metal dies, but we are not finished. Uh, how about candy canes? Do you want to see some candy canes? I'd like to eat one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you and me both. <laughs> so, so candy canes are really coming... They're massively Amer popular in America, aren't they? Yes, candy canes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think they've got quite popular here as well. Um, people love uh, candy canes. Yeah, we call them candy canes, is that as yeah. well, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of uh, my daughter hangs them off the tree so the kids can eat them. I oh, really. In my day, it was all chocolate little yeah. hangers, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. everyone used to eat them. So my mum gave up putting them on the tree. <laughs> so my daughter's always done candy canes. <laughs> so candy canes as well, amazing detail. You will see these in action because we've got the beautiful Debbie Fisher here. Uh, what about the uh, the bells ringing out for Christmas Day? Got to have some bells, haven't you? But again, festive bells, wedding bells, uh, winter wedding. Mm. Jingle those bells. Yeah, and just a general celebration, let the bells ring out. It's as simple as that. And again, it's got to have to be a wreath. It's a beautiful wreath. It's a phenomenal wreath. And there you go. I mean, good look at that. These are lovely. Uh, these are some of my all-time favourite Christmas dyes. I'm not surprised. I that. love them. Absolutely. And you yeah. will see them in action, don't worry. Again, you can see there, when it comes to metal dyes, you don't get much more metal than that. And again, you can see all the elaborate detail. These are sensational. Um, so we're going Christmassy with Crafter's Companion. You know you're getting quality. It's blatantly obvious. What? No, no, no. <laughs> Just a second. Just a second. Um, don't take this the wrong way. Debbie, 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 can you, can you, can you do it when the price comes in? Because I'd, I'd rather you take that as Crafter's Companion representative. Thank you. Dear me. Yeah, don't you? That's blaming me. <laughs> With all due respect, you work for them. I'm not getting involved. What's that price? Sixty nine ninety nine. Don't look at me. I'm not getting involved. Yeah. So I never know prices. That's not my thing. I always do the demos. So to hear that in my ear, seven pound forty nine a die. Wow. That's yeah. That's It'd be rude not insane. to, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, and they are beautiful. Oh the actual detail in these dies are incredible. I love the fact that you can. I'm oh. going to show you just a really quick demo with these because I, you know, hopefully um, you'll just grab them. Oh, uh, no. that's amazing. That's yeah. cut right into the front of a card. And remember, these do exactly the same. Wow. Stencil through them, emboss them. Um, absolutely beautiful designs, which I absolutely love. You're getting four here, four designs. We're going to show this candy cane one. Um, it's uh, there's four designs, and I. I cannot believe you're getting all four of those. Wow. Uh, less than £30. That's, That's amazing. amazing. That bauble one, I mean, the intricacy of it, yeah. how beautiful it is. Uh, yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Do you know what as well? These would be lovely, if you don't mind me saying. You know, like when, when you want to dress your window, like I've got a big bay window, yes. right? Yep. And, and and let's say um, you want to put things in the window and you just want, you've got like a pane of glass. Yeah. You just want to put one of these in the corner. corner. How, how nice, nice would, would that, that be? be? Mm -hmm. Also, Love just before that. we hand over to a demonstrate, look at these designs. The you have got the most incredible design team. There's no two ways about it. Yeah. These interlace. I mean, we've got um, what is it? We've got Leslie. We've got Debbie. We've got Jackie. Just want to make sure I don't miss anybody. We've got Maggie. Um, there's one there by Jamie as well. Uh, again, with the acetate there that we've got. Every single one of these designs is at uh, this one here. Look at this. The um, what's, who's this by? That's by Jamie on the end as well. Incredible. Incredible. So $29.99 on these, these incredible deals. Absolutely incredible. Um, so interlace, these these should be, I don't take this the wrong way, but these should be £19.99 each. 99, so 19 99 each, so that's £79.99. Crafters Companion have just saved you £50 to spend on something else. Wow. I mean, look at the design in that. Absolutely stunning. I mean, really, you need to be getting these to put in your uh, Christmas hampers Absolutely. or your Christmas lucky dips or yep. your gift giving. I yep. mean, people I think you've spent £20 plus on this die. Absolutely. Mm. Well, you should have done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they should be nineteen ninety nine. Right then, Debbie, would you like to show us how these yeah, are flying absolutely, out the door? Absolutely, because I'm not surprised oh. they're flying. Um, that we've never had a price like this before, where you could buy a die of this size for seven forty nine, uh, which is amazing. Nearly thirty percent of the stock has already gone. Wow, it's <laughs> a good look. Yes, absolutely. Just check out. Remember, same postage, which I absolutely exactly. love. I still can't get my head around that, but you Nobody can stop from different brands and different ways during the day. Uh, that's amazing. I did a show yesterday morning with Laura. Yeah. We had a lady on from Brother with the sewing machines. You know how big a sewing machine yeah. is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. lady bought two, the sewing machine and the embroidery machine. Same postage of £3.95 because she was on the main part of the United Kingdom. That is crazy. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, right, so I'm going to use my embossing folder. So pop that over the top. We're going to take out our magnetic shim. Um, don't worry if you're not following my platforms of what I'm doing. It is all in the booklet for the Gemini. Um, and if you haven't got your booklet or you've mislaid it, just go on our website and uh, you'll be able to find the booklet Brilliant. on there. But, but you yes, get to know your machine, don't you? You do get to know your yeah. machine quite a lot, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can literally do it now with my eyes closed yeah. and not even think about it just by exactly. the feel of our machines. But yeah. you, you absolutely do, yes. Um, and die cutting now has become a real joy. Yeah. Um, and I, I, there's always been a sort of saying, you know, you don't love the die cutting, you love to get to the important part of being creative. Mm. But I think there's something to be said for a really good die cutting machine yeah. that you know is not, is not going to go wrong which is amazing so what I want to do is just take away this oh, you can just piece. do that by hand oh my goodness yeah so just taking that away because I've done it to the size of my card literally just cut a card blank and wow. again I'm going to bring in ink pads because what I am going to do is slightly just tap out some of my pieces and what this will do it will just show me where most of where I need that color yeah. So I'm going to take into my red to start with Debbie can I just tell everybody yes when you've all checked out we're in single figures already. I'm not surprised. Oh, no. Can you just leave one, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you know what? Genuinely, I thought 11 99 for the other set Sensational. was amazing. This I like amazing. Uh, this is, I think we're giving it away. Yeah. Genuinely giving well, it away. Well, so, it's nice for us to give back to you Absolutely. as well. You know, every relationship has to be give and take. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is very true. So, just doing a little bit of extra going round, just put an extra bit of that red in. Oh, lovely. 
Yeah, just to make sure we've coloured that. And actually, let's go in with a brighter colour. So I've got my midnight of my ink pad. So let's do a nice one. So let's pop this into place. And then we're just going to use that to do our bow. Uh, Joanne Croft are trying to get four, Maureen, Jackie, Linda, Adette, Albert, Susan. I know there's a, there might be a little bit of wait on the call lines, uh, on the phone lines, but um, please do hang on. They know you're there and they will get to you. They will get to you, I promise you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I knew and we didn't have that much oh stock, so it is such a shame because it's so amazing when we can <gasps> give a good buy like this away. But the detail in these dies, let me just add this piece of card to the inside because then you'll just see how much this really pops. Oh, yes. And literally, when you think about it, I mean, they really are that one pass wonder yep. where you can, that's it. I don't need to do anything else. Maybe make a card on my, um, uh, make, make a sentiment to put on. But if I turn that around, look at Oh, my at days. That. I mean, oh. that's beautiful, isn't it? I've turned that round. And that's without putting any ribbons on it, any gems on it, any, anything on it. You've created a card. Literally, you see me make that from one piece of card, folded in half, creating such beautiful designs. That is $7.49. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous value. Oh, yeah. My days. I would grab them as soon as you can, but actually, I don't think they're going to. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Debbie, please not to let Don't me grab them. Out. Don't grab You don't want them. Who wants them? No one wants them. No, let's put them away. No one wants them. They're not very nice guys. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> the thing is as well, I bumped into a, 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 a lady in the park the other day that I've met through dog walking. And, and I was telling her, and I got them to watch hobby making. She said, do you know what? She said, we thought our friend was really good at card making. She said, and then we tuned into hobby making. We know we realised how easy it is. And she went, oh, I said, oh, don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. <laughs> um, right then. Have I got what? Yes, I'm just... Uh, right, if you've got it in your basket, it isn't yours until, quite frankly, you get your credit card or your debit card and you get it paid for. Uh, at the moment, and bear in mind, if you've got it in your basket online and you're thinking, don't worry, that's mine, nobody can have it, they, they, they can, especially if they're on the phone to the call centre and vice versa. Brilliant deal. Well done. That will sell out. Uh, we're trying, Liam is busily trying to see. Please, Liam, try and get some more. Please, Liam. Um, now, also earlier on, we just had. If you did, if you are about to miss out on this, we had the everyday glorious collection, uh, and we saw a great demo on this from from Debbie. So I'll put that there, so you can see both. The bird cage. I know Debbie said the same thing. Our director as well, um, Laura in the in the gallery as well. They're all saying they think that is by far the most favourite die they've ever seen. Wow. Ever. And that's a big statement. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is amazing, Di. When you look at the detail and level of intricacy in there, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. And again, if you just joined us and you missed out on Debbie's amazing demo earlier, um, have you still got that card sweep here that you just made? Uh, which one was it? The one with the birdcage on, with the gold yep. that you did. Because, she, oh, can, do you mind if I show it? Yeah, Thank absolutely. You, sweetheart. Oh, sorry, no, the birdcage one. Oh, birdcage, sorry. Oh, the flower. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, we can't get more of the Christmas I dye. did think that would be the last, yes. Mm. I'll pay you double for these ones. <laughs> she thinks I'm joking. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is what Debbie did a moment ago. Now, if you missed it, you can go back to uh, our website and you can re-watch those on there or go to uh, YouTube and uh, just type in and you'll find the birdcage with Debbie Fisher. It'll be on there. Just type in Hobby Maker and it will load pretty quickly. So it should be there. So you can always go back and watch or record the show. Totally up to you. Isn't that lovely? So um, just to mention as well, um, sorry, these should be $79.99. That's your birdcage. That's your village chapel. Again, huge metal dies. The bundle is the best way to go. They've gone down from $19.99 again. This is to the one I love. Um, and these are now £11.99 each, which is, again, an absolute steal. And now we're framing it with love. Look at that. It's only £11.99 each, quite rightly, Dan, if you buy them in the bundle. If you want to buy them individually, you can, and that goes slightly higher. If you want to buy them in, in uh, packs of two, then you can do that as well. They're all on the website. But the cheapest way, dare I say, is to, um, is to buy them all, all as a whole, as you've done with the Christmas 
can we have another? Absolutely, yes, you're loving them and it's so nice to be able to Brilliant. get through lots of different demos. Yes. So similar sort of thing, but I'm going to do a different, a little bit different as well. So the first thing I want to do is to pop this into the front of my card. Um, and this time I've got, instead of using paper, I've got a ribbon. So I've got a, um, some organza ribbon, which is an inch in width. So I just want to make sure I've got that inch down the side, which we can tie around uh -huh. uh, because we're going to make a beautiful, uh, well, it could be a wedding card, it could be an engagement card, anniversary card, whatever you choose that to be so let's just move that round just trying to make sure I rotate my boards um, then we're just going to hold that into place and then we're going to use our tape just to hold that down into place so just on one end and then on the other side and send that through mm -hmm. now because I've put that all on the top that's at the top of my board I can literally send that through because I've got the power of the Gemini I've got my pause function so once I know that goes through I can, you can literally hear it, can't you? yeah you can hear yeah. it then as that little tiny sort of lump um, I've paused it and then pressed my reverse that way it gives me a double cut brings it back out so if you don't have much room behind right, in the idea, bathroom uh, you can use that uh, and it just double cuts it in in one pass as well um, and it doesn't take long to do so let's pop that to the side and then again we're going to bring in our ink daubers and some ink pads so let's give these uh, a little bit of inking so I'm trying to use the same inks we had before so first of all I'm going to bring in and do the leaves on our tree mm -hmm. so just bring in that in this one has some really nice detail. Yeah. So uh, let's do, and then we've got some leaves over here, just down there. And then we've got a grey. So I've got a grey one here. Let's bring my grey so we can just pop some grey onto that tree. Mm -hmm. So that will do. Oh, it's a bit dark. It's come out darker than Ooh. I thought then. It was a much yeah, but that darker. Might look really good. It the might look really good. Yes, yeah. I've used sort of a lighter one. So, um, but well, yeah, like a, like an evening service. Yeah, Isn't good. It? Yes, it would. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, so like I'd a midnight mass there. or something. That's a nice idea. <laughs> and then just making sure I put my um, lids on so I don't double dip. And then. Uh, don't like double dipping. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put some uh, green in, so down the sides. So let's use this one. So there's detail in the actual church. So your windows here. So bring them in, trying to sort of do it quite quickly so we can get this one in. So all that detail, I mean, you can emboss that detail, yep. but it's really nice to uh, to use your ink pads as well. So make sure you do uh, you do do that because it's uh, it's just such a shame not to use all that detail. Yeah. So just round the door there, and then at the sides. There we go. So once we've done all our inking. Mm -hmm. And I'm bearing in mind, you don't have to do that, Zeno. If you want to you just use ink pads, if yeah. you want to just go onto colour cardstock, uh, the choice is yours. So I'm just going to pull that piece away. Ooh. And then... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even remember that it doesn't. It doesn't do that darkness in your uh, branches anyway. So oh, I don't need to. You. Didn't need to worry about that oh, one. That's me uh, doing it really quickly. Uh, and I'll tell you why. I was concentrating because I was thinking, will that be shown when I do the next bit? Because the other thing I want to do, I want to highlight the church, but not anywhere else. So what I did is, if you take um, your scoring tool and go round on this detail oh, yeah. all the way on your church just all the way around there just like so yeah you can then cut that shape out so oh, brilliant okay so and then once you cut the shape out i'll bring in my card here so oh, take my Debbie. end bits out it's all these little hints and tips isn't it oh, that we all learn brilliant. and so you see so you can cut it out literally oh. the shape and then pop that into your church so that will cover all your church so yeah it makes it really nice and then i've just got some of our acetate because i am a big lover of acetate i think it's very underused and we do so much of it now yeah, so many different designs aren't there yeah beautiful patterns acetate that we do now uh, sarah's head and 
to bring some sort of acetate product mm. out with uh, one of her collections and it's just oh, stunning. Look it's nice that. and soft and, and just beautiful to use, especially on like a love card, a wedding card, anniversary yeah. card uh, and really oh, highlights. Wow. And then all I'm going to do is keep it really simple. I've got just a white ribbon that we can just tie at the side. So, and I love this technique because this is, isn't really doing anything fussy. It is just a case of tying round the side and creating a bow just on that edge, like so. And then we can just cut our ribbon. And it makes it soft and romantic and just really pretty. And then the other thing I've got is just from one of our word dies. Uh, I'm just gonna, I've just cut out um, congratulations. You can use whatever you've got oh, in your lovely. stash. And I'm gonna pop that just along the bottom. So first of all, let's do that yeah. on there. And then I'm going to also put, put it on top. I've cut it out again out of the gold, just because I don't really want a black uh, sentiment, but I want to have that shadow behind it. So we're just going to oh, slightly overlay the top of that one. Just like so. Look at and there that. you go. I mean, very simple, but another little bit of a different way of how to do those. Wow. I'm going to ask to be really cheeky on air because I can't help myself. And you don't have to say yes. You do know exactly what I'm going to ask, <laughs> don't you, Laura? Um, it's our friend Tom that would have been our producer. You right. would, he, he left, I think, just, to, just as it changed. Yes. Um, um, could, because I'm not going to get this die down, that's the problem because it will have sold out. Is there any chance I could have that card for our friend's wedding? Oh, absolutely. So that we can all sign it. Would absolutely. you mind? Not at all. Yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, you can all sign it on the back or inside. Is that okay? So, yeah, 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 yeah. I just think it's nice to have it from here. It's lovely to have it from you. Yeah. And, it, and, and I just think it would be so nice for all of us here that work, that are going to the wedding, to be able to... Would you mind? Oh, no, and always our Cena, because we always... I have two. So I'll give you it now because we have one that we yes, already thank make. Thank you so much. And then we remake it. So thank um, you. Honestly, yeah. I'm genuinely chuffed. Thank you. Thank You're you. Very thank you. Very welcome. <laughs> um, right. It's gone. <laughs> the Christmas ones you've had, they've sold out as a bundle. You can get them individually, though. Sorry, there's me having a little put me bottom, bottom lip away. Um, so they are individually available still. The bundle has gone. There aren't very many. So if you go back to the hobbymaker.co.uk website there, you can get the different ones. You can get the, the beautiful wreath, the elegant baubles, the sweet candy canes, and the festive, uh, festive bells. The deal, as you can see in the bundle, is sold out, but you can get them individually. They are still there. Okay. Okay. So these have all gone uh, in the bundle, at the bundle deal. That's why you've got to grab them while you can. But it's still at 19 99 If you don't mind me saying, the amount of metal and detail that you're getting, it is still phenomenal value for money. It really is. £47.97. Now, the everyday ones, uh, sorry, that's for, sorry, uh, yeah, that's for the bundle, that's the Christmas, that's gone the bundle. But for the everyday, which is your chapel, which... David's just done a demo with, with the village chapel with a beautiful birdcage. I'll bring you the other designs in one moment. All four of these should be together, $79.99 at $19.99 each. Again, a phenomenal saying. Everyone, everybody today is raving about everybody saying that's their favourite. This takes them, don't forget, to £11.99. You've got everyday designs. You've got the hearts to the one I love. You've got the framed with love which is this one here. And you got to the one I love. All four designs, if you buy them as the bundle, reduce from 19.99 to 11.99. Brilliant, well done. So you can still get that, okay? Look at the time, Mr. Wolf. I know, where has that hour gone? Where fled? has that hour gone? Goodness gracious me. Do you know what's brilliant about today? And I've got to say, if you don't mind me saying, and I know this was the plan, and long may it continue, it has been so fab to get so many demos in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, thank you very much. Now, you're coming back at five o'clock. I am. Colouring. 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 Oh, the pens, the pens, the pens, the pens. Yeah. Oh. 
Dear me. Uh, <laughs> that's coming up after the break. Uh, sorry, in an hour's time. In the meantime, she's got another layer of she's got another layer of lippy on. I saw you. I saw. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so, who likes to decoupage? Yeah, Dan's favourite. Dan is the decoupage king in the de in the gallery. But if you want to actually go back to the traditional, old school, traditional way to decoupage, after the break with our Auntie Pauline from Honky Dory, you're going to see exactly, and you may never have tried decoupage. And if you want to start at the very roots of decoupage, this new collection that was only launched recently, I think it was a couple of days ago, this could be yours. So do join us, if you wouldn't mind, for decoupage after the break. <laughs> Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. Hobby Maker are going on the road, and our first stop is the Created event, taking place at the Kent Show Ground in Maidstone on Friday, the 30th of September, and Saturday, the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Get your tickets now by logging on to createdevents.com forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. We have some exciting news. Hobby Maker has been nominated in the Best of Crafts Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that nearly six months have flown by since we launched Hobby Maker and we couldn't have done it without the Hobby Maker family. Thanks to all the presenters and guests for entertaining us and inspiring us every day and for all the viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We're lucky enough to be nominated for two awards in our first year which are the Most Loved TV Shopping Channel and Dave Bradford for Male Craft Personality of the Year. To vote, please head to our website to find all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Have you ever wanted to get started suntangling? Well, if you'd like to, then join us at 3 o'clock on Sunday. We'll be going back to basics and telling you everything that you need to know so you can get started on your tangling journey. That's Sunday this week at 3 o'clock. to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the creative manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier papercraft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our papercraft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of papercraft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, water brush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations which we just know the audience love. Nice lipstick colour. I love the way women always do that, don't Pocket they? Pocket up. Pocket up. You go, nice lipstick, they go. It's like Mick Jago in lipstick. <laughs> yeah. I love the colour of your hair, by the way. Thank you. It's all nice highlights and things. And Thank you. Um, right, sorry, lovelies. Um, so, who's ever decoupaged? Well, I know you have. 
I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> oh, I asked for that, didn't I? I've never decoupaged. I've never... Wow. Yeah. yeah, there you go. We're, we're about to uh, we are. What, learn. What's, for anybody thinking, all right, I don't know why I've just put my hands on it. What's, what, what's decoupage? What's decoupage? Well, decoupage is a French word. Mm. And um, the French did it in a style, but it, it originates back in um, Asia. Oh. The, and now I don't know if it was the Chinese. Or, I think it was the Chinese, not the Japanese, the Chinese. What they used to do is they used to take paper yeah. and they used to stick it onto furniture and lacquer it. Oh. Okay. But that was one layer, not raised, not, not layered. Just laid oh. on, and um, like with, the, with like a tables, shellac. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So then, uh, then the word I, I don't know what the word was originally because decoupage is is a French word. Mm -hmm. um, but then it, it originated. Then it used to be in big pictures. Yeah. People used to make pictures with like 20, 30 layers on them, oh. and they used to frame them. And that's all where it started. Oh, wow. So, of course, then it got into paper crafting. Obviously. And, of course, you can't do that much on, on a card. Um, so we sort of simplified it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the art of either layering, layering and sticking it onto a furniture yeah. or in, in card making, etc. It's layering and putting some depth. Gives you like a 3D them. effect, doesn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and how you use it and what you glue with mm. um, can make a big difference because on TV, in TV land, um, we, we use a lot of foam pads yes. because it's easier, quicker for to us get, to use. get through the demo. Yeah. But there's um, glue gel, silicone glue or glue gel right. that you can use, which is like 3D. Yeah. It dries hard. What it means is you can put more shape into your pieces, oh. round them, like flower petals, etc., oh, okay. and get more shape in them. But generally on TV for quickness, because yeah. otherwise you've got to wait yeah, of course, yeah. for everything to dry. You do, you and then if you, if you layer up why it's still wet, you squash it yeah, and everything. Okay. So we do that. But, but that is... Decoupage. The art of decoupage. And did you launch this collection just a couple of days ago? I didn't know. I think it was Natalie. Oh, it, uh, Natalie. Oh, it yeah. was Natalie. I yeah. Thought, yeah, it was. Well, her, she looked beautiful that day, Natalie. <laughs> um, right then. So when you say, can I just, 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 sorry, sorry, darling. Go on. Yes. If I, what's it called? Got, that's what I mean. All the Christmas so All ones. of those. Yeah. yeah. All three. All three. Ooh. Um, oh, you are quite right. Thank you, Alex. He said, Zena, there are second samples behind the display. Zena loves alert. nothing more than the ruin and a display. <laughs> I just said, I'm not the Frank Spencer of Funky t a Fun Bobby Maker. <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm a moose. That's a moose. Loose. That's a Highland cow. Oh, is it? Sorry. <laughs> I told you, love. Moose. Moose. Yeah, moose. <laughs> there was a, that's because there was a moose in the magazine that we. Uh, it's in your brain. It's in your brain. Um, so, um, oh, oh, you got little. Oh, you got little. Oh, I'd buy that straight away because I like skiing. This is Christmas sparkle. This is. Um, you've got some fun. <laughs> some um, all sorts in here. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's something with a little bit of everything for everybody. Look at you. Oh, look at you. Um, no, but I so, love that, Robin. Yeah, he's nice, isn't it? So, what does you're saying to okay, me? Okay. Yeah. You said to, to me earlier, and you said, now, Zine, when we do decoupage, I went, right, oh, to Portland. I said, she said, we're going old school. We're going traditional. We're yeah. going, what do you mean? I said, well, what are the options? because Hunky Dory do such a lot of die-cut decoupage, yeah. it, we're famous for it. OK. Um, especially our deco large, which is a larger format. A lot, that's clever. Decoupage. Um, with this one, we're going back, as I say, old school, original. Okay. This is where you're going to cut it all out yourself. Oh, you're happy then. Well, we you know we do like a bit of cutting. You cut do like a bit of cutting. So cut what here. we've got here, what you're looking at now, um, in, uh -huh. on these first ones, is you've got your base layer. Shall I go back to the first so one? So you've Sorry, got two, two um, images yeah. on that. And then in the following page, and I think you get three of each. Right, let's have a look. Three of each. Um, oh, yeah. One, I yeah. One, two, yep. Yeah. Three. Right. So then, yeah. on the next page is, you're going to get all the ones of the little dogs. 
Ah. So you'll get three of them. Now, one whole page yeah. is the decoupage to go on that base layer. All of but those. It, all of those. Oh, I know. Wow. But if you know, now this one's really good. So then that, that's the second layer oh, that's clever. on. So this is the other one. Now, if we can just go back to that. Sorry, thing. that one's up. If, you can, if, we, if we can get up close and personal, oh. we can see that there are numbers on there. Oh, yes. And there might even be, as we can see there, oh, and then like numbers and then 3B. Oh. Yeah, 3A, 3B. That's because they're, they're all to go on that same layer. Okay, so That's on clever. layer number three, yeah. there's a couple of layers. There's A and there's B. Right. Okay. And C, look, and yeah. C, look. and C. Yeah. Um, so that is how you do it. And the art of decoupage is that you start with the biggest layer first and you work so your that way one. up. To the smallest layer, number one. Now that's the layer that goes on the top of the base layer. So if I turn but, that back, but oh, what you can do on that layer because that layer is basically the same as that one. Yep. So if you do yeah. that there, look. Yeah. There. What about the bit between the robin mm. and the scallops on the inside? Yeah. What about cutting that out? Oh. oh. So you've got some depth going yeah. in there then, yeah. and then you put your layers on top. Ah. What you can do as you cut them out is um, put the number on the back. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So you don't forget. And put them all in a little envelope. So you can have a session. Oh, of You can cutting. sit with a tray on your lap, watching your favourite movie, your favourite soap. Cutting out. Cutting away, so scissoring, scissoring away. And put them all in a little envelope oh. and then you've got everything ready. Next stage, doing your layers. Yep. Next stage, actually making your card. So you can take as long as you want. But also, what a lovely thing to do if you want to, if you've got kids for the day or kids for the weekend or kids that yep. oh, got, you know, I'll borrow my nephew and my yep. godchildren and, uh, and, and my nieces and nephews and even the next door neighbours kids get thrown over the fence mm. occasionally. Well, not thrown, but you know what I mean, escorted yeah. around. Um, just get the safety scissors out, like the ones with the rounded But you do the cutting, ends. you do oh, the cutting, and they do the sticking. And they do the rest. Brilliant. So that's yeah. your first design. So you've got you've got enough in this book, haven't you? Yeah, I've just a bit. And then, well, but not only that, look, you've also got all the sentiments as well. Yes. Yeah. You're so so we, much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got border strips on there, and yeah. they, all different things on there. So I say three of each one. I Brilliant. love that. Yeah. Look. Now you see with this one, yeah. you do have some tiny elements. You do, don't you? Look at that. Now you can go with as many layers as your little heart desires. Right. If you think I can't cut those out, don't worry about it. Yeah. The crafting police, we're not coming round. <laughs> we are not going to inspect. <laughs> you do as much or as, as you want. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Some some are easier than others. Yep. Um, some have a, a lot more elements on them, but you can just. I mean, that one is uh, really quite simple because no one is expecting you to cut round those antlers. No. No. All right. Now, can you see the white line, which we call a bleed line? Oh, you were talking to me about this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So. You've got that bleed line. Yes, you could cut out to that white line. Do you mean inside or outside? Outside. Right, okay. But yeah. I don't. Oh. I cut to the actual black line that is on the inside. Because, because I'm a professional. Um, ah. Because um, some of the designs don't lend themselves to be layered with the white around the edge. Right. So I tend to cut to the black line that's inside that's a good of tip. the white line. That's a great tip. So You'll get inside there. A, like a bit more professional finish if you do that. Brilliant. Because some, some, some designs just don't lead, lend themselves to being cut on the white. Yeah, and also, I mean, cutting with scissors and craft knife, uh, craft knife and things, it's actually a really... It's, it's it is an art. art. It, it is, is an it art. Is. Let's be truthful. And, and I've always said, when you found the scissors that work for you, or the knife that works for you. Guard them with your life. You will, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and don't go cutting anything else. Keep them for your paper. Yeah. Oh, um, look at these. I know. That's oh, so lovely. Gorgeous. And this is only one this is book. one book. I'm still, look, we still haven't finished. I, I, my oh. demo, the angel. Yeah, my brilliant. My first demo. Um, 
so really, find the scissors that you like. Yep. The, the hunky dory scissors are great. I will confess to actually using a small, small pair. For the real detail. For the real detail. Yep. But you go for what you want. Absolutely. I'm just going to go through all the books, if you don't mind, just really quickly. We will get to, I'll do a bit quicker on this one. So I'll just really quickly no, Festive do this one. moments. So exactly the same format again. Yep. Um, in fact, on the back, it just gives you, just you gives, yeah, there you go, look. on all of them, it gives you an overview. Brilliant. But it also shows you what what you should be trying, to, trying achieve. to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting all, they've got some lovely traditional in there as well. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's the, I mean, that's so nice. It, I think it, it's, it's one of these ones that you don't have to sit and concentrate. Yeah. Too much. You can cut at your leisure. Yeah. You know, if, if you get tired, stop. Exactly. So it, do it, it doesn't once, have to be you? completed in, yeah. in, in a no. set time. But there's, you'll find some people love cutting out, some people don't. If you love cutting out, yeah. this is for you. There's no two ways about it. These have always been very popular. Yeah. Um, and this, this is like the next the set. Ne yes. Um, but, yeah, so <laughs> decoupage is one of our most favourite genres. Is it? That and art deco. Um, but but decoupage and especially original, yeah. like we've got here. Absolutely. There's some people who love decoupage don't like the ones that we have pre-cut. Actually, that and th th this is what I love, 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 love about hunky dory though. There's it's it, they listen, they listen to what you like and try and uh, you can never please everybody, but they do a jolly good try to. Also, Zin, remember this is on paper, whereas our die cut ones are usually on a cardstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this one, you can actually get in and cut specific bits out. If you wanted to cut something off on the paper, you can, you can do, do that. Much you can easier. do that. You've, yeah. you've got more options then, haven't you? Yeah. So just to, just to mention then, we'll get the price in. Now, these books, you're getting a lot. They're eleven ninety nine. Now, can I just confirm you're getting four Ah, so you're getting 7,250 GSM, pages of classic uh, Christmas decoupage here. You've got 48 fully layered decoupage toppers, 12 different decoupage designs and four of each. Yep. Oh, it's each four, four of each, not three. Yeah. Even more. In each book. Say that again, Alex, sorry. Now, at 35.97, if you were to buy them individually, what does that... Eleven ninety nine each. Thank you, Alex. Couldn't use my brain then. <laughs> so eleven ninety nine each for the traditional fabulous decoupage, which we will see in action. We took them down with Natalie the other day to twenty eight pounds seventy seven. Wow. Which is how much each, Alex? It's all right, my darling. It's got to be nine pounds something, hasn't it? Nine eighteen twenty seven. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. And there's a lot in there, Zena. There is a lot in there. Well done. Can mm -hmm. we have a demonstration, please? Of course please. we can. Now, Great price. because I've got this, this beautiful... Angel. She is the angel, she isn't, is, she? isn't she? She is, isn't she? She is the proper angel. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got this purple. Now, see what, what you do. Okay, if it's on this side yeah. that you want to cut, I put my trimmer in there. And I take that one okay. out, but I leave that one in the pad. Right. But when it's on like this, I just tear out, and then I cut that. I put that up. I either store it in the pad or put it in, in an envelope. In or a something. bit box. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. So um, we've got this beautiful purple around it. Mm. Now, if you wanted, you could trim that to there. Yeah. And you could actually keep it in that one there. Mm. I haven't. I've cut it out to the border. Right. Okay. okay. But we have you some... Cut, so you cut with scissors as a preference, generally? Uh, no. Do you know what I do? I'll oh. show... Oh, okay. I want to show you. Yeah. Okay? Because... Well, that hair's out great, I can't, As good as I am with a knife, Zena, mm. I can't be messing around cutting with scissors on straight lines. Okay? <laughs> I'm just going to push that forward. Okay. So I get my cutter. Right. And I line up. And you see, I, here's my cutting groove. And I line up there. If I'm not sure, I bring my blade down to there. Mm -hmm. Cut. Okay? Uh, okay. I turn it round. I do the same again. Now, I can't see that very well there, but I can on my blade. Right. So I cut. Oh, so so there quicker, you go. There you go. Size. Yeah. So it's there. And that's what I do. Right. And then when you come to the corners, you then... 
Now, if you've got a, an inverted corner rounder, you can cut with that. But another trick, okay, no cutting at all, we have our set of dies, our shapes. Right. And our shapes, I know we've got one with inverted corners, oh, yeah. and you've got all sizes. Find the size that fits. But if you want with scissors, see, we think of everything to go say. with everything. Yep. Right, so on here, as I say, going up to the the line, yeah. which is this one here, which have I used the outer one? Okay, so there's no white line around the base layer. All I do, and you cut the corner. Oh. Okay? So as easy as that. Brilliant. But where there's a straight line and I can use, use a trimmer. trimmer, I use the trimmer okay. every time. Okay, so let's get let's get back in. I see this. What we're doing. Okay. So on the show, we've yes. got the most amazing Miri. Oh, we have. Shall I give you a little flash? Yeah. Just a little. I'm flashing at you. Uh, <laughs> and now, this really does flash. It does. I won't show you all the So designs. this is ombre. No. Oh, it is. It's ombre. Blue and green look. It changes colour from top to bottom or bottom to oh, top. Oh, hang on a second. However you want to look at it. Now, and you're getting, I think it's three. Is it three or four colourways? Oh, three, three colourways. Three colourways. So I wasn't sent this. <gasps> so I've... Pinched a piece of oh, yours. Clavia, you didn't have to tell me. Well, you're allowed. I'm allowed. Oh, look Again, at this. Again, you're going from like blue down to midnight to black. Oh, that is on sensational. There. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I've pinched the purpley one. Is that 350 GSM again? Uh, no, this won't be 350. I'm oh, sorry. Um, this will be something oh, no, like yeah. 220. Okay. Because it's lighter. Yeah, I just felt don't that. Need it, don't need it to be 350. So it's yeah. Miri card, uh, very special, with the snowflake shimmer in ombre. In and it's trademark Miri. Ah. Okay. So what they would do, um, so you cannot call it Miri unless it is Miri. Oh, it could okay. be mirror card. Right. But not Miri. It okay. has to be Miri. And that is a far, far more superior quality. Okay. I love you. Now, what they... <laughs> Tell it is, though, can't you? It's like, can, it's I'm, not a, I'm not a cardstock snob, am I? <laughs> <laughs> You're fully entitled I to am. be, my darling. <laughs> uh, I've, I've played with cardstock for years. I know, you know I, good I know my way stock, around cardstock. Um, but, but what <laughs> we've nice got, time. you see, because you've got that ombre, so you've got colours going on, but then you've got the silver. Now, I don't know whether they've put the silver first, because it's not oh, mirror like this that with the colour. Mm. It's like our mirror magic. Yeah. Um, it all starts off as silver and then they lay the colour oh, on top. So which but I'm not first? sure which yeah. whether they put the colour first and then the silver on top of this it? one. Yeah. Because it's it's new to me, it's different. Okay. Okay, so a seven inch square card. Um, I'm bringing out the um, construction, construction glue. glue. She can't be separated it from no, it for a minute. Not for, I nearly had withdrawal symptoms when I was running out the other day. <laughs> and I was having ages to wait till it got to the... Oh, the, you needed a full pattern. one, didn't you, Paul? So they, 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 they run in with one at, the, is, at yeah. the gallery. It's like, to the rescue. Now, I've trimmed that to two mil under... It's not mil, is it? Two yeah, notches two. Oh, under... Oh, sorry. I'm yeah. working in inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the pound, shillings and pence one. To give you that frame? Yeah. Okay. okay, so just a little bit there. Um, and then I'm bringing some um, adorable scorable in. Okay. Um, but it's like, if you've got lots of bits left over in yeah. the bit box. Yeah. Well, let's use some use of them Use some up. of them, yeah. Good idea. So I've looked at the colours in this. We've got some like pink colour. Yep. We've got some like blue. Yeah. Um, we've got some lilac. And also we've got gold and like a gold frame. Although there's silver on here. Yeah. I'm bringing the... Bit Brilliant. of gold in yep, as well. Yep, great. So let's start off. I've got a piece of lilac. Okay. Okay. Oh, now we had some adorable scorable on earlier, didn't we? We did. I think we had the Christmas colours. We did have the Christmas colours. Do you know what? Yeah. Go look at the colour. There'll be loads in Yeah. There. Look at the colours, what you've got. Okay. So I'm bringing a bit of the pink in that's here. Lovely. Okay. So let's put this on first. And a bit of gold mirror. Okay. Right. So this is your bit box card. Okay, this mm -hmm. is your leftovers. Yeah. This is <laughs> next day's dinner.
from yesterday. <laughs> your leftovers. But all your leftovers. <laughs> I'm having that tonight. Okay. But I love collage, and that's what collage is all about. Yeah. You know, layers and bits and all layered together. So that's there. Great. And then this one is going here. This is going to be all the colours in the image. In the, in the, yeah, in the, in the Right, in the and I'm going to put that basically. there so we've got, we've got that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put this one. Now, I've got to decide. I've got some more gold. Now I've got the... The pale blue. Yeah. But I've got to decide mm -hmm. whether my border with the mirror is going across there or it's going under there. And I think I like it under there. Yeah. So we'll put that first. Now, this mirror is too long. I, I know. I that. Yep. But that doesn't matter because we can cut that off. Didn't want to do it too short because I hadn't decided how far across the card it was going right so that's going across the middle mm -hmm. and then a leftover piece from what i've cut oh brilliant. there is it's going a great way to use everything up it, it is absolutely yeah. is so we've got that lovely across there give that a moment to dry yeah okay so we've got this one that's going on here now and it's like past the parcel isn't it, it? is it, it, <laughs> but because the colors just worked i thought you know we sometimes we just we collect these yeah. um we collect these these bits of card for three years exactly yeah. and then when we haven't done anything with them we decide <laughs> we're going to actually throw them away <laughs> right so that now it's like when you put things up in your loft yeah now <laughs> it could go that way but i like it that way where it's going on here so let's pop that on and that construction glue that uh, Pauline absolutely adores and loves and uses in every demo practically, when you see the photograph on the, on, on, online, on web, and you see the myriad of bottles, I think it's six, is it? Six, yeah. When yep. I first saw it at the price of 11 99 I thought one of our team had just gone a bit gung-ho with the old photography and they'd just photographed too many bottles. Apparently mm. not. Here, here, here's Laura uh, in action as well, our producer. <laughs> Eleven ninety nine with the construction glue, and you're getting six bottles of. Uh, is it sixty mil? And yeah, it's worth mil. every single penny. Mm. <laughs> now, because we're doing decoupage, we're going to be layering up. Yeah. I'm going to put this flat because we've got layers oh, I going see. on. That phone so I'm popping that yeah. in the middle there. Now I've done that bigger. Um, it doesn't have to be another square around there. Okay. So that's on there. Lovely. Give that a moment. Miri always takes a little bit longer to dry. So we've got that on there. Right. Now, because life is too short for me to cut out all these layers mm. on TV, okay. I've, um, as it's pointed out, there's only like half an hour left. Okay. <laughs> um, I've actually cut out my layers. Brilliant here yeah okay all my little bits this is the what i always do when i put the pads on take off the back and put them on this is what's left over when you've finished all your 3d foam pads right okay oh okay. Good, that's a good idea because you can put them on and take them off oh, what a great as many idea. times as you want brilliant i knew i'd find a way that's to a it. great great auntie pauline tip. yeah yeah i have to brilliant admit, it is <laughs> right <laughs> okay so um, we're going to start off now on some of them. Yeah, you'll get what looks like two layers the same. Mm -hmm. We're filling up a page. There is oh, okay. two layers, but it does mean that you can keep a layer for something else. For something else. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this one, this could be used on its own because it's a like a whole wow, thing. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. And I cut within that white. You did say that bleed line. We call it a bleed line. Do you want to have a look? Shall I just uh, what it, what that, it looks yes. like? Do you mind? Just so that everyone no, no, can see. I think it helps us um, out. Was it at the beginning? Was no, it, it wasn't. Book, was it? it is that it book, was in this it? one. Yeah. We'll find it in a moment. There we go. So I just think it's good to see it in action, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I showed it you before, didn't yeah. I? Where is it? Is it definitely that one? Oh, yeah. is this one, darling? It's this one, sweetheart. It's this one. That's the one I've got. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, exactly. You know me, Zane. <laughs> Go. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Oh, here it oh, is, oh, right at the back. <laughs> we both found right, it at the same time. <laughs> right, okay. So if you can see here, it's got a white line yes. all the way around. Mm -hmm. So when I've cut it, I've cut to that black inside. line yeah. on the inside. Okay. Okay? Yep. 
Right. And they're all numbered, aren't they? They're all numbered. Brilliant. Thank right. you, lovely. Okie dokie, no problem. Right, so now this one has got a tall building, that one hasn't. So I know, and do you know what? I'm going to get my, tw oh, God. I've got that many pairs of tweezers. These ones are reverse tweezers. Oh, I've got those, they're brilliant. Okay, so what you do is it's closed till you open it. Yeah. So you press it down, close it on and it's closed. It takes so all the strain takes out, out, of it, the strain it? out yeah. your hand. So we're going to pop that one on top there. And then... Had you glued that already, on. sorry? It's on pads. Oh, it's on foam pads? It's on, pa it's on okay, foam pads. Right. So the next layer... Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Sometimes it's best to turn it. Make it more comfortable. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And we put that one on there. And then we come to the little bits. Oh. Yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd only get one demo done if I'd got to cut yeah, all these out. Yeah. So we've got the building here. Mm -hmm. All that, I can't remember what... Is, spin, spin, spin something, isn't it? Are the tops of these. I don't know, I can't remember. I can't, I can't sure. yeah, it's all like Middle Eastern. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say, do you just do you just know well, what order they go in? I do because I know the smaller you get. Uh, that's the only that, yeah. But if I wasn't sure, I would number them. Right. But, but I know um, what is smaller. Got you. Okay. I'm, I'm so only because I've had years of experience. years and years of doing it. Mm -hmm. And then the next one. But if you go to the smallest ev every time. Yeah. So. Let's pop. This looks great. Oh. I can see why this is popular. Yeah, this one's just not in the right place. There we go. Her arm and her head wasn't right. Now you can ease it and add a bit more of a glue if you if you're not sure. Skew, yeah. If you mean, yeah. Right. I'm just trying to pick. She's got five hands at the moment. <laughs> I'm just trying to move that over. There we go. Okay. Yep. And then we've got this one here, which I can just go in on there. And then that one on the top again. Okay. Now we'll cut this off. And then we've got the sentiments. Yep. Now you were saying as well, if you weren't on telly and you weren't, you weren't um, needed speed and whatnot, you wouldn't necessarily yeah. use the pad. You'd use the 3D glue, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, right. um, because if I wanted to shape that wing, yeah, and I would manipulate it either with my scoring tool or my fingers, yeah, and I could get a real curve on it, right? It's like when you're doing a petal on a flower, yeah, absolutely. And then you can put the 3D gel in the middle where right. it will stay, right? And then the, the petal will fold over. So, what are we looking for on Hunky Dory's brand's page of art? Um, Hunky Dory don't. Oh, okay. Don't necessarily sell right. the glue gel. Okay, right, okay. Okay. Now, here we've got... Um, Sparkle. We have, I've got all sorts of colours here. I'm going to go for the sort of lilac -y colour one. Okay. And I'm going to put them, I'm going to put one in the middle there. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Just lift that off. Okay. I needed to put the smaller one first. Right, smaller one in the middle. Right. And then I'm going to put one there. Yeah. And I'm going to put one there. Always odd numbers. Okay. Okay. That's lovely. And then, right, again, we've got um, sending Christmas sparkles to something, mm -hmm. someone special. But I love this one, which got the build on Christmas blessings. And again, mm. I don't want to, I can't cut... <laughs> it's funny, I can't cut a straight line, but I can cut with a knife a straight line. But why why do it when you've got a machine yeah. Yeah. that's going to do it for you? It's exactly. like, you know... That makes sense, does it? Yeah, it's... it's mm. well, maybe it's about making life easier. And also, I haven't got time to... No. ...to do, you know, so there. I could still be cutting one straight yeah, line exactly. around the edge. And still there. not get there as good and a finish. still not get there, yeah. yeah. Um, and let's put a little bit of a pad on that one. 
So pop a pad on there, cut that off. Okay. And then uh, we'll pop this on here. That trimmer, by the way, that Pauline's just been using, uh, the Premier Craft Tool Large Paper Trimmer, which does have the arm that folds out, so you can do A3. A there you go, there's the extendable arm. Twenty-one ninety-nine. There you go, Laura, our lovely producer. She's got beautiful hands, hasn't she? Just showing you how it works, <laughs> as, well as, uh, as well as Pauline there. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Brilliant trimmer. Oh, look at this. And there we go. And you see how the colours just all go. Wow. And I've just used up some bits out of my bit box. Can I just turn that to the side so you can yeah. see as well? And then, uh, as Pauline, oh, look at that. And that mirror just works Doesn't perfectly. It? Oh yeah, just adds that touch of a highlight of sparkle. Doesn't it absolutely? It doesn't overpower the, yeah. the image. That is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I ordered two of those trimmers the other day. Two. Well, my dad. I I was ordering one, and then my dad said, "Can you get me you're one?" Not, you're not happy with one. Well, I did think it was a bit weird that my 78 year old dad wanted it. He said, "Can I have a trim?" And I went, "What do you want to trim it for, Dad?" He went, "Well, want to trim stuff." I said, "Well, what do you want to trim, Dad?" <laughs> now, he runs the rural cinema for the village oh. around the corner, so they do they do it. It's ever so good. It's the last Thursday of every month. It's a five quid a ticket. Their next one is Elvis. You know, the the latest 2022 yeah. one with Tom Hanks. And, uh, and they do some unusual films. And then you get there and they sort of have a little, pre pre like the old days, yeah, yeah. you know, like a pre, you know, like something else, another film, like a little short thing. Then everybody goes, and then we do about an hour of the film. And then everybody goes and has a nice glass of wine or a gin and tonic in the, have like a little oh, bar. Oh, come on, honestly, it's great. <laughs> and, 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 he, and he needs to be able to trim the posters and things. Oh, so so I've got him one of them. Yeah. Oh, God, Excellent. Yeah. Um, right then, my lovelies, we're going to go to a very little short break. Very, very, very little short break. We'll be back with you with our lovely Auntie Pauline. And then at five o'clock, we're going to be learning all about the incredible talents of colouring with our crafters companion. So it's going to be a lovely, lovely hour and a half, if you don't mind me saying. We'll see you after the break. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Did you just do in that way? What do you do? <laughs> You're aware sometimes what they do in the brain. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, sometimes it's best not to know. Yeah, I suppose it is not. <laughs> I bet you're all going, find your own. <laughs> I'm not doing my own house. It's up to me. Thank you very much. We've got another collection of books, haven't we? We have. Yeah. Shall I show you? We have. Shall I show you? Oh, no. Uh, oh, I know. I nearly got excited with myself then. Thought I'd done it right. Now you've right. got to take the display. Oh, we've let you down. I'll check then. No, don't say sorry, Alex, but I thought, Zena, she's learning, she's learning. <laughs> check behind the display. The one time I checked behind the display, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Alex. Oh, now these ones are... Oh, 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 oh it's like it's every lovely day acorn wood. Oh, and springtime. Younger than springtime. Spring now the musical. Come on, Pauline. Get okay, the laughter, my... Do, 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 do. Younger than springtime. Was it South Pacific? Yes. <laughs> South Pacific. I had to sing it a little bit. Then. South Pacific, yes. Um, right, which one would you like me to start with? Oh, 
Horse and country. I knew you were going to do that. Makes you think of Notting Hill, doesn't it? No, it makes me think because I had horses. <laughs> <laughs> do you have horses? Did you? What, what horses did you have? Oh, I had quite a few. Did you? Oh. Yeah. I had a driving pony called Nellie May. Did you used to do like the like mm. Prince Philip did? Mm. Did you? But mine was a much smaller. Uh, wow. And only one pony. Do you know, I said this to Debbie earlier then, and I've had another life this lot. <laughs> you really are. So we're doing... Oh, oh, oh. This is a very, very gorgeous one, mm. this is. Um, it, because, it, I mean, horses come in, like, various... I would say various forms. Uh, like, we've got race oh, race oh, horses. Course, we've yeah. got ponies. Yeah. We've got... Shires and Yeah, Shetlands all sorts. And... So we've added a few in here of sort of nature. Oh. Now, that one reminds me of years and years and years ago when older members of the family used to collect the porcelain shire oh, horses. Yeah. yeah. My nan had those as well. Yeah. yeah Dan's just, Dan's just... So that one always reminds me of that. Oh, oh my so, auntie Sheila had one of so those. So we've got horses in there and we've got country. Brilliant. Oh, this is... A mix oh. of both. Oh, oh, but it, on. <clears throat> again, it, it works exactly the same way. These are your base layers, <laughs> and then each sheet will have all the decoupage for that one image. These are lovely, Paul. Oh, oh, excuse they me. They are. They are. They're really sweet. Come here, folks. Um, now, coming up in a bit as well, we've got a lovely whole... Well, well, I say lovely whole pen. Um, Pauline said, you wait till you see... She said, for some reason, she's got this tall and she was in it. I love that. So I don't know why, but I'll see <laughs> in a minute, but there you go. She was in it. I love that. I went, oh, well, I know. Look at the little buddy get us. Look at the little buddy. Oh, oh the... See, now, this would be great for Easter as Wouldn't well. Wouldn't it just? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. All of the... and again, all decoupage, all like we've just seen with the demo. See, so you could really see the white um, oh, yeah. lead line on yeah. that one. Yeah. Um, now, are we going to persuade you to do another uh, demonstration on this one, Pauline? Uh, not on this one, lovely. Ah, OK. It's on one of the new ones, the, the Christmas ones. So oh, all, brilliant. All even better. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, now, see, that's, I, I am blue tip mad. Yeah. Blue tip mad. So lovely. They, and that's, they're on Forsythia there. Is a spring, oh. you know the tree, that, the shrub that grows and flowers every spring? That's what it's called? Yeah. Could you know your stuff? Do you do gardening as well? I used to. I don't have a garden anymore. Oh, you did say it's yeah. yeah. said, But I still, I have, I, I have a knowledge of flowers and... Um, I think because I used to do so much gardening. Yeah. But I'm more like, I like the garden rather than the gardening. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, so we've got... Told in, I'm full of useless information. <laughs> You're brilliant. We <laughs> love you, Pauline. I'm going to flick through this one a bit quick, if you don't mind. I'm only just thinking because of time, we want to make sure we get another demo in from yeah. Pauline, and it's 22 already. Beautiful, beautiful sentence. I love as that, well. the blossom one yeah. there on the... It's so pretty. Yeah, lovely pastels. Again, any time you have floral, you can't fail. Oh, yes. Now, I have done that one. And, and oh. you know the boxes that we've got that, that's got, like, the frame around? Oh, yeah. And I put it in that, and I put it on the front of a card. Brilliant. And I gave it my mum for Mother's Day. Did you? I did. Did she love it? Well, I'd done that much work on it. It wasn't going to anybody else. <laughs> And again, again, back to the gardening, back to the wellies. Oh, my good old oh, window baskets. May your day be filled with happiness. Oh, here, here. Lovely vases, beautiful flowers. So, again, I don't want... Oh, yes, nice. Oh, that's nice. Now, that would be a great sympathy card. Wouldn't, oh, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes, it would. And, and that, the word I can't... I know what it is, but I can't say... Anemone. Anemone. That's how you do it. Anemone. I was doing this yesterday with... Who was I with yesterday? And she, and she said, every time you do that... No, I have to, I have to do that. Because yeah. it's a good way to remember it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so you go, tulips, vases, cup of tea, having a good read of a good book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely colours. Probably. Yes, very, very nice colours in here. So this is the second book, OK, of your decoupage for £28.77. Do you want to see the third book? Yes, please. It's my favourite. This is so sweet. Um, I, I've always said that this acorn wood is, is a great one for nurseries, for new yeah. babies, for young youngsters. 
uh, for, for making storybooks yeah. and for putting in frames. Absolutely. Now, to have decoupage in a frame, mm. fabulous. Yeah, that's a lovely idea. And look, you've got all the bunting. Oh, oh yeah. So I'd love to make, I wish I'd had this to make for my lovely little nephew. He's got to one. You'd really make lovely stories. You could, couldn't you? It's absolutely And again, if stuff. you don't like the idea of cutting round all those fancy edges, we have a die. Yeah. We have a die with a set and you'll find the right size. Absolutely. Or at least one very, very similar. Yeah. So all decoupage, we will get another lovely um, demonstration. Lovely badger. I saw a lovely badger legging across the grass first this morning when I drove into work. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad he, he legged it a bit quick because I, I uh, yeah, he managed to just avoid me. Um, uh, yeah, you've got your foxes, you've got your hedgehogs, you've got your little bunny rabbits. They're going boating. <laughs> so just, just flicking through as we go, just so you can see all the lovely, gorgeous options there. Look, having an afternoon tea on a toast, a nice Victoria sponge, having a birthday party, why not? There you go. And that's all three books for £28.77. You can get them individually at eleven pounds ninety nine, but that uh, that bulk buy price makes them how much? Sorry, no, but how much is that one individually? The one that we get the better buy price nine pounds nine pound fifty nine. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Nine pound fifty nine for all, and that's that just makes them a better buy. Mm. Better buy, better bulk buy. So there you go, your decoupage. Would you like to see decoupage in action with the Christmas one again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Over to you, Paulie. Right. Okie dokie. So I've got the one that's got the beautiful uh, Christmas roses, the hellebores on. Okay. Um, and I've got a, a, a card. Now it, it's cut to five by seven, it's quite but landscape. Card. Yeah. Right. If you think, oh, I up because you'd need A3 to do this card yourself right. um but what you can do is take a seven by seven and cut it down to five ah good idea easy as that right what i want to do i want to score the front with from the folded edge um and i want to score it at one and a half but i don't want to score the other one so i'm just going lightly okay so i've got an indication of where i want then you can put it in any groove. I've got a light shining on it now. Oh. I can't see my groove. Hang on, one minute. There we go. So now you, you've got to keep in the groove. You've got so now I've, done, I've got that, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to fold that back on the groove. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. And then I'm going to glue all that yeah. down. Okay, mm -hmm. so That's it's it. just a different type of fold, which I think looks really nice. Okay, so yeah. that now you've got that opening, but that is oh, like that. But we're okay. not we're not finished well, yet. I didn't think we would be. But I don't want to have to um, make holes through all that cardstock because you've got three hundred GSM yep. and three hundred, so six hundred GSM. That's thick, right? So let me get my board back mm -hmm. is that what you class is your okay. cutting board that goes in your yes yeah. yeah it fits on the inch yeah right so um i've taken um the oh what's oh, that's called? funky this one it's a christmas one Ooh. it's the duo design paper pad all wrapped up and festive foil oh. okay so huh. i've used the foil side which is wow. that but it's all christmas mm. winter um beautiful designs in there you, you even do okay. a bit better than me you. years and years right so i've cut a piece of paper just smaller than the measurement i've got left which i cannot remember but that was one and a half inches yeah right so we've got a little border okay and then i've got another border but i'm not going to glue it yet it's going to go there then i've got a piece of red which I'm going to put on here. Again, an off cut would do, yeah. but I've cut it to the measurement of what I want actually, because I'll show you. So that goes centrally on there. Mm -hmm. I've cut another piece that's going on there. So that's one and a quarter, that's one inch. Okay. Mm. Now, the base layer for this one, I've left within and I've trimmed up 
So I'm keeping the border on. Okay. So that's going on there. And then we're going to get that magic tool out. Okay. So that's going to go on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Right. Now, while that's just drying off, mm. before we put the decoupage on, I'm going to glue this piece of card centrally on there. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to get my hole punch. Now, this hole punch tool oh. is amazing. Um, years ago, yeah. they used to cost about £49. Did they? And they're called a Japanese screw punch. Oh. So what it is, in the end here, mm. I've got two hole punches. Right. My third one is in there. As they're different sizes? Yes. All in the same tool? Yes. Oh, wicked. Right. And to change them, all you do is you undo this, take this off, take that out and change well, that's it. hard, isn't it? Okay. It, it, oh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. So then screw that back on. So it but, works in a way. But would that not have been like £49 for each one? No. You, well, you've probably only got one. That's what I mean. So that size. would have been 150 quid. You, you, you couldn't get the other sizes. And yet all of that... So this, look, it works by pressing down. Now, if you you can go down there. It well, it might leave a mark, but it won't cut. You're cutting it. Right, that. okay. okay. Now, ninety-nine. Yeah. Wow. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to measure in, because I know I've got a ruler somewhere. What I do always you need keep it a ruler? In there. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to, it's, uh, let me see. Now I'm going to switch to centimetres now because I can get an actual number and it's 12 centimetres. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my pokey tool and I'm going to, I know six is half. So if I come out three yeah. to there yeah. and nine there, yeah. okay, so I've got, Two marks, yeah, there, yeah, and there, yeah, yep. Take my tool mm -hmm. and I'm going to pop that over the center of there. It will spin round, but don't worry, go a couple of times when you're going over several pieces of card. If you want, just turn and go that way. See, you've got a hole. That's a serious piece of kit, isn't it? You Absolutely, it. look at that. Okay, so now. I've got holes in there. Oh. So now, before I glue that on there, I'm taking some Oh, I'm ribbon. glad you did that. So I was just thinking, why is she putting holes in it? I know. And I haven't even got them centre, but I've got them I've got them equal length, but just not in the centre. You will that. have you will have more time. It's a fantastic tool. It, it is, really it? is. Great for tags and things oh, as well. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And we well, it means you can put a hole anywhere. Absolutely. Uh, we have just popped on the plastic ruler with the metal edge. Uh, gosh, that's a good deal. Uh, it's the cutting ruler with the metal edge. So I take it you can cut that with like your craft knife and things because it's got the metal edge on it. Yes. Yeah, OK, brilliant. There you go. That's the one that Pauline's just used. £4.99 for that. Unless you're Pauline Wheeler who can cut a straight line by just doing it. <laughs> but if I try and do it against, you know, I can do it freehand, but if try and do it against a ruler and I just... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hence why she uses it. the trimmer. Yeah. <laughs> right, so now yours will be immaculately in the centre, right? So now. But then again, we can I say something if you don't mind? Well, yeah. Who says it's got to be in the centre when you're making your own cards? Well, no, I know, but you know, I'm a bit OCD. Yeah, well, you and I would have to because of the way we are, but not, you know, some people want a bit <laughs> random. Absolutely. Yeah, no rules. Um, and then bring that down again and then just tighten it like a nice bow. Yeah. Lovely. Trim off your ends to a nice angle. Mm -hmm. A little bit more off that one because it's just a little bit long. This one off here is okay. Mm -hmm. And then we can glue that now. Brilliant. Very nice. It's just making a really nice shape card. Yeah. So we'll pop that on there. Oh, nice. And you see how I've just saved going through all those layers. Yeah. I've still made the holes. Yeah. And the card still opens. Brilliant. Without that moving. Mm. Okay. Right. Decoupage. Now, 
I've done a silly thing because I've cut it all out and I just wanted to show you knife work. Oh, with a craft knife, yeah. Okay. So I've left this bit in. Right, freehand. Oh, go on. Okay. Ready? Yep. Stop and turn it. Okay. That's very satisfying. It, it is very satisfying. And I, oh, I, but if I was doing that with a ruler next to it, I'd have gone off. I cannot do it. Right? And then you can get your, again, once again, um, let's go for Billy Big Scissors. Oh, the rainbow scissors. So, again, you could cut that out yep. with your die. Mm -hmm. There's just a little bit of leaf there that's overhanging that needs to be cut round. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then I'm cutting up to that red edge, cutting away that white. Now, when you're cutting, yeah, put put it in right to the end of your blade. The bigger scissors. Can you see I'm moving the paper? Yep. Right round to there. If I got little scissors, I'd have had to do five cuts. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. Okay, back in, right up there, all the way round. Right. Uh, we have just put the craft knife back on the screen, by the way. So you've got the precision cut craft knife. Uh, there's two blades in there as uh, uh, replacement blades, and it's a measly four pounds ninety nine. I mean, you, these tools just make it so easy, don't they? It's it really is lovely. Right. So with this one now, I'm going to put. Am I all right for time? I think so. Oh, about five five okay. minutes. Or so I think. Right. Okay. Okay. We can speed craft. We can do yeah. this. You got okay. this, Pauline. We can do. It. I'm a professional. Yeah. I can do this. You're a professional. Uh, yeah. Sell out designer, darling. I can make a dozen mint pies and knit a fair old jumper on Christmas Eve. <laughs> You've done that, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not really the... impressed then, Pauline. <laughs> the, the mint pies, yeah, and Easter cake, but not, not, <laughs> not knit a fair old jumper. <laughs> I don't even know what a fair old jumper is. Oh, it's one of them ones with all the pattern around the yoke. The what? yoke being the neck. Oh. Around there. So I couldn't see. Why are you, you putting the yoke on your jumper, love? I could see the vague, there's nobody home look on her then. <gasps> How dare you? I mean, I resemble that remark. <laughs> Just my general look. Yeah, but it was true. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. So we now take this, the pad covering off. Mm -hmm. OK. And thankfully, I've got all the others prepared brilliant come on Paul there we go there we go let's we can do this you can do this we can do this come. oh for heaven's sake girl oh, get a grip get a get a grip of the of uh, the outer edge of give the yourself thing. a good talking to Pauline <laughs> I will say that have a chat with yourself yeah <laughs> right. it's like when you see people on holiday and they look really grumpy and you, you want to go up to them and say do you know you're on holiday, don't tell you? Tell your face you're on your holiday. <laughs> right, okay. So, look, pink bud down there. So, we know we've got that there. Yep. So, can you see now what I mean about having the depth? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Don't look too close at the cutting out. I was rushing. Oh, it's all right, right darling. Okay. So, again, everything's on here. Largest one first. Yep. Already but again, they are filled all numbered off. if you haven't took them out. Yep. Everything's the there for you. Mm hmm so that one's going on there. Lovely. I actually love this card. Yeah, it is gorgeous. This one on mm. here. Okay. Yep. Hover till you know it's exactly where you want it to be. Lovely. Yeah. Yep. Then we've got this one here, which is those three there. Mm -hmm. And then we have a two, yep. which is this two here. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we have a one, which is that one on the top. Oh, lovely. There, and then I have a sentiment, which isn't too big to go on, but if I open that, it goes very nicely inside. Ah. May all your hopes and dreams blossom this Christmas. And there we have Aww. a little bit different. It's a beautiful card with that decoupage book. Absolutely lovely. And you did it this quick as well, didn't you? Well, because I got them cut out and stuck on here, it, it takes up less time. But it, it, there's no pressure, no limit no. to how long it takes you. Just have the fun 
you know, the relaxation, the, the mindfulness of just sitting it, yeah. there and, and yeah. cutting at your leisure. And the only reason it has to be, you know, a little bit quicker there is because obviously our guest is on as are under, under a yeah. time constraint. Yeah. You know, so, oh, Pauline, we love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too. You love you. <laughs> uh, right then, my darling. So we've got another final hour with the lovely Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie's going to be doing loads of colouring. Oh, can't wait. And isn't her hair amazing? She, I keep saying this to she her. She looks about 18 now. <laughs> Honestly. And she's disappearing. I oh, know. She's disappearing before our very eyes. She's every gorgeous. time I come in, I say to her, will you help me do my hair? And if she, every time she goes, do you hair? I think she keeps forgetting or just avoiding <laughs> the tip. How do you curl it like that? Is it, if you've got like one of them special, so them posh ones. Have you? Uh, it. Yeah. Have you? So oh! There you go. Oh, we sell those on gems, do we? Really? Do we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I only have, and you have a little scrunchie that holds your hair in place, and you keep it all night. <laughs> it's that look again, isn't it, Pauline? It is. Oh. It is. <laughs> right, Pauline, when are you gracing our screens again, lady? I'm back on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Sunday? Might be. Might turn what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not telling. Oh. <laughs> Making us wait. Uh, right then, my lovelies, thank you so much. Oh, it's girl. always pleasure a pleasure. As always. Uh, drive safely home, please. I will. Thank you. Uh, right then, after the break, oh, I'm going to mosey on. Oh, you wait to see these pens. Oh, my goodness me. So, last hour of the day, it's all about colour. It's all about pens. It's all about Crafter's Companion. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. Hobby Maker are going on the road, and our first stop is the Created event, taking place at the Kent Show Ground in Maidstone on Friday, the 30th of September, and Saturday, the 1st of October. Come along and say hello as we bring you an exclusive shopping experience with our craft concierges. Ready to go with show only discounts, free goodie bags, and an opportunity to take part in the world's largest tangled wall. Get your tickets now by logging on to createdevents.com forward slash shop and by using the code MAKER, you'll get an extra 25% discount off your day ticket. So join us on Friday the 30th of September and Saturday the 1st of October at the Kent Showground in Maidstone. We'll see you there. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Have you ever wanted to get started suntangling? Well, if you'd like to, then join us at three o'clock on Sunday. We'll be going back to basics and telling you everything that you need to know so you can get started on your tangling journey. That's Sunday, this week at three o'clock. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies and I'm the founder of Crafters Companion. Also, one of my hobbies that I do in my spare time is a little bit of investing in other businesses, so you might recognise me as one of the dragons on Dragon's Den. I started Crafters Companion back in my university bedroom when I was just turned 21 and we design and develop and bring to market products for the paper craft community. So everyone who's into card making, I'd like you to think that we are at the cutting edge of all the latest trends, the fabulous designs are out there and we are researching the market, making the products that customers really want and need and then bringing them to market, not here in the UK but all over the world. So for me, Hobby Maker is so different to any other craft shopping channel I've ever worked with from anywhere in the world. 
The fact that you can do the falling price auctions. The fact that you can have the fixed price shipping for the day. The fact that all of your call centers are based here in the UK and you can offer an elevated customer experience is really all the things that really I know matter to our customers. So for you to be able to offer all of this and give me a platform as a manufacturer of amazing craft products to bring them to the UK market, I just feel like it's a match made in heaven. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Do you want the best news ever? Do you want the best news ever? If you were watching the hour, the hour before when everybody was raving about the most ridiculous deal that I think ever done on a metal die. Mm -hmm. Oh, ever, yes, ever, not ever, just ever. A metal, Not just a metal die. If you were watching and you like me, you missed out, um, right? On it, the Christmas designs, is it? Yes. Yep. So the Christmas designs, okay, um, went really quickly, sold out really quickly, okay? We have managed to get a few more. It's not many, but it's something. So if you want to go back and watch the, de the demo with Debbie, uh, you just need to go back and watch either on, via YouTube or watch via our website on hobbymaker.co.uk and you can watch any show back. Oh, bless you. Uh, we've got the baubles. We've got, and just look at, when I say the amount of metal, the amount of metal, but the detail is exceptional. Okay, so you've got the Christmas wreath as well. You've got the uh, wonderful bells. The beautiful bells with all that beautiful ribbon and then you've got the fabulous candy canes as well this is an incredible entry lace as an in intricate lace design they should be 79.96 which is 19.99 a die and i think when you see the dies the amount of metal you can fully understand that price and i think 19.99 is a giveaway anyway yes absolutely so this deal earlier on the christmas designs mm -hmm. we were we were, sorry, I thought she jumped up, you know. <laughs> uh, sorry, the dog's in the studio. Uh, we took this down to unbelievably, that's for all four, 29.99, which meant that they went to seven pounds. Seven, yeah, I know. Seven forty nine. But they sold out. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Liz is straight back in. Liz is straight back in on the phone to the call centre. Well, Liam worked his magic. He is an absolute star. It is still, do we have a number, but it is very limited? Do you know what? Let's put it out there. Yeah, let's not tell people. It's very mm. little. <laughs> yeah. Um, th we need it. Well, put it this way. We're only just into double figures. Just. Okay. So good luck to everybody. They are officially Bonkersville. £7.50. Yeah. £7.50 for these dies. You're getting the candy canes. You're getting the bells. You're getting the wreath. You're getting the bubbles. Ah, hello, Anne, Crafter, Josephine, and all the collectors coming in. Well, collectors, hobby, hobby, mate. Can you just please, 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 please leave me one? They're like, no. <laughs> Do you know what, though? You come first. That's the deal. Yeah, you come first. We can't have everything, as Debbie, Debbie's knowing face was, you can't have everything. <laughs> <laughs> we want everything, but we can't have everything. Hey, you know, do you know what? It's nice to yearn for things. Absolutely. Good for you. Uh, but offers like this don't come along very often, Zena. All right, all right Debbie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rub it in. Um, <laughs> um, no, Patsy, Tracy, Tina, Jeanette, Helen, Anne, Crafter, Anne, another Liz, uh, Anne and Anne. Well, oh, gosh, how was it? The Anne's seem to be upon us all the ands and everywhere um right we're in single figures already good luck sold out a moment ago and we've managed to get we didn't manage to get many i grant you but we got some liam in our team thank you my lovely really kind of you thank you now debbie mm -hmm. there's coloring yes and then there's crafter's companion <laughs> oh i love that <laughs> it's true though <laughs> i mean you the, the, I, I, 
I, I, I have come from a basic pen from when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to seeing the most I mean we had your beautiful tri-blend pens yes. earlier didn't we mm -hmm. yes me. and we have still got some on the show so we, we are showing the classic and the tri-blends brilliant today. so we looked at the tri so the classic mm -hmm. is that how you say it classic, classic. Yeah. what 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 does the classic mean what is that range who's it aimed yeah. at absolutely so yeah let's uh, go straight in and see what we've got now brilliant. what we have put together Zena yeah. is the most amazing starter kit that's this one yes here. yes so the starter kit will include one of these packs of pens so what I would say to you as someone if you were a beginner crafter or you wanted to start dabbling into alcohol coloring pens uh, go for this starter kit because you literally get a pack of pens uh, you get your uh, Nina cardstock Nina is our supreme ultimate cardstock that's specifically made for your alcohol markers so you cannot get better cardstock to color on because it's designed it's for designed this. absolutely for that we don't use our Nina for anything else oh. it is because it is that good with, with your alcohol marks. okay it's what it's designed for so you have that as well so it We're takes also, well it takes so well right. yeah very very well it means that the blendable capabilities of the pen are even smoother because of the cardstock so Brilliant. yeah it's a really good point uh, and there's a, and stamp sets as well so we all need stamps to, to start us Let's off with that, that. yeah they're absolutely beautiful wonderful friend stamps I know and sentiment what a lovely stamp set this one is. Um, so we put this in. So this was one that I specifically asked to put in because it's, it? it's just the right amount of colouring that's yeah. not too daunting. It's not overwhelming. Not exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. We don't want you to suddenly get home, have a stamp that you can colour onto, and it's just too much to colour in. Yeah. yeah, too much. This is all Baby steps. Absolutely. And mm. talking about baby steps, if you are teaching your young children to mm. colour, and I mean young children as in seven, eight plus. Yes. Okay. Um, because you don't want to give these to younger ones. They are a permanent marker. Uh, <laughs> these are really nice to be able to help blend them together. Yeah. Now, the actual pen itself, so our, I'm going to go straight in with uh, two pens. So these are our two pens that we've got on the show today. Um, our tri blends are the one below. That's the one that we say, I've popped that the right way. That's the one that we would say is your um, beginner colorist. Okay. This one is the one that we would say to go on to once you sort of Establish how to blend your pens. Right. But Classic have a really good colouring system in place. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll show you with the pens that we've got that we do these in colour families. So if you want to go straight onto your classics oh. and not your tri blend, you get then even more possibilities oh. than what the tri pen oh. offers you. So actually, sometimes it's good to jump that step in the in between one. Okay. And then we do our, if anyone's heard of it, we do Illustrator. And that's our supreme marker. Special that has, yeah, that has a brush nib, other, none other like it. It's beautiful, a Japanese brush nib. Now, the classics, they have um, your markers. So, oh, take the, could take the lid off there. You can see they're sealed really well. Um, we've got a small bullet point nib on oh, that yeah. one. So, great for small detail and getting into your colouring, uh, whatever you're colouring. And then this one has your chisel nib. Now, these are the one markers that we say that you can refill. We do refillable inks. Do you? Yes. So what you would do, get yourself a little zippy lock bag, put your fingers in it, pull this nib out. That will pull out. Oh. I don't know if I've got a bag to actually show you. Let me, I must have thrown a bag away today. Oh, there we go. This one will do. Just so I don't get ink, because remember, they are alcohol ink, which are permanent. All you do is literally take that out. No. I don't think it will do because it's too slippery. I haven't got a piece of tissue. Let me have, wait there, wait there, my darling, wait there. Let, I can, I can, <laughs> you, you carry on, I'm going to go and so get So what something. the chisel nib is good for is mass amounts of colouring. So if you want to do sky, your grass, all that sort of thing, you can do that. But if you take this chisel nib out, you can then refill it through the top. So they are a one pen that we class as refillable and our inks are called um, refillable inks so uh, nice and nice and easy um, so you can get them uh, well, that yeah, do. Absolutely. that will do absolutely fine so I could show you that's perfect thank you very much so all you would do is just take a piece of tissue or cloth and literally it's because there we go can you see it just took that straight out and then you it's got like a little door a little um, pipette 
on oh, the right. end uh, and you put depending on how dry your pen is I mean the, your ink's going to last you a long time when it starts to dry out you put three drops at a time in Brilliant. Um, and you just keep going and oh, there's like in the bottle and I then like you just that, literally you know, recycle the pen as well yeah and you just replace your nib Brilliant. yeah absolutely it oh, is a very good way to do things so that's your two differences in your nibs and actually if I show you the nib onto this one uh, you've got very similar nibs onto those two uh, the the difference is is that you will see your um, your lay down of colour this pen has the three colour blends. Well, that's your tri blend, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and your yeah. tri blends, where you've got a whole pen there. Oh, wrong lid. Uh, you've got a whole pen there, uh, which will give you that one colour. So now I'm going to start on. Is, shall, do you want to go over the start collection? Shall we? I get onto a yeah. demo with that collection. Now we've so, shown you how what the actual pen is. Thank you, darling. Right. So you've got the Nina. Nina, is that I pronounce Nina, it right? Yeah. Nina. Nina. Nina, Nina, Nina. Nina. <laughs> That's how you remember, it, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got 16 sheets of the and this is designed specifically to go with yes. these pens. Yeah. So it's going to make you look absolutely fabulous. Let me show you the 12 pack of pens. Oh my days! I, uh, it's absolutely, and that gives you the full colour spectrum there in the classics, as you can see. If I turn it around, my lovelies, we've got all different colourways coming up in the classic range as well. Uh, in different sizes we've got six packs coming up as well in a moment this is your floral collection so dual tip permanent markers could we there you go thanks dan thank you you can see cherry red mango aniseed carnation carmine fuchsia pink tint fruit pink hydrangea lavender orchid antique plum <laughs> oh i like that an antique yeah. plum so if you stay on that um, yeah. on the if you turn that round where you were just sorry, looking darling, at those sorry. numbers what we've done in this pack so we, we've tried to be quite clever with how you blend the two colors together so each two colors so that first the pink and the orange will blend together oh like that yes you can blend all these colours together and then below and then you've got your other two colours. So all of these will help to blend. So you're giving us almost like a colour wheel assistance. Yes, yeah, there. absolutely. Oh, so every pack it tries to help you in that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just, just mention, do you get these as well? You do get the stamps. You get, yes, you get the you get the stamps and yes. the sentiments and the sentiments. Oh my stamps. days! Yes. What a pack! Mm -hmm. What a pack! What a pack! What a pack! What a pack! So wonderful friend stamps there again, not too daunting. And then you're sharing the love sentiments as well in the stamps. This pack is brilliant. Great Christmas uh, gift yes. as well. Real to get gift started. Of all this is yes. Yeah. So twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's oh, a great price. Oh, you get an ink pad as well, don't you? You get the. Don't you get an ink pad as well? Oh, you do get oh, an ink you pad. Do. And apologies, and none. And we didn't have one in the studio. I'm going to be using an ink pad, but okay. a different colour. You get flagstone with it. Flagstone. But I will talk you uh, through the ink pad that I'm using. Exactly the same, just a different colour. What type of ink pad is it? So it's an alcohol proof. Oh, wicked. It's full proof because wicked. it says alcohol proof on there and it has an alcohol pen on the awesome. picture. Even better. <laughs> so if you want to get into and if you ever in your lifetime have adored colouring and you've just gone away from it, you thought it was something for kids, oh my goodness, no. The sentiments, the stamp, the 12 floral uh, pens in the classic range and your Nina card, which is designed to go with those pens and the ink and you'll see it all in action. £30, £29.99 brilliant starter kit do you want to see it happening <laughs> yeah so the only thing Zena I would say and I would ask people to if they haven't got one and you are a beginner yeah great kit shows you everything but please get yourself a stamping platform right. now um I you, we've got different stamping platforms on the show and stamping mats uh, but for me and the team our absolute go-to and favorite is the magnetic stamping platform is the one we use all the time uh, and I'll show you why so I've already put my stamps I'm going to be using that uh, wonderful friend stamp lovely um, and I've already put them onto my stamping platform with a piece of our Nina cardstock 
Now, this is our magnet stamping platform. Um, I just think, why why go for a smaller one when you can go for you our biggest well, one? And once. that way, you've got yeah, you've yeah. got it then for yeah. always. Now, what's great about our magnetic stamping platform is the fact that you get magnets with it. So I put my card on. You can see our magnets. You do get four, but for some reason, there's only three with our one in the studio. So one's obviously um, gone away somewhere. Oh, we can see it there. You can see the four on there. Uh, now, what you can see is it's got feet all the yes. way around all those feet have got little springs on them it means you literally just press down and it makes it incredibly easy to stamp now the great thing about it is if you make a mistake uh, and I will show you that I'm going to deliberately make Brilliant. a mistake okay um, you will find that you can then stamp back straight away in that same place which is which is just brilliant, brilliant. and I know we always say it doesn't matter because it's just a piece of card you throw it away but actually that's your time as well and so the last money. thing you want to do yeah. is waste your card stop especially your Nina card just stop. Just quickly we have just popped the stamping uh, press the 8 by 8 inch stamping platform with the magnetic base it should be 24.99 we've saved you five pounds pop that and that'll pay for your post and packaging for most of us it's now 19.99. Now my biggest tip with this can you see it slightly moves yeah so depending on your pressure you don't need a lot of pressure i could do it with one finger a couple of fingers i could yeah. do it with one finger um you might slightly move it very okay. slightly mm -hmm. so my tip is always let your feet settle and always press down in your cross ah, and good then point. i'm just going to come away from that because once you press down that cross, yeah. then walk your fingers round, I know that it won't be moved in every, any other place. Right. So, oh, look, I made a right mess of that. So in any other time with our stamping platforms, we'd take that away right away because we're not stamped very yeah. well. But with this... And what, the worst thing is, can I add one thing in and we forget this? You'd be a bit, we could be so hard on ourselves. Can't we? And mm -hmm. actually, that could really quite upset yourself for the day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So I can go back in, re-ink, let my feet all settle around, press back down in there, but no, I've got to walk my fingers around now to make sure I'm going to get that stamp all the way over. And then we get that oh, stamp lovely. in. And actually, I still feel like if I really, if I want to go into here as well, I can still use my stamp. I can still go in just on that flower. And if I want to just stamp back down there, again, let the feet settle always go down that cross then work your way over oh, because that way it. you will just get it in exactly oh, the same brilliant. place every single yeah. time so it pay for itself really quickly won't it oh so it's much so. frustration yeah it's just the one thing i say if you can afford those pennies to go for this one right um it's definitely my recommendation absolutely and i know the team absolutely love it as well yeah. right so going to use those pens um you can see all of them coming here so let's take our first two so you wouldn't think these two colors would go together so but because they have the same warm tones right. and I will talk about your cool and warm tones Brilliant. in a minute when yes, we please. come on to the, right. the six pack yep. um, they're going to work really well together the other thing we need to do is make sure we have a piece of card that we color onto now the reason being is uh, they are alcohol pens which means they will they will flood your paper right. and I don't mean flood as in it will go everywhere yeah. but it will absorb right down down into your cardstock, you're colouring onto through. your dark glass mat. Well, it's not so much the penetrating oh. through, it's the bouncing back into the card. Oh, so if you don't have something, it's almost like a blotting paper oh. on the base, oh. which means you can then keep inside the lines a lot easier. Interesting. Um, so uh, I'm going to start with um, our orange. So let's go in with our orange. Um, and I'm just going to start. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a cherry one, not orange. Um, I have got my glasses on as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and you I'm just going to. Very beautiful in those glasses, by the way. They're my new glasses. Oh, we they're like those. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're I went for nice. something different. I went yeah. because I had some before and um, they just didn't I meant to do this the other way around so can you see that's my now, fault for talking at that's okay Sorry, even though we're I'm able to sort of bleach that out so they're starting to blend into each other you should use the lightest color before the darkest color okay. so as I've done that I can then go in and do that red now oh wow and oh, then we can yeah. go back over there and what it's doing, my lightest colour is bleaching those edges just to blend into each other until eventually, once that evaporates, our alcohol evaporates, you won't be able to see where one, one colour ends and the other one starts. Okay. And that's exactly what you want with your markers. 
So it's just a case of giving it uh, a bit of time to develop. Yeah. And um, and it doesn't take long for the um, alcohol to evaporate at all. Doesn't it? Uh, because uh, it dries quite quickly. So if you was to, because um, the other thing with alcohol markers um, that we haven't really touched on in, in the shows um, is you can colour lots of different embellishments. So you can embellish, so if you haven't got a ribbon that matches the colours that you're putting nice. on, you can colour your ribbon, um, wow. you can colour your gems, um, yeah, all those wow. sort of things. So I'll show you that as well. Gosh. So we're just doing that bit of red into there, letting that bleed through and just bring in those colours in. So you were saying earlier as well, weren't you, that very point that if you've decided you haven't done it quite right, stop, yes. let it dry, yes. let it evaporate. Don't keep reworking it because all that will do is, uh, is just continue to lay colour on mm. colour. Uh, you get to a point where you can't add any more colour to mm. your cardstock. This is looking fabulous, by the way. So let's Amazing. It's a great starter pack. What a great, great, great. A really good, yeah, brilliant starter on pack. On Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And then all I'm doing is then, so once you've got what you need out of your um, out of your image, then I would stop and then go back to it because once it starts to evaporate, all your it all blends beautifully yeah. into each other. Okay. And then we can just go in that middle. We're going to just pop a bright red in that centre. Oh yeah. So you can see, we can't really see the colours. And the same, so if we then go, let's mm. say we want to go into two, it's three different colours on here. So I've got my lavender, so I've got my um, LV1, my LV2, and then I've got a deep plum as well. So we can then do different colours. So if we then want to go in uh, and colour with our, so this is our lightest colour. So I'm going to lay down this colour first. And they're really easy to use. And I know yeah. I've been colouring a long time, but I certainly wouldn't class myself as a colourist. Um, I still learn so much every day. Yeah. Um, but I think that if you colour often enough, the technique of alcohol colouring becomes simplified. Yeah. Um, and you start to learn what colours. What I would also suggest yeah. is having a palette. So if you like certain colours that blend together, um, and you're going for the, the classics, then um, use a, a colour palette. So if you know these two colours work together, have a little colour swatch so you could sort of put this colour swatch on the side. Oh, I see. And I've got my LV2. And then if it goes well with another colour, you would write that next right. to it. Yeah. And keep that, so keep yourself right, a okay. little book, um, just as a little, um, yeah. yeah, just that, yeah, little reference book. Brilliant. So um, Good idea. But I love the fact that we can still do all this shading. Yeah. Um, and this, for me, is really teaching yourself how to colour. It's uh, really just going in um, and having a play and following that system. So all I'm doing with this one is just where I think there should be that darkness. Can you see how mm. we're getting that shading in there? I'm not even going to do too much. I'm just doing it exactly where I think my, so under those leaves at the back where they're layering up. And then we can go back in with our medium colour and just blend those in. And it's so mindful, oh, isn't it, Zena? I mean, God, I could, I, I was just, I was just there, going into a right little moment, just watching you. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit like that. We, we have to be really careful demonstrating them because most of us go into what we call a colouring coma. <laughs> Sarah's always called it her colouring coma, um, and you forget to talk. It's the only time we forget to talk. We're all such talkers. Um, it's probably the only time you get us to shut up. Really, <laughs> that's the best thing. Just, just hand, I just hand us a, a piece of. Need yeah, just, yeah if you need me to be, they're like, well, Debbie needs to be quiet now. I need to do my job. So, uh, oh, yeah, you just, uh, just hand it in. How do you learn where to shade? Is it around sort of the base of flowers and things? And... Um, so I think you have to just go with what you think is right. Okay. Um, because so, and it's a good point. So at the moment, I'm just doing my shading where my flowers are. So I know where my petals lay. Yeah. A little bit of common sense, yeah. where things layer upon something, you know, underneath is going to be, be darker. darker. Yep. But if you want a real natural light into your um, colouring, what I would suggest is having like, so if I want my top layers to be really light, mm. um, do yourself at the top of your page or somewhere else a little arrow so you know your light source is coming in from one direction. Oh, got you. And then that way, 
I know that this lighter, so if I want that a little bit lighter, I'm going to go in with my lightest colour and just really colour that bit on the end. So I think one of our pens has mm. a blender pen in it. Um, oh, what? Shall I have a look? Yes, I yeah. think it might be that top one. Have just a look, just look. see if there's a blender pen in there. Um, because uh, the blender pen, um, it really bleaches out because all it is is, is alcohol. So it's a really good one. Um, I thought it was in one of our collections, but we might not have it well, here. I'll today. have a look. So, um, yeah, it could be in the shade and tone. So this one, so let me just pull this forward then, so, and then you might be able to, we'll have, give, it, give you a close-up, you might be able to tell us if, if we've got what you're talking about, because I'm not quite sure there. It's just look. called a blender pen. So, yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, have a look at the colours on the back. Does oh, it, does okay. It let me say, it oh, yes, blender. 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 Yep. Blender, not Glenda. Blender. <laughs> there you go. Look. There you go. There so you that's go. the pack. Now, the blender pen is just pure alcohol. So oh. what that would do is um, it would bleach out. So if I wanted to put that light colour, I don't think I've got a blender pen on me. Have I? Let me just have a check. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, I can you see it in action then? So that, that's going to yeah. be coming up in a moment in the six pack. But uh... Yeah, I'll show that in a second. So let's okay. do a bit of this colour in. Um, yeah, a blender pen is brilliant. So what you could do, if you wanted to get like a really light ombre effect, yeah. you could do your blender pen. So I could show you actually. So okay. I look for a lighter colour. Mm -hmm. So let's use our light pink there. Um, I could put all this down here and I'm going to do this bit by bit so while that's still wet I'm then going to blend my pink into that and what will happen that will just effortlessly blend that into the top part without having to worry too much uh, just going over and that will just lighten that top bit can you see we can't now see where that's been coloured down but that won't sort of mark the blender pen though no 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 not at all oh. no so even if um i've got so i've got another technique um which is called palette blending um which is a great technique but it means that you would have to pick up that darker color with your blender pen but it may stain your nib, but once that runs free again, you don't, you oh, don't okay. see it. Okay. Yeah. So that's a really nice one. And then if I wanted to go in here and lighten the top, oh, yeah. we can just go over the top. Oh, Show that's really, clever. I, I'm doing a really good way. Let me uh, bring in uh, a darker colour. I'll just show you a little technique with this. Okay. Going a little bit off piste here. Um, let's say, let me turn that round and let's just do... Let's do Wow, where has that time gone? That's right. Our director said we've got half an hour of the show left. <laughs> right, I'm just going to quickly... Oh, my pen seems to... I think this one needs uh, a bit of a re-inker. Yeah. Yes, re -ink. I'm not too worried, though. This is just shows the technique. So another really cool technique if you wanted... Where's my blender pen? So using this one, if you literally hold that down onto your image and then we just go along... What that actually does, that I'll work in a minute, I've put a dark colour down, that will start to create, you can do sort of different um, uh, sort oh, of like techniques. like texture effects. Or yeah, it's like ah, texture effects. Like brickwork yeah, because almost. I'll tell you why that's not working. It's because I'm not. I'm, I'm doing my rookie mistake there, not going on to something. So when you push, so what I'm doing is pushing that colour through onto the other side and ah. then you can start, yeah, just uh, creating different effects oh that's good see. and then yeah you can do that brickwork effect so if we then just go into in between oh clever yeah there's lots of different techniques you can do because you're sort of bleaching out that color right so i'll let that evaporate a bit and then you'll be able to see that in a minute once that takes takes hold but yeah it's just a nice technique you can do lots of things like that it's almost like um do you know invisible writing but it yeah it comes there yeah, straight yeah, away yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can so once oh, that brilliant. starts to evaporate uh, that really sort of comes into its own there but i've got oh, a fantastic. feeling some of my Thank pens need, yeah um uh, need a refill themselves <laughs> so let's just uh, finish this image so let's yep. uh, grab ourselves a green one um and i'm just going to do the leaves really so let's just add that green into them and remember, this is all in your um, starter kit, yeah. which is amazing. Brilliant deal. Yeah, it's such a good deal, isn't it? 
we do have more bundles coming up as well. We've got packs of 12, we've got packs of six coming up as well in all the different colourways. So Zena, do you want to carry on and I'll just finish colouring? Do you want while me to do a few this? more? Right, yeah, okay. absolutely. No problem. So just to reiterate that bundle that we've got on the screen, my lovely, my lovelies, we've got the designed specifically for these pens is the Nina uh, Classic, sorry, so Crest, Classic Crest card not easy to say <laughs> so 16 sheets of that lovelies there is the stamp uh, that um debbie's working with at the moment look your wonderful friend and just to make it simple that's what we call nina cardstock ah right thank you <laughs> nina cardstock there you go thank you and then you've got all these wonderful 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 um sentiments then you get the ink pad as well which is in what was it called again it's flagstone, flagstone alcohol thank proof. You. Thank you, thank you. And then you get the florals, the fabulous floral classy collection in the colouring system. And if I turn this around here, just to show you, you know the, the three sort of purple colours that, um, and that, there they were there, look, all together, show that they blend. See? So you've got the, um, you've got the classic with the, two, the classic with the two different nibs, the bullet and the, what was it called? The bullet and the nib and the... Bullet and chisel chisel oh i'll learn this one of these days the most amazing <laughs> amazing pens and that's a pack of 12 okay with the two different nibs on each end and fully blendable alcohol markers all of that for 29.99 that is your reduced buy price okay this one okay sorry right so all you get all four packs oh nice yeah, now this is the one that's got the blender pen that uh, Debbie's just been showing. The very clever blender pen. The blender. So if I, and again, it's the same concept. It's the same nibs with the two different nibs, on uh, one on each end. And then if I get, if we turn this around, you will see, look, this is all about shade and, and tone. Uh, this, or again, ombre, if that's how you'd like to. Um, and this is all about depth and shade, as we said. So six of the dual tip permanent markers in all those lovely colours, plus your blender. So you get that one. You also get, oh gosh, you've got a lot in this collection. You also get, this is for fair skin. So great for your skin tones. You get, oh, it looks like a makeup palette, doesn't it, Debbie? You know when you go and choose your foundation? Oh, it? yes, it does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I show that there, look, anybody... That, yeah, so there you go. Look, that's about your lovely fair skin tone there as well. So that's for your fair skin. We've got the darker skin, okay? Uh, and I'll show you the, 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 the naturals in a moment. So your fair skin and your darker skin, you get all six pens in each colorway. And then in, on top of that, my lovelies, you've also got the tinted naturals. So again, if you're thinking nature and trees and foliage and birds and things like that, You've got these wonderful tones, really lovely tints. And again, if you just go to the bottom of the box, if you wouldn't mind, gentlemen. See here, look. See what I'm talking about there, look. With the twigs and the flowers and that lovely bird. Just to give you an idea of the kind of things you can do with that colourway as well. So there you are getting there, 6, 12, 18, 24 pens, classic, from the classic range. 24, don't forget. With that, this is the one with the blender. Now, they're supposed to be 39 96 which makes the 9 99 each. Ah, right, there's good news. It's going to be buy three, get one free, isn't it? Because it's going to go down to £29.97. Now, at the moment, the computer, it's such a naughty price, the computer said you're not allowed to do that, Alex. It's not happening. So we've had to branch out to the lovely Liam. Liam's having to talk to the call centre, try and get it changed on the system, but you will pay £29.97, which basically means you can buy your three whichever packs you really fancy, and then the, let's say the one with the blender pen or whatever it might be, you get for free. So it's buy three, you get four. Okay, £39.96, but it will be £29.97. Don't worry, we will action that for you. You don't have to do anything. Pop it in your basket, check it out, and I promise you now, it'll be £29.97. Even if our call centre have to go in and manual, manually amend every order, we will do that for you today. Buy three, get one free. That's amazing. Brilliant. That is so good. Isn't it? Yeah. And another colourway coming up as well. 
Uh, right, so what I've just been doing, I've got a bit of organza ribbon, um, oh. which is beautiful. Now, any ribbon works. Now, this is where I'm going to use my chisel nib and I'm going to go in and just literally um, colour my ribbon. So it means that all your just plain white ribbon or cream ribbon or actually whatever ah. colour you can put straight into that. Now because I've used the orange as well, I can then go in with my chisel nib with the orange. Oh, that's lovely. And then we can pop that onto the bottom half. That is going to blend as well. So just hold in that there. Look at that. So I can blend that into there, go down. Yeah, and just so always colour onto something. And then we can just put our sort of multi-coloured ribbon into place. Now, what you could do is if you, if you just hold it onto there, it will just soak it up anyway. So just for quickness, uh, just wanted to show you how we can uh, make that beautiful ribbon. Mm -hmm. So we've got our gorgeous ribbon there. It looks horrible because we're colouring on something. If I turn my piece of paper over, you'll be able to see it a lot better then. So we've got our beautiful oh, ribbon. Oh, that looks amazing. Now, the other <laughs> thing is I didn't have any um, uh, gemstones that were just plain. Oh. So I wanted to show you how you can colour even green. Oh. So all well, I'm going to do these are glittered as well, so they've got a bit of a rough oh, okay. texture. So these are like your classic sparkles, are they? Something we call them, don't we? Uh, yes, yeah, so these are just your gem drops, like oh, gem these drops. are self adhesive, like gem drops. Yes, yeah. um, so it won't come out bright pink, but look what I do when I color over it, I can completely ah. change the color of that. So if I want to make different colors, you literally just put this huh? on top. My mum used to. Um, used to have pearls, pearl earrings and necklaces, and she borrowed my pens to um, colour all of her jewellery to match her outfits. <laughs> she did. Yeah, yeah, she used did to do that she? all the time. Yeah, yeah, used to do it all the time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. she'd come across and say, I've not got no blue, can I borrow blue? <laughs> well, she's not, you know, you know this, there's a scooter in the building here as you come in, there's a red sc scooter, and that was my nan's. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, is it nan, your scooter? It was it? my nan's scooter. So Steve that set up the company, it's our, it's our nan. And she was a nutter. She'd come round f fully dressed in her father's, father's father Christmas outfit in like July, August, ringing a bell on a scooter. She'd knock the door and I'd go, what are you doing, nan? It's August, July. And she'd go, yeah, but it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what, so, uh, weird. So how do you get Ivy in? But you what, darling? How do you get Ivy No, no, no. In? Sorry, she, it was named after her. So the dog was named after my nan that ran, that, that uh, was on the scooter. I don't bring her in on the scooter. I thought you said no. the scooter. Have you seen the scooter in the car park? And I said, what, did you, ah, no, did you bring it in? And you said yes, and I thought... <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. But do you know what she used to do? The scooter in the building. The, yes, so I didn't word that I'm very you well. Now. Sorry, darling. <laughs> but do you know what my nanny me. used to do? She'd get a sofa. If she didn't like it, she'd paint it with house paint. <laughs> No. She did. Oh, no. I, I said she was a nutter. <laughs> I don't know whether wow. it was uncomfortable. I don't remember, but it must have been. That's anyway, so I just thought I'd add that in. That's very funny. <laughs> Zena, you have a story for everything. Oh, generally. Well, because the family's all a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come So on. let's pop a bow. But there we go. Look. Look. So quite nice and easy, but colouring your ribbon, colouring your gems uh, and colouring that flower. Stunning. There we go. And you can do all of that, apart from adding your ribbon and your gems, you can do all that with that starter collection. What? A, these pens are unbelievable, aren't they? Yes, they are. Thank <laughs> you. Um, right, then, thank you, Debbie, Debbie. Dean. Now, we've got greens, we've got blues. We, oh, these are like your primaries, aren't they? Yes. Oh, yeah. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So you're going to get all of, the, of these uh, classics in all of the different, um, different colours. So we've got greens, blues, purples, yellows and reds. All fully blendable, all with the two ends. One within, let me get this right. One with the bullet nib, one with a chisel nib on the end. Yes. yes. That's what the nibs look like. Is nibs. Are they always kind of them? <laughs> They've got is nibs. We've got the most gorgeous greens, the most beautiful blues, the most, oh, shall I show you them all together? Well, I won't be able to show you them all because there's too many, but I'll, I'll show you all of those for now. So if I get you the, let's go with the blues, the yellows and the, or can she stand them up? Can she, she oh, she's going to have a go. She's going to try and, she's going to try and do it. This could all go horribly wrong, but we're going to give it a go. 30 different pens, all fully blendable in the Classics collection. Now we are at £9.99 a box, aren't we, for six? 
OK, that's how much they are individually. Brilliant deal, I have to say. And as Debbie said earlier, these last and last and last and last and last. Don't they, Debbie, love? They do, yes, they really do. Could I borrow one and I'll show you the concept of Absolutely. how they work? Which, do you want, you know, Anyone. Oh, just thought, I'm not even going to take them out the pack. I'm just oh, going to explain oh, oh, what yes, these so packs do that, bless you. were put, uh, put in place for. Yes. Just quickly, so, I'm taking them. Sorry. Sorry. sorry no, 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 Zena, no, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. So, Carry on. What's that divided by five? I need to know. Seven? Seven pounds? Seven pounds each? For seven pounds each? Yes, seven pounds each. There you go. Sorry. That's amazing. There yeah, absolutely amazing. Now, if you would go to the high-end artist shops, you'd be paying anything from four to five pounds per pen for an alcohol pen. Wow. So that's really, really good value. That's like um, thirty pounds each box. Uh, yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, they're not cheap. Alcohol markers aren't cheap. Now, if we look at the colour system, what Leanne and the team have done with this is they've put them into block three colours in these. So we can see that these three colours here are going to blend together and then these three colours oh, are going to blend. Okay. Now, we have our warm tones and our cool tones. Okay. So cool tones won't blend into warm tones because they're completely different tones. Oh, I do apologise when I said fully blendable, it's in those two blocks. Yes, but Apologies. they are fully blendable. It's just that it's knowing that colour system. Yeah. Now, if you really want to get technical, you need to go on and get a colour wheel and see which colours blend and how what your cool and, and, and warm tones are. Because actually, that's a lot to get your head around yeah. when you think about colouring, um, which is why we didn't want you to worry about that. Okay, and it's why we great. put that into those three colours. You're learning as you're using Everything. Is well learning. Then. Yes, absolutely. And I can't, honestly, I can't tell you enough, the education system for our classics oh. out there is second to none. There is so many tutorials. Leanne herself teaching. She is the most, in fact, for me, the best teacher I've ever known that can teach anything. But and how do we get so access good. to her? So literally, YouTube, uh, Facebook, just type in Spectrum Nor Classics. Okay. tutorials and right. there is loads there's tutorials from our design team there's there's uh, tutorials from Leanne okay. uh, that all the team honestly there Brilliant. is just so much education out there that run through the system of and them. if you if I turn this we've got to get all these extra so I'm gonna have to I've, I've, thank you sweet pea thank you um, if I just show you there if I can this might be the best way to do it there you go look so you've got the same concept with your calls and your warns on every single pack there we have re uh, as, as Debbie just said, if you go into a, re a really good quality um, a sort of artist shop, each one of those pens is generally charged at £5 each. That's £30 a box. That works out remarkably. I'm going to say £1.16. £1.16 a pen. Thank you, Alex. Um, and if not... Ah, so if I do that like that... Ah, there you go. That's a much better way to do it, Dan. Thank you, Flower. There you go. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah, and that shows it perfectly. Doesn't you it? can see those three colours that blend together. So you've got your cool and your warm tones, yeah. which is ju it just simplifies Brilliant, everything, it? which is mm -hmm. amazing. So what I would say is this is your next best set to go for yeah. um, because you can practice and then go for your bigger sets, Absolutely. which will fill the gaps. Yeah, exactly. Again, if you're thinking about think about your your, your friends, your family, whomever, th my, like my dad might say, to, you know, it might be the same as my stepdad, my dad, everybody that's sort of says, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. Will you just tell me what to get you for Christmas? This couldn't be more perfect. We've also got some 12 pack uh, deals coming up as well. Should we get those on for you? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Oh, thanks for that, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Which one should we do? You don't get all of them, don't you? An hour is not enough, Zena. There is so much to learn on the colouring system. Absolutely. Um, but honestly, I have to tell you, it's the easiest colouring system that I've ever been taught. And the thing is, what I like about it, when you, when you read on there, it says, and so you've got bright, I'll tell you this in a minute, but you've got bright, you've got jewel, and you've got pastel, okay? But for all purposes, colouring and decor. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, picture frames, anything like that, home decor. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, absolutely. If you love doodling, they're great for doodling anywhere. So you might have some chi so china, um, vases, glass. You can't. Yeah, 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 all of that. Acetate. You, so you can put like your name on, on like a gin glass. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're, oh, they're oh. permanent markers. So anything you could think you could put a permanent marker on, you can. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Put these on too. 
So in here, in your classics, in the, from the Spectrum Noir collection, you, you have got the brights, the pastels, and the jewel colours. So if this is the thing then. So if you if you got like, let's say you went to, because you can go to these these really cost-effective shops, can't you? Buy like a box set of like six mugs mm -hmm. and just plain. Yep. So you could write the whole family's name on. Yep. Could you put it through the dishwasher then, do you think? No, not the uh, dishwasher. Hand you can hand wash, not through the dishwasher. It would probably be okay through the dishwasher. But, but no, because I think eventually it will wear off. Yeah, well, it I think when you rub something enough, yeah. like even a marker when yeah. it's on glass or a, a non-porous yeah. surface, it will eventually yeah. come off. Uh, so if you want to keep it, yeah, just hand wash it. Brilliant. There you go. Now, you're getting 36 of your wonderful classic pens here, dual-ended. There's all the colours for you. You're one pound 66 a pen we're at at 59 pounds uh, 97 this is 36 pens three packs of 12. so how does the blending work on this one then so there are pens that will blend together in there so we don't leave you with nothing so right. i would say sort of your twos in this one um and they will then fill the gaps with your other pens so like you might have say oh, a see. one two and a four that blend this might be your number five. Oh. Brilliant. So it will fill that gap. So eventually you'll have all the numbers and then you can work out your own system. Ah. So just because we're saying that one, two and five blend beautifully together, it doesn't mean to say that you You've can't got to bring in that. a six. It doesn't mean you can't have a go up a step. That's just how to learn to teach yourself. And right. then you can start getting more technical with your colours. You don't because have so to stick many colours. You don't have to no. stick with it. There's, I mean, there's so many different ways to use alcohol pens. The other way you can use like a grey shade shade to colour first and then colour over the top in a red and then that creates this darker ombre oh. centre so there's lots of different ways that you can teach clever. yourself to yeah and very clever yeah highlighting round an image in a really pale grey yeah. really makes something pop out the page but this is the thing if you're looking at these and thinking oh this is great because I'm watching today and I happen to have fallen on a great show with Debbie but I don't know what to do after that there is so much support out there. Yes, absolutely. Again, absolutely. on Crafters Companion, yes. we've got loads of, of demos yeah. as well. Uh, again, when we've had Leanne, yourself, and all the yeah. amazing, amazing um, Crafters Companion guests that come in and teach us how to colour. Could I just stop for a sec? Everybody's like, would you? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've just taken all of these 36 pens to 39.98. And we've got it on split pay. Wow. So, you get, so you're saving. Is that buy two, get one free again? It is, yeah. That's buy two, get one free. One oh, pound wow. 11 per pen. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, that's crazy value. Do you think as well, you think, you know, you know, when you go and buy like a pack of highlighters, mm -hmm. you get like a pack of five normally, don't you? Yep. They're not cheap. No, not at all. They can't do what these can do. No. Nope. <laughs> could you do us a demo absolutely oh, yes. yes yes so i'm just going to show another technique now i'm bringing in one of the stamps which is the um uh, seahorse uh this one's a beautiful one it's in one of the packs of stamps that we've got so uh, the essential uh, stamps let's bring that one in and give oh, that a stamp that down show. we have yes brilliant all the stamps that we've got on the show i mean look how beautifully stamps absolutely gorgeous yeah really a great bundle of stamps that we've got on and yeah. all the stamps are what i class as having a really nice uh, blendable capability but enough area to not be too off-putting yeah um now i'm going to do something really different to uh, what we would normally do because and i'm going to bring in a piece of acetate for this as well so i'll bring that up the top um now these two pens are totally different colors so yeah. I don't expect these to blend at all. Okay. Now they will overlap each other and they will change the colours uh, on them, but they won't blend. So in fact, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in another piece of card just to show you what we can, do, what we do if we didn't do this technique. So. Why you do that? Shall I get the stamps on? Oh, absolutely. Do you mind? No, no. And then I'll put some inspiration out. So 32 piece selection here. Just to give you, there's the there's the seahorse. Uh, that uh, Debbie's just working with me right now. 
I'll, I will give you lots of um, inspiration here for a moment. I'll well, say I will, the team will. I'll pop them out for you. I've done nothing. Uh, so we've got in these stamps, and just to mention, look, obviously here, you've got the seahorse, you've got the sentiment, you've got starfish, you've got seas the day with S-E-A-S. That's brilliant. <laughs> so in there, look, you've got seven stamps. In this beautiful teapot and cups and saucers and flowers. It's lovely, isn't it? That one there, there is seven. If I put each one so you can see. That one's got seven stamps. And again, just giving you a little bit of inspiration each time. Again, there is always time for tea here, here. Being a tea belly, tea belly, absolutely. There's five stamps with your beautiful flowers. And again, here we go, look. Just to give you a little idea on each one. We've also got to give you the bunnies, haven't we? The bunnies. Some bunny loves you. What a He's great. He's well fed. <laughs> he is well fed. Good lad. And then we've got the florals, the fabulous florals. Again, just giving you some beautiful inspiration from the team. Thirty nine ninety five. So can I just add up, if I may? So the easy bit first. Let's do the fives. Have you done it for me? Oh, there you go. That's in the name. <laughs> It's the last show of the day. Ah! <laughs> There's 32 stamps. Let's have a deal and then we'll go back to the demo. Let's have a deal. Let's have a deal. We want a quick deal. Come on. Do you want to go back to Debbie? So then, 39.95 for 32. Wow, it's amazing. How much is that per stamp? Can you divide that by 32, please? They're not even a pound each. Goodness gracious, well done. All of those for £23.97. Oh, grassing, 74p a stamp. Not bad, is it? Mm -mm -mm. Not Reusable bad, as well. They're not even disposable. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> anyway, sorry, darling. Not Back a problem at all. Gosh. It's always good to show them. Uh, right, so we've got two very different colours. So I'm going to colour a bit of my seahorse. So let's do that beautiful pink. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to come in like we would any other colour in. So I'm not going to do oh, too look. much of this. Ah. I just want you to see. Um, really beautiful. Now, if I then want to use my blue pen to go into that, what will happen is it will go over the top to create a line, but that is not blending. That's what we would class as our felt tip pen colouring, basically, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no way I can get these two colours to blend without seeing a harsh line mm -hmm. down that side. So we do a technique called palette blending. So you'll take a piece of acetate um, and now whatever colour you start with first. So let's say I want to start with my uh, blue. Um, let's start on the inside of his belly with this blue. So let's do this in sections first. So I'm just going to come down and just use my pen let's just do this section to start with mm -hmm. so that beautiful blue exactly the same as what we did before yep. now this time what i want to do is use my acetate so acetate has lots of different forms mm -hmm. and i'm going to scribble some of that blue onto here okay all right so pop that on there that would dry pretty much straight away so this is what i'm saying about um going on to acetate also i tell you what this is really good for Go if you've on. got any windows at christmas that you want to put it into you can have like stained glass oh, windows lovely. because you can use your pen to, to do those now what i am going to do is then take my um pink pen instead of coloring onto that i'm going to pick up my blue oh now because i've got another alcohol pen it will take this color away so can you see it puts down oh wow. so, and i'm turning my pen to collect that blue so running that through there so i've got now blue on my nib which ah. means then when i start to color into here i can start to blend it better oh wow but that doesn't ruin the nib on the pen no so what happens and then we're just going to go into that one going to bring my blue back in just to blend oh get the right side just to oh, oh. <laughs> throw my heads about uh, and then just blend that one together now you can see that we can't see that harsh line so it just takes away that harshness and it's what we call a uh, class as palette blending so then we can go in with that and then once we so you're saying about not ruining the nib if yeah. i just color this down just all you're going to do is look till you get to the pink again. So once ah. it comes off, so it might stain our nib, but it's not going to change that colour of my nib at all. And then we can just keep picking that up and then colour that into our palette. 
And then just bring more of this in. Oh, that's in. fabulous. Yeah, and then use that pink. We, all the team in, the, in my area say oh, we could wash this all day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can't believe how quick that uh, time's gone. I oh, know. But you keep building up the colour and that's how you do your palette blending. So that's a really nice way of being able to sort of change your graduation of colour um, going through your card like that. Can I ask a massive favour? Yes, absolutely. Can we please do the tea stamps with the cake, with the Victoria sponge, <laughs> the dog in the basket and the flowers? I know we've only got a few minutes. Thank you, Debbie, love. Uh, I will need the stamp. You'll need to grab me the stamp out of there and then I could quickly stamp. Have we got time? Because I haven't got the We've stamp. We've got three minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, great. Do you want to just grab these on then? So that I'll do this one here. So we, there's your teapot. There's your Victoria sponge. Classically British. There's some demonstrate. Uh, some, uh, oh, dear. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah, good song. You're all right. Okay, and then we got a little pooch. There you go, sweet pea. We Thank got a doggy in a basket. We got a doggy in a basket. So let's get the price straight in. Look at his little face. Thirty-one ninety-six. You got the doggy in the basket on the bowl. Uh, on the bowl. On the on the bike. <laughs> even sorry, on the bike. <laughs> Dear me, I'm I'm too much of them alcohol. But uh, and then this is going to have to be a quickie. We had to do this. Fifteen pounds. Excuse me, Ivy. Fifteen pounds ninety-eight for all three of these wonderful stamps. Yeah, they are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Aren't I just they? think if you want to have a play, you want to have a practice, you're new to them. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much that you can do with these stamps. Absolutely. Uh, they're snippable. You can snip into them. They stamp absolutely beautifully. So straight down onto that cardstock. Look at that. There, I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Looks incredible. Um, and what I love about stamps like this is you can really do them however you want wow. them to be. Wow. Um, let's take in some... Look at um, that. <laughs> it's so beautiful, isn't it? So let's have... I'm just grabbing a yellow out of here so we'll have some nice yellow curd custard, I reckon, going oh, through yeah. there. Well, we were talking about lemon drizzle, weren't we? We, we was, yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So just, let's just go around there. I love the fact, though, that you can do whatever colours that you want to. Yeah. Um, have them where... Um, we well, could make it like a Halloween cake. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's just a case of colouring in. We'll have those beautiful strawberries on yeah. top. Absolutely. These stamps are brilliant, aren't they? But please go on and get that education because yes. we really do um, do the most amazing uh, education system for our colouring pens and yeah. you will absolutely love them. Brilliant. But this would be lovely if you did... Um, oh, I do apologise. I couldn't see the cat one. I can't see... It. I don't have the cat's... I, I saw this. Sorry, Debbie. No, love. no, you're fine. I didn't see the stamp and I put these to one side because I thought I couldn't see the stamp. You get the cat as well. The cat in the box. <laughs> the, poor the cat big in the box. Cat in the box. Look, and he's got a little tie on him. Look. <laughs> oh, that's. Bit, I'm so sorry. I don't have the stamp to hand, but you do get the stamp. I'm so sorry. That now makes it even more ridiculous because there's actually four stamps in this collection for fifteen pounds ninety-eight. Full of character, he is. Isn't he? He's, yeah, he's dapper. Absolutely. He's dapper. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I put that to one side because I thought there wasn't the stamp, and then I clocked it. Four stamps, the dog in the basket, the cat in the box, the flowers and the wonderful tea and the cake. Yes, that's an amazing set to go for, especially if you want to practice your colouring. Yeah. So, but definitely give them yeah. a try. Go for that starter kit if you just want to dabble a bit in Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you will love it. I'd also like to say what a speedy, brilliant, that was one seriously <laughs> fast demo. That really was. Thank you so much, Thank Debbie. Thank you for today, You've been Awesome. Zina. Always, awesome, always awesome, lovely awesome. working with you. And you, my darling. You take care, my lovelies. We'll be live tomorrow at 6am. <laughs>